create loss or any percent. I don't think I should. Uh, oh, I didn't make a filter for this build. Whatever, I'm sure default filter will be fine, right? Three, two, one, go. I'm sure I'll be fine, guys. Oh, wait, I don't have my uh, copy paste set up. Oh, no. Disaster. I probably don't want to repeat this run, considering the fact that it is literally six hours. Unless the build gets untouched, and then maybe I'll do it. Uh, the idea behind this, boys, is that it's a YouTube video. Maybe not to completely copy, but just to show, like, what's possible. Because I don't see people, like, doing XP runs anymore, so I just thought it'd be fun. Um, there's, like, a Rise QT video that I got recommended from, like, basically before I was born. And it was the Rise QT level 1 to 70 in under 6 hours. So I kind of got curious on how far I could get in 6 hours. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Oh, we're not supposed to chill in here. Hi, YouTube. You watched that video yesterday? Dude, I literally got recommended that video for some reason. And so I was like, yo, what if I could farm... Three million dollars off of a twelve-year-old YouTube video in six hours. You're still in Act Six. Have you been practicing? Did I copy paste correctly? I hope so. Wait, this is for green, 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 or green or blue? Hey, boys, the uh, camera broke. All right, it's fine. No double takes. Okay, well, I found blue, blue, green. It's just on the wrong item. What's up, Contric? Did if the command doesn't work, you gotta give it a second. Dude, what's wrong with this guy? Oh, there's a little sentinel. I'm gonna go grab that. Gimme, give gimme. Give Alright, if you're in a brand new league environment, I like doing the league mechanic a tiny bit, concluding that it's garbage and that I should not be doing it until maps. And then I end up doing it three more times and complaining the entire time anyways. Also, there will be a lot of, a lot of like little tips and stuff in the video, I guess. Like a little for fun stuff. You practice three runs over the last four days. Holy Toy 23. Lower your times of it, but rip. Need more game knowledge from watching. That's the way to do it, though. In my opinion, straight up watching someone is not the way to go. And straight up practicing without watching someone is not the way to go. You have to do both. It's really time consuming, actually. The only way that I get better is like I watch a Keldorn run. And then I watch one of my runs, and then I go, oh, okay, that's what I'm doing wrong. And when there's no one to yoink, I don't get better, because I'm not, like, challenged to, to get better. I mean, I'm challenged, alright, but in a different kind of way. Anyways, uh, we're gonna sell this iron ring with a red gem. It's gonna be our first red gem that we get, Glacial Hammer, right here. We're looking for a blue, 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 blue for rolling magma. It would be sick. I also thought of making a YouTube video. Fuck this dude, big. I also thought of making a YouTube video regarding, uh... Well, just like some early game tips and some like leveling stuff. Everybody, every content creator on the platform right now is like, is like producing guides and like producing like tier lists and producing like a list of builds to play. And I'm just like, you guys are clowns. Everybody putting on the makeup. Uh, I need a little bit more XP. If you're not level four by Hail Rake, you're trolling, dude. I'm pretty sure it's right over here. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, also, regarding the League mechanic, some of them are pretty low effort. So some of them are like Delirium, where you throw it on the uh, the little zone, and then you're like, you know, you just kind of zoom through the zone, and it just kind of gives you some extra monsters. So that's pretty good. Some of them are like Scourge, and Scourge takes your original location, and then basically lets you not progress the game at all. So it's not a very good League mechanic. And you can just kind of conclude within like 12 seconds of playing whether or not it'll be good for you. Additionally, like, if, actually, Delirium was a bit of a weird case, because I opened Delirium, and then my FPS went from, like, 144 to, uh, to zero, so. I really want to ID these boots, and I really want to ID this, uh, this, uh, shield, because it's rare. Because we dropped a transmute, I no longer need to sell rare items unID'd. I need to ID them, but I also need a million scrolls of wisdoms. Scourge League was PTSD. For you? Really? Mm. Some of them are like Arc Nem. Yeah, Arc Nem was uh, decent, but like you're not gonna stop and do a Metamorph, you know? We can 3 to 1 the Life Flask, make a Ruby Ring, uh, we're gonna grab War Banner, Flame Wall, Arcane Surge, 
I'm gonna grab Holy Flame Totem Frost Blink. I'm gonna look for our juice. There's movement speed boots, but uh, oh, I can buy them. Okay, cool. So I'll do this and then pick up the MS boots. I need to look for a scepter as well. Oh, I guess I'm kind of poor, so I can't do that. Oh well, that's rough. Oh, I didn't find any blue blue green either. All right, so no, no onslaught for me. So it's gonna be a bit of a slow run today. Maybe I am gonna do one of those long plays that I said I would do. Maybe that's what this is essentially. This is a uh, YouTube long play of just like an old play, an old classic. I've actually watched a few of those. Just like you know, I load up the. Uh... Ooh, an augment's actually okay. I don't mind picking that up, but a little too far behind. Basically, there are these uh, people on YouTube that will create uh, a video, not of a speed run, not of like a super long run, but basically just like a, just a long play in that they just kind of enjoy the game. So a real commentary sometimes, and sometimes it is, but then it would be called a commentary run. But I've just kind of enjoyed watching some of these old, you know, Game Boy DS era games that I used to enjoy. And I'll watch, you know, the, mo the parts that everybody else enjoys watching. Alright, so we need a bunch of Scrolls of Wisdoms right now, that's the goal. If we get a Blacksmith Sweatstone, then we're losing. Alright, because that would be the juice. Alright, we do not, in fact, have Three Onslaught. B. 3B is pretty good. Quicksilver is obviously amazing. Alright, give me that 3B. Even if it's a chess piece, I'll probably take it. Not gonna take it right now, but we're gonna take it. And we're gonna go uh, Rolling Magma. Uh, Ellie Prolif and Combustion. Ideally, ideally in an ideal world, which we do not live in, I have a blue boo green. So, ooh, another train. I'm gonna go back for that, obviously. In an ideal world, which we do not li currently live in, I would get uh, a blue boo green. And I would, uh, Rolling Magma, Combustion, and Onslaught. Also, if I call this skill, uh, Magma Orb at any moment instead of Rolling Magma, I'm not sorry. That's its proper name. I have a champ helix run with tips. Um, I have like the world record duelist run. You can check that out on speedrun.com. But some of my runs I'm not very proud of, so I don't put them on YouTube. I'm probably not gonna be very proud of this run, but hopefully I can, uh, you know, use it as a decent video. Is the dream. I know people said to just kind of put out whatever I want. Yeah, I'm just not gonna be doing that. If I'm not proud of a run and I feel like it's debating people, then I'm not gonna do it. Basically just doing this for pure entertainment, so I'm being up front with it. Alright, found a red green, that's perfect. We're gonna need a red green later. That's gonna be for Leap Slam Shield or not Leap Slam Shield or Leap Slam Faster Attacks. Kill the Daddy Totem. Listen, if you don't know the Daddy Totem's name is Kaduku, then you're not a real one. Retribution. Morb. Listen, dude, just because I'm Morbin doesn't mean you need to call it out. Or uh, more but in some parts of the uh, world are actually banned. So I don't want to, you know, get the video flagged. Not be able to put it out. Alright, so we got a lot of wisdoms. I'm pretty happy with that. We're not actually going to use these boots. I'm going to ID these two rare items here. Boom, boom. I'm hoping that they don't roll 12 quadrillion mods. Because if a rare item rolls 6 mods, then it's going to... Uh, it's going to give you an augmentation when you sell it. So like this. 6 stats. 3 prefix, 3 suffix. That's an augment. So, I'm depressed. It would be worth a million augmentation, or a million alteration shards, if it wasn't like that. I need to fix my uh, copy paste actually, so I might do that in a sec. So I'm not level 8 yet, which is uh, not problematic, but needs to be fixed. Alright, so I'm gonna go, instead of... Where's this thing at? I mean, it is the right colors. I just need to put, add a scepter to it as well. Because seeing like a 3 link scepter is pretty important. Scepter, there we go. If you don't know, I like using uh, Enter on my little numpad. Little, you know, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, little plus and minus thing. I can't use a 60% keyboard because of it. But you need to be doing that. Uh, since we're kind of poor, I'm actually gonna put the Sentinel on here. Again, this is probably some like little test that I would that I would do on League Star, and if I found that this was not good and that it was not rewarding and or I made the mob way too hard, I would not do it again. Okay, so we're actually gonna have 12 quadrillion assistants. It's one you like act to. Oh, rare boots. Gotta get a mess, that's pretty good. We have an armor scrap here. Armor scrap can give you a three link. It can also give you, uh, not give you a three link, but you could buy a three link from the vendor. Or uh, you can find MS boots for an armor scrap, usually. So, I thought he did this, pretty good. 
Alright, we're gonna go and sell this garbage and then hope and pray that we have enough money. I'm too poor. Please don't have 12 quadrillion mods. Alright, good. It's blue, blue. Just depressing. We're gonna look for a better scepter than this. So we're gonna look for like a drilling scepter of some kind. Boom, boom, boom. I didn't find literally anything, so we're just gonna do this one. This one's always really unfortunate to craft on, but I don't know, scepters can be a little hard to come by, so it is what it is. And still no blue or green, I believe, so also depression. It's fine. Uh, it's not gonna get there. Rolling magma, Ellie Pro lift, combustion, throw it on, dude. And I'm gonna get rid of those boots, which I was supposed to earlier. Alright, so I don't have Onslaught, so I don't have to feel bad about casting Frost Blink over, like, a bunch of mobs. Because, you know, it'll kill the mobs. Because we just did the Wandcraft. Except for craft, technically. So I feel like I'm probably not using my second Quicksilver to its highest maximum value. We have three of the same type of essence. Do you know how rare that is? That's like at least a 1 in 2 chance. Alright, level 8 though. I'm feeling okay ish on XP ish. Make sure every skill's on attack that I'm moving so they're not like really weird functionality. Aha! I knew there was at least one. Since we only have one small mana flask, we have to. Okay, that's good. Uh, since we only have one small mana flask, this recovery. That's good. We have to be very cautious about, um, about how many mana flask charges we have going into Brutus. Because otherwise, if we only have just, like, a small mana flask, we can't actually run under charges if we're low on it. So, I just gotta remember to keep it up. I gotta go into the fight with a high amount of charges, otherwise it'll be doomed. I'm feeling a top right in this zone. You guys feel me? Yeah, you guys see it. Aha! Uh -huh. Yep, there it is. Level 9, pretty much perfect XP. So no blue or green, but it is what it is. Uh, this isn't going to be an Eye of Winter run, it's probably going to be close to what my starter is going to be. I think I'm going to do Cruel Lab and get the 20% all res node. So what I'll likely do on League Start is... Oh, so we can go uh, Arcane Surge, Frost Blink on the helm. What I'll likely do on League Start is... Um, do I have another Red Socket? I don't, so I'm going to need Deep Sam to replace like Holy Flame Totem or something. Over here. Oh, I just got rid of my War Manor Stacks. I will likely go Jardian and then respec after like 10 hours ish of just straight farming. But I'll probably just go normal Jardian lab. Just to be nice. Turbo Virgin Speedrunner. I could also see myself changing after like Cruel Lab. So I'm just gonna get rid of all this. This is fine. And we're gonna get Leap Slam. And we're gonna look for the juice. Okay, there's a Three Link Scepter. At least that's decent. And I might just transmute this. Yeah, she's gonna transmute it. A little bit of cold damage of spells. Beautiful. Also a red-green, which uh, we always like to find extra red-greens. And we do not, in fact, have Onslaught, so I'm kind of dying of cringe at the moment. Not having source of Onslaught is pretty bad. We can actually just go blue-green for Rolling Magma Onslaught, because I can see damage plus Wandcraft is a little nutty. And, you know, Leap Slamming without Onslaught is really bad. Any chance? I'm moving in with Ziz, Steel, and Karn. Okay, so Karn doesn't live with Ziz anymore. Steel is moving out with Ziz. However, I am moving in with Ziz. And I think it's going to be a little bit of a culture shock for him. Because, um... Because I'm literally, like, raising a teenager. I can get moody sometimes. Play these little... Schizo mood swings. Little bipolar moments. I can, uh... Be a, an annoying roommate to live with, I'm sure. Any reason why Karn moved out? Well, Karn was just living there temporarily to uh, find housing. At least I believe he moved out. It wasn't because of any sort of like weird dispute, if that's what you're thinking. It's just you know, that's open. I bring the American loudness. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm built different, you know. And by built different, I mean that I need to consume a cheeseburger every hour on the hour, or my brain will explode. So Nugent still was his. Uh, they live nearby, but uh, Nugent's. I don't think Finn was his. In a very, very long time. Um, I do believe Negan still lives in Belfast, though. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna be living with Ziz right away because. Uh, oh, I don't have Frost Blink to do this guy. Okay, nice. We dodged it. Easy again. Because um, he's gonna have family over for his wedding. The Ziz Colt will tame me? Maybe. My biggest concern is that I get very comfortable around the boys, and then I just make one too many offhand remarks about sucking someone's dick, and then, uh, you know, so there's gotta have, like, some sort of intervention or some sort of talk. It's just memes, dude. I'm just memeing. 
Yo, I'm just sexually harassing my coworkers here. My EU? No, I'm American. Or the Lemon Smash? Hey, it's win win, dude. <laughs> Boring here. Oh, I'm on the wrong filter, dude. No, I'm not. Never mind. It's just that that was a three limb biggest. Okay. Nice and simple that one should have. Right, let's get this. And we actually do need alts. This is a really sick timing on the leather belt here. We're gonna grab a red gem in case I find a ruby ring later. And we're gonna look for items again. Please find a blue, blue, green. Beautiful. Beautiful timing. I mean, I'd say it couldn't be better, but it, it, you know, it could have been better. Look at the time, by the way. Time's not even that bad, and we didn't bounce out the whole time. Why? Because Ignite kind of farms, dude. That's why. Is this not the right way? Oh, it is the right way. Perfect. For your guys right now. Is this on a Titan of Bridging? It is. It doesn't feel like it, though. Okay, never mind. No, it does. I mean, I don't need this shrine because we're not fighting the balls. What are you- what's going on? Lost Ark any percent? Uh, it's because, uh, this character is inspired by Rise QT, so I decided to, uh, to include him in the speedrun in some way, shape, or form. That's why the name is, uh, Lost Ark any percent. And then I get to, like, interact with Rise QT on Twitter. I'm just farming interactions. I'm being a good little content creator for once. And then I decided that I'm not doing G boots. Uh, I don't really want to essence these. I don't think they can roll them out or 15 MS. I could be wrong. Plus, well, actually, doesn't gain too much damage right off the bat. I'd like to find different gloves in these. In fact, I'm probably gonna drop these gloves, and I might chrome the boots to force them to be literally any other color. Because red is good, blue is also good. My blue is a little. A little high supply at the moment. Also, again, with the mana flask, I just gotta be careful. Gotta be conscious of it. Oh, also, I'm missing a lot of damage. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. What's the time gonna be? I guess I'm a team member, but that's fine. Is there a way I practice moving with inventory open? Yeah, I um, closed my eyes and then went on the Shaolin Monk uh, mountain and then performed the ancient monk crane technique. No, I just played the game a lot in my mom's basement. I wish I had a cool story about it. Double Quicksilver and MS. Oh, I, <laughs> I guess that's why the time's acceptable without having one slot. I talk as fast as I, uh, as fast as I play. I don't think it's true. Just because my brain travels at twice the speed of a normal human being doesn't mean that I'm that fast. Uh, we do need alt shards, though. Go ahead and mess these up. Boom, 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 boom. There we go, perfect. Created a roguelike deck builder based on Exocon. Uh, the only reason why I liked the rogue based uh, deck builder at Exocon was because I get to beat other people. I ended up RNGing my way into like an insane weapon and I went up to Kataba and went, Hey, has anybody beat you yet? And he was like, No, I don't think so. And I was like, Can I stat check you really quick? And he was like, Uh, sure. And I showed him like my juicer weapon and he was like, You know, your weapon's probably gonna break after this, right? And I was like, don't care. He was like, you're gonna go back to square one so you can beat me? And I was like, yes I am. <laughs> he went, okay dude. He was like, yep, your weapon broke. <laughs> he was like an insane weapon too. I was like, sweet. I actually like downgraded in gear, but I didn't care. I pretty much quit after that. Uh, I don't actually have interest in playing card building at all. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of Loop Hero on the side. It's been pretty fun. What skill is this on Mouse Button 2? That is a uh, Rolling Magma. The real ones call it a uh, Magma Orb. Why don't I get this fourth essence? There's two of them go on Ruby Rings. Where's where all the other ones go? I'm saying. Morb. Oh, that's why you guys said Morb in earlier. Oh, I get it now. I'm probably not going to be Sentinel too much. Pulling back my good all the way through. Nah, it gets turbo power creeped out by a armor brand Krima. How do I choose between Frost Blink and Frame Dash? Flame Dash is like faster if it's your only option. I use uh, Frost Blink because um, we can like hyper dash our little uh, leap slam. So see how I'm like leaping and I'm leaping. Well, at the very end of my leap, 
I can actually flame dash to extend it because leap slam would not cast. So look, my leap slam is slow, it's slow on the stop for a sec. And boom, zoom, it's a little zoom, bit faster. Just subscribe. Zoom zoom, thanks for Best stuff. dweller on the net. Best dweller. Thanks, dude. So my leap slam gets quite a bit faster if you're not using a movement ability. And so the idea is that we leap slam, frost blink, hopefully find a pack by then. Because, you know, frost blink is going to be instant no matter when you use it. And then after killing the pack, you'll have onslaught, and then you'll turbo leap slam again. By turbo, I just mean like right click, because that's what we like to do. Uh, probably gonna go Herald of Ice, I guess? Herald of Ice? And, uh... And, uh, Herald of Thunder? I mean, you can go Herald of Ash. It's really good. The issue is I don't have any red sockets, right? So I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna be able to find a way for it. If I did have a red socket, I'd put on War Banner. You call it what? I'm watching the new season Devil's a Part-Timer. Uh, I didn't watch season one. It seems like, uh, an anime I'd like to watch pretty much the whole thing of in one go, though. Instead of practicing the day before League Start, I'll likely find some way to procrastinate by watching that show. And now that I work with Max Roll for Max Roll Guides, um, I will likely procrastinate writing my guides by watching an entire two seasons of anime as well. Math and Math build? Uh, no, I'm just going Armor Cremo. Yeah, I know it's worth a watch. That's why I'm going to be watching it most likely after season 2 is finished. Can anyone offer tips and advices for new players? No, I hate new players. Leave. <laughs> yeah, sure, dude, why not? Uh, choose a build that aligns with what you want to do. <laughs> Mr. Streamer. Yeah, so like, if you want to do boss, boss runs, pick a bossing build. If you want to map specifically, choose a mapping build. Do not chills choose a build with some CBT that is cock and ball torture uh, leveling because your experience is going to be bad. If you choose a build that levels really poorly or requires a very high IQ to level, um, you're going to be stuck in like Act 5 on like the worst damage you've ever seen. You're going to be looking over at literally any streamer clearing like yellow or red maps and you're going to be depressed because your build isn't going to be that and you're going to probably reroll, which is... My next piece of advice, which is don't reroll after you've chosen a good league starter. Most of the starters by Ziz are pretty banging, so choose one of those. Which build did I choose to start? Uh, before league start, I like to have a tentative list of like four or five cool builds, and then patch notes drop, and then I decide what build I'm going to play, and then I decide which league I'm going to play. If it's going to be softcore, hardcore, SSF, trade league. I'm leaning into the softcore trade just due to uh, time constraints though, because I literally moved to a different country a few days into the league start. So, maybe the time uh, some of you guys watch this, I'm in Belfast. Liar, I don't play hardcore. Oh, I've recently solved stuff on hardcore before. This is where War Banner would be really cool. Also, this is also where being level 16 would be really cool. But unfortunately, I did not manage my XP properly. Yeah, no, this one's uh, not that great. Actually, whatever. Pick a build guide from 2017. Yeah, you get bonus points if the bill says 3.19 viable in the current year. Alright, I think I'm gonna probably help Alira, most likely. Just to help out with the res and stuff, since it's a 6 hour speedrun. I mean, I should go into this assuming I'm gonna do everything I do on a league store, but... Last updated, 2020. 3.19 viable. That's the, that's the YouTube strategy. That's the YouTube strategy. I guess I can drop these boots. I can also drop this chest. Three B. See any reason for just wasting a million inventory spaces? All right, now we're level sixteen. Beautiful. Slap on the auras. Got another scroll. I'm really like poor at the moment, actually. So I'm scrounging around for everything. I need a better mana flask, dude. It's gonna be uh, some pain. I need a better pair of gloves as well. Well, I need a pair of gloves. Get a quick silver quest if I don't drop one. Yep. I forgot to mention that. You should do the uh, the den if you don't drop a quick silver neck one like I did. Luckily I'm a stupid lucker dog. What do you want? Always lucky. Of using streamer RNG. Let's go ahead and get our uh LA focus. And then let's get faster attacks. I don't think you can get faster attacks without grabbing your quest reward. I'm mistaken. YouTube video updated 2019 best build in the game. You can see me playing RuneScape. I played Group Iron Man and my group pushed like top 10 at some point. I maybe mean, it was top 20, I don't remember. But we were like kind of 
turbo blasting. I remember it too because because my friends all know that I'm not a very good player. They all know that I'm not a very good player, but I was basically unemployed at the time, and so I literally just just farmed XP and literally like pushed total level. And just because everybody else had a job and I didn't, I became rank one XP in my group. And so I literally just turbo blasted everyone at the time. Well, okay, listen, just because I stream for more than one hour per day now doesn't mean that I'm, that I'm, uh, that I'm unemployed. All right, I have a job now. What side do I use for most of you we eat? Uh, YouTube? Twitch? I don't know. What side do you guys use for PoE? Also, uh, to the person earlier- Ooh, attack speed on gloves. That's huge. To the person earlier that asked if Maxwell's paid? Yeah, it's paid. I'm pretty sure I'm NDA on how much it is, but pretty nice amount. Also, um, they have, like, a certain payment model for writing articles, but they had to redo some of it because I essentially write the leveling portion of guides, and then uh, other people take- Did I kill all? I may have killed all to help in the Lyra. Alright, well, I'm locked in the choice now. Okay, dude. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, I feel like I'm supposed to grab something. I wish I was supposed to grab for my one. Yeah. Oh, my camera broke again. That's gonna be an issue over the stream, isn't it? Is Maxwell paid for users? Oh, no, you guys get to use it for free. If you ever used it for, uh, like, Lost Ark or or Z3 or whatever, you'll know that it's 100% uh, free. Yeah, no, you're good. You thought I was gonna help a little? I thought so too, dude. I'm surprising even myself in this run. I think this run's probably gonna... I think it's probably gonna, like, turn here, most likely. Maxwell's gonna be free? Yeah, for you guys. Do a Maxwell guy until something weird came up. Alright, I have to be honest with you guys. Does this really turn here? There is going to be a problem with Maxwell. Okay, I'm just gonna say this right now. It's gonna be a big problem with Maxwell. Maxwell uses like Google Ads, and the content on Maxwell is PoE related. There is going to be Google scrapes ads so Google's gonna scrape the internet for ads related to PoE and for people that are paying for ads and they will pick up on RMT ads okay they are not condoned by the website or they are not like supported by the website in any way shape or form all right there is a little report function under the ad click on it if you ever see an RMT ad on the website, report it. We do not want RMT ads on the website. If we get enough reports, they won't show up anymore. But on release, Google will just add whatever ad it can possibly find, and there will be RMT ads. And there will be a Reddit thread about it. And people will call it a shady site. Alright? There is quite literally nothing we can do but to tell people to to report any RMT they find. All right, so please report RMT. Do not let it like the website. Ideally, we get rid of it. Gotcha. Click on it. That's not what I. Okay. Report them for what? Uh, I think there's literally going to be an option that's like report the ad, and it's like uh, inappropriate content. Uh, something weird, and then there will be an option that says RMT, and click on that option because it's an RMT ad. And like, like I said, there's nothing we can do about it initially. That's just how it is. You have ad block. No, don't use ad block. Actually, the ads on the side aren't even bad. They're really not bad. They're not like the cringe like one pixel but plays audio on your on your uh your window kind of ads right they're fine
Yeah, don't use ad block, guys. Similarly, if my, uh... If anybody from Twitch is watching this... Whatever you do, do not use Twitch ad blocker. Do not do that. Because getting hit with six ads all at once in the middle of watching someone play a video game is very, very understandable. And honestly, it should happen more often. Did I hear a chance orb? I swear I heard a chance. I need a chance orb. Beautiful time. Oh wait, I already have a chance orb. Also, additionally, if anybody from YouTube is watching this, not, not from a viewer perspective, but if any of uh, the big YouTube guys are watching this, you know, like uh, my boss, for example. Uh, I also do not believe in uh, ad blocker plus or any sort of ad blocker for that matter. As uh, YouTube ads, playing two of them, having them, having one of the ads being an unskippable 10 second ad, and then having the next ad somehow be like two hours long, but because you're watching this on mobile most likely, and then you're watching it from far away, you know, you don't get up because you see the first ad is unskippable, that's definitely reasonable. I mean, I've told you guys this story before. I literally had an ad, it was unskippable, but it was only like 15 seconds. That's fine. That's chilling. Then next, I like put my phone away and started like washing the dishes. And then it's literally an hour and a half. And I'm like, guys, why is this ad so long? Or I didn't say boys, but you know, I was asking myself like, dang, this ad sure is long. I've been, I swear I've been listening to it for like two hours. For like two minutes. Okay, I wouldn't let it go on for two hours. But... So how many ults do I have? Only have one. I... Talk about the run for a bit. I hit level 19 in Northern, which is exactly what I wanted to hit. Um, we need two ults here. We're also gonna need to do double wand crafts. So I'm gonna need to get that online and operational. So I'm gonna need two alts. We're gonna sell these two. Um, I'm also gonna need two ruby rings, so it's gonna be hard to get into those. Add block go on mobile. Oh, add blockage on mobile. Again, whatever you do, chat. Oh, this might be ruby rings. Perfect. Whatever you do, chat. Do not install add block on mobile. Where's this thing at? Uh, honestly, this is pretty alright. I mean, no, I'll go with this one because I still need the red sockets, right? And then we do double ruby, rare ruby ring, double magic scepter, two alts, and we're chilling. I thought one of them disappeared, but it turns out I'm just dumb. Boop, boop. Were these in the wrong totems the whole time? I don't think they were. I'm pretty sure I had faster attacks on the leap slam. Please tell me they weren't in the wrong items the whole time. What shouldn't you install for iOS? Add block GE, Android only, oh. What chance orbs for? You need a uh, chance orbs for level 18 or level 28 gems for Gravicious. We need it for um, cremation. Oh, I needed to grab a level 28 plus. Surely I don't run a mana here, right? And I ran out of mana. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't think you've ever seen an ad and wanted to buy the product. I've never seen an ad and wanted to buy the product, but I've seen an ad and wanted to buy a product less. That's happened before. Uh, I either need an 18 mana plus or I need like a second mana plus. Oh, perfect. Enduring! That's OP. It just costed all of my ult. All of my, uh... My transmutes just disappeared. No! My transmutes! They're gone, dude! iOS doesn't have ad block? I guess not, dude. Yeah, no, ads... I don't think the purpose of ads is like, buy our product now. They're more like, hey, we're gonna hit you with this ad three million times that when you're at the store in the far distant future, you're gonna think about us. Which one are you gonna choose? Are you gonna choose the, uh... Are you gonna... Because, like, big purchase, like, phones, like, I don't think an iOS ad is ever gonna, like, change your mind on that. I'm like, what type you stand by? I'm gonna need another mana plus, actually. Hmm. I don't know how to get this rid of this, like... It's more Facebook. You seen sponsor streams that wanted to buy the product? So you're already interested in it? Yeah, I, I feel like I've watched like certain sponsored videos or certain sponsored stuff. I wanted to do it, but I've never really watched like an ad. Usually, ads will kind of just serve as like, um, as like a "Hey, this product exists" kind of thing. You know, you know, like how a show will come out with like. With like a, a trailer. I view them kind of like trailers, in a way. My help is yours. Let's sell these two. Maybe that's a little cooked. Can I just get like a normal flask? Cool. Alright, act three, go. What's the time? 34? Sub 35? 100% done. It's 
Okay. That could be a little faster. Leaf slam that door? You can leaf slam any door. I'm gonna show you a whole new world when I enter crematorium. Check it out. I kinda wanna hold on to this helmet for a little while. I don't know what to do with my essences, but they're for sure going on jewelry. Um, I need to remember to grab a, a gate amulet on the quest. Oh, also, check this tech out. Take out the chest piece so we gain 3% movement speed in town. Uh, I mean, I can essence this, but I'm just gonna wait a little while. I have a little belly look at my elephant. Never mind, I never uh, replaced this thing, so I guess not. And then we put it back on. What if the ad was voiced by Chris Wilson? Uh, sometimes I will listen to like some like somewhat skippable ads. Like there was an ad with um, with, I don't know what the actor's name is, but he's Gus Fring from Breaking Bad in Better Call Saul. He was on an ad and he was like, "No, go ahead, skip the ad. I don't even want you here." And then he stares at the camera. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. I don't remember even what the product was, but I was like, yeah, I'll watch that ad, why not? That was for Far Cry 6? Oh, okay. Alright. Sick. It didn't make me want the product anymore, but... Usually ads will, uh, will get me excited for a product I'm already excited in. And so, like, seeing an ad for World of Warcraft Dragonflight doesn't change the fact that I'm still gonna buy it. It just is like an... Oh yeah, that's, that's when it comes out. World of Warcraft, the Burning State Classic, Season of Mastery, Breath Lich King. Wait, where are you guys leaving? Where are you guys going, dude? What's everybody taking Belloc leave? Oh, we have a Rogue Exile here. Perfect timing. I got nothing else to do with this. Ooh, a Tombstone Ring. Uh, you always want to pick up, like, magic jewelry. I'm going to break this rule a million times over, but typically you want to pick up magic jewelry because it can be uh, quite good. Because, you know, it can roll any type of life. Maybe it has, like, an open suffix, or yeah, maybe an open prefix. We should have perfect enough space to pick up everything. Since this is a long run, I might as well grab defenses rank one. Bam, bam. Nah, it's trash. What about this rank? Also trash. I didn't vendor walk very properly, did I? No, I did not. Can I just go to the garbage I don't need? Yeah, I can. Be careful. Yeah, let's go to this. Take out the chest piece. Anything good here? What about the belt? Boom, garbage. Uh, I should probably just go to this core ring. We need some resist here. Oh, I guess I put the war banner back on. Like using it. Hey, when you buy something for weeks, you get a discount offer and ads for it. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. There's some companies that will uh, let you uh, like request the difference between when it goes on sale and when it's not. I know Grinding Your Games does that. I've bought MTX and then like a few days later, it's gone on sale and I've asked for it and they're like, mm. Mm. sure, fine. They don't say it in such a, a moody way, but I can I can hear the community manager or whatever behind the screen on the old classic. Uh, technically, management won't allow us to do this, but... Yeah, I've also gotten straight refunds. There was a couple MTX I bought where it was like, yo, the visual clarity of this skill actually somehow got worse. Can I get a refund? They're like, right away, sir. Did you get a mage blood in town? Oh, I actually was thinking of getting the vault pass. Seems kind of cringe, but if I plan on playing this game for a long time, I kind of want the vault passes. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the supporter packs. Just because, like, I think the direction in which they're going with supporter packs is really good. Sorry, this is a full tangent on uh, supporter packs, but the issue for me for the last few years of supporter packs is I really like some of the supporter packs that I've already got. If I get a new MTX, it basically has to be some of my favorite MTX in the game. And a lot of the new ones just don't quite do that. They're really good looking, but they don't beat the looks that I already enjoy. So I don't buy them. But with supporter packs giving like cool effects, so I think it's a good direction. Well, the caster filter highlight the 1.55. Spectres? Receptors? Uh, no, it won't. <laughs> Answer your question? No. Okay, I found the trial bits in some weird off sheet. Any good purple MTX? Uh, back in like Breach League, they did a collab with Twitch and people were upset about it because people didn't want to sign up for Twitch and then it was like, hey, it works for me, dude. Also, here's where we get our flammability. You'll notice I didn't get it earlier. It's because I don't get 24 yet. Ooh, if I got like five extra packs, I'd be 24 right now. That would have been really good. Yeah, that would have been nice. Being level 24 equals... Um, I'm going to put all this garbage away. 
If I'm level 24 here, I can put these away as well. Get rid of that garbage. If I was level 24, we could have gotten um, possibly a 4 link. Come on to this. Come on to that. All right. Unfortunate that I was in 24 here. Is it bad to have a legal to fund your second build ASAP? Uh, I try to find ways to not have a second build immediately. Because if you've ever played a character to Extinction, you will know that it's very worthwhile to put money into your character. You know, putting more and more money into your build so that your build can do better content faster basically means that you produce more money. But you're perpetually in a loop of like getting better gear, spending the money to get better gear. As soon as your character stops gearing, you print currency. And I mean like print it. If you're doing any sort of like high profit per hour strategy and you spend like an extra day not gearing, like you're good to go brother. You are like gaming. But there are certain builds which feel better with time. So I've done like league starters where I've gone cast on crit by like hour five or six because I just got on, you know, Orb of Storms, Stormblast Mine, or like Arma Karima Assassin. I think I've done it like twice now. And I've just gone like as soon as I got a cost freeze. And it's felt pretty bad, but ramping up feels really good. If you're really bad at the game, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But trying to find a way to have a slightly worse experience early on, but an overall better experience on the league is pretty cool. So talent marketplace, uh, yeah, kind of, but it's not like an easy one. Started playing this league after gearing for some days, make like 50x. Yep, a lot of it too is also in mixed currency. Not many people respect the uh, mixed currency grind, where you're like, you know, get a bunch of fusings and jewelers, and other stuff. Also, I like to farm in docks to like 25 because it's uh, some juice. You asked for a refund on MTX you bought years ago, and it worked? Seriously? That's kind of OP. Usually when it's the points difference, uh, they're not too upset about it, because you're still going to be 7 points. My links related to level, uh, they're not. You could equip a Tabula at level 1, but a natural like 4 link requires the item to be item level 25. I'm level 25 items show up in the shop, obviously when the zone level is 25. Well, technically when the zone level is 23 and then I can drop off anything, I can drop plus 2 items. But, at level 24, your vendor windows can actually have a 4 link in them. So. Which delirium orbs are better to farm at start? It's not for me to say. For you to decide. Usually, people know that, um, that currency is good, so they'll just, like, sell it more expensive. Pretty sure every daily orb is good to farm at the start. They're all like Omega cheap. Mistaken. 2p1 G boots. 2p1 G boots. I think we also always do our finish strong boxes. These things are OP. These are literally broken. Alts and transmutes are very nice to find early on. Where's passive points going? Did I ever get EO? Oh my goodness. I should have. Don't think I had EO on all over soul. You know, I'm pretty sure I could have had it. Alright, if I get uh, another point, I think it's gonna go into these fire nodes over here. Dang. Woo! 2B2G! Okay, I don't know what to do with 2B2G actually. I want 3B1G. That sounds annoying to Chrome. I'm pretty sure I put my Chrome to as well. I have the same talking speech, same cadence as Seth. Is that the guy that goes, hey, hey, people? Seth here. And if you enjoy killing millions of innocent people, torturing them, and destroying their land, you will love Path of Exile. That guy? Nice. Yo, he actually recommended a game that I was thinking of playing, and I didn't know if I wanted to play it on stream. It's called Recitar. It's like, uh, you play as like an anime, okay, well, it's, it's like a Japanese game, so it's not like anime specifically, but it's, uh, no, it's Chinese actually. You basically just play as a shopkeeper and you get to uh, mark up prices of stuff and analyze like markets. I don't know, it seemed like fun. I would really like to play that game on like either mobile or like a DS because I found my DS and I'm going on some trips soon. You play as it was well, going to say anime girl but you're not really an anime girl. 
pretty old now. Yeah, I don't care for old games though. I'm literally gonna play Fire Emblem Awakening for the first time uh, in like another week or so. I don't know where to get the game. I think I'm probably just gonna buy it from the online shop. Online 2 video shop. How do I skip this rest of the tar? <laughs> okay, well you can't skip ads in the stream. No way, please don't go! I need the view, dude. I need the monies. Yeah, I know I can use LMP and GMP later, but... Uh, oh, wait. No, we don't get that gem as a Templar. Uh, am I dumb, or is my internet lagging? Hello? Dude! I don't know what happened there. Alright, well that's awkward. I did not mean to die there. Oopies. Why are we dead? Um, I don't know. My character kind of glided around. Why am I alive? Oh, um, because I paid five dollars for the uh, the free character revival specialization. Like, look at this guy, dude. What is he doing to make him that strong? I swear it's this one mob that's lagging me out. Huh? Wait, maybe he's not even lagging me out. Maybe he's just shocking, chilling, and igniting me all at the same time. Can I get some life plus charges, please? Yeah, there we go. Softcore red now. I mean, over the course of six hours, yeah, I mean, we'll probably end up being a softcore run regardless. That is a very nice pair of boots. 40 life, dual res. I like to have a mess, but it's not critical. Cool. Yeah, chill, stun. I got stunned four times. That's what happened? Okay. It literally fell in the game, was like frozen, but I guess it was just me that was frozen. Alright, well. My bad, I should have played better. Also, we're level 27 before Piety, which is perfect. But you'll notice, this is a pretty big zone. There's a lot of mobs in this zone. I'm gonna be like close to 28 by Piety, which is beautiful. It's wonderful. I'm actually giga turbo excited because my XP is so high. Oh, there's an item over there. I can do the soft course skips. Uh, I'll likely share away from the soft course skips. There's only a few. Like the active one, if I remember to do it, was pretty turbo wood. Let's continue to work with besides Essence Drain. Isn't it just Essence Drain? Pretty sure that's what it is. Wait, did I ever get the, uh... No, I'm just now gonna grab the Fire Nodes. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. we are change one. Let's go and grab these. Cast Speed, I think. Probably juice. Oh, is my currency looking? Oh yeah, because I got that, uh... Uh-oh. Dying right here would be awful. That would be tragic. Right, pretty good time to ID stuff. That's pretty good. Is there a place where you can learn map layouts? I feel like you always go the wrong way. Uh, nah, just watch other people play and then play yourself a lot. Honestly, I'm gonna tell you guys, an OP strat. This works for not just PoE, but any video game. And even in real life, okay? You want to know the most OP strat for getting better at literally anything? Think consciously about what you're doing. Boom. Big concept drop. If you think, like, extensively about what you're doing, I'm looking for 3v1g by the way, and really think about it, like if you clear a map and you go, hmm, what is the best way for me to go about doing this? You will become infinitely better as a player. I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. What is thinking? Okay, well, I see that this is a this is a concept that is uh, falling on deaf ears here. But if you're running a map, right? And you finish the map, and you take a screenshot of said map, and you think, How could I have done that better? Just be better. Botan Peak. Botan Peak, what's up, Dodo? Okay, so I need a 2B1G. Um, so we're gonna have to find that somehow, some way. I guess I don't actually need it, because I can just do this, right? I can go drop here. I don't really want to drop anything. Maybe I just get new gloves with a couple blues. Actually, three blue gloves. Wait, no, I just replaced the boots, and then I do this. And then I do... Ooh, we're gonna be missing green sockets. That's not good. That's not good. Is it good? Is it... I feel like it's fine. Because I'm gonna have this, right? I'll be missing out on a green for a while, because I don't get GMP for a while. This class, unfortunately, does not get that. You know what, I'll just keep this helm, we'll just essence it, and we'll just use this for a long time. Yeah. I'm fine with that, so when you go like Ellie Focus, I'd like to go Conk and add a Lightning. Um, and then we're gonna go Arcane Surge somewhere else, and yeah, we'll just use the boots, that's fine. 
Do I have another green sock for this? For uh, Desecrate? I need a 3B actually. 3B would be sick. Wave. Uh, making the boots 3B is going to be like impossible. What about gloves? If I found 3B gloves, I'd be losing. Unfortunately, 3B helm is always going to get. Alright, let's go do lab. If you are. Uh, do I have cremation stuff? Yeah, I'm good. If you are a build that really benefits from normal lab. So like for example, I am a build that really benefits from normal lab because uh let's see, this is friendly, plus one point. Because like I get um substantially faster from my normal lab. Oh I forget to repair the bash. Whatever. I end up only have two town anyways. Hell of Ash, uh Anger, both are fine. I can also grab any Anger and then get a mana reservation and then I'm good. Is this thing? I was saying, um my build specifically gets substantially better with my normal lab. Like I get faster, I get tankier, do more damage. So overall I want to do my normal lab as fast as humanly possible. So 28 is the soonest I can do it at. However, other builds, they don't really care for the lab as much. So you can just wait a little while to do it instead. Yes, everything appears to be in order now. Let's look at normal lab. Is this top right or top left? It is in fact top left. My uh, boba keys in the way though. A little hard to see where I'm going. Whatever, I'll just look at it in a sec. Ooh, this time's uh, getting worse and worse as I just devolve into story time after story time. Ooh. Can I get through this door, please? Hello. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. You can get through like almost any door. Haven't I ever thought how's the best way to spend my time? You're sure it's not play PUE? Well, here's the thing, is I like going all in on something, all right? If I'm going to be an accountant, I would prefer to be an accountant working my literal life force away for some big four company for four years, becoming like a partner accountant or just some high level managerial accountant and making dollar dollar bills. Okay, that would be the dream. Okay, maybe not after four years, but you know. After they turn me out for four years, I get a small little promotion of 50 cents, and then after eight years, I get maybe an extra, like, few dollars. But you know what I mean. I would rather full focus, or full focus, turbo blast career, than just, like, casually do two different things. So... CFO in four years, that one seems a little roar. I'm, you're doing that right now, now you're depressed. Okay, but no matter what you do in life, it'll be hard. Okay, if you aspire for big things, they will have big payouts in the very end. If you don't aspire for big things, you will be hard stuck IRL. There's your motivation, alright. I give you the carrot and I gave you the stick. I better know. Sub 4 CFO. I actually turned, um, it's 23 tomorrow. I believe I turned 23 tomorrow. I plan on making a Twitter post that my, my speedrun to age 23 is the same as everybody else is aware. Let's see if we got any cool gear, because this is a, a bit of a longer run. I can actually change gloves if I want. Is there a tight speed right? That's why I'm keeping them. Yeah, that's why I'm keeping them. Ooh. This is actually a pretty good helm. Fortunately that I can't use those studs. Step up my sub game. What do you mean? My help is I think my dom game's a little better. Mm-hmm. Let's grab Hero of Ash. And I guess that's fine for now. A spark assassin run? Probably not. I think I'd rather go Inquisitor over Assassin, to be honest. Alright, now we're juicing. I gotta wait till like X6 to get GMP, don't I? Hey, birthday? It's not my birthday for another three hours. You did that run three years ago? Yeah, I'm just catching up. My bad. Doesn't every class get in an Act 4? I don't think so, dude. I don't think every class gets GMP in Act 4. Do I get a neck for? Somebody check Pewee Wiki. I've got like a 50 button rotation to press some bosses. If you're not familiar with the um, 
with the armor brand creamer rotation. I'll explain when I get to the boss. East Coast birthday. Okay, dude. I guess if you're from EU right now or anywhere else in the world that's not America, you could probably say happy birthday and I guess it'd be true. It's the 10th in New Zealand. Alright, thanks brother. Just checked, all classes get it. Alright, I'll give the 2v2g in the home then. All classes get it? Huh. Today I learned, boys. Today I learned. Happy birthday, thanks brother. This feels like... So I've been watching a lot of StarCraft Brood War. And I'll watch Arctosis cast every day, but he stopped for a few days because he was moving. And I've watched some other commentators, and they're like, a little clueless, dude. A little clueless. It's like, I'm kind of elitist. I'm a little elitist, you know? Like, I see a Zerg doing a double drone scout plus nine pool. And I know immediately they're gonna start going for some uh, some damage, you know. But the commentator that's not Artosis doesn't make note of it. He's just like, for some reason, he's sending out two drones. I'm not sure why. Clueless. Please stop watching Dota. Yeah, I can't watch League of Legends esports because it's like, this guy has the knowledge of like a silver player, dude. There's no way. Can't stand watching Artosis. Okay, I can't stand watching Artosis' stream where he gets a donation. And it's just the most cringe thing I've ever heard before in my life. But I love Artosis casts. I cannot take a nap without it. I cannot eat lunch without it. And when he stopped for two days, my life stopped for two days. He also stopped for COVID a while ago, so. Was Loco casting? I like Brood War games over uh, StarCraft 2 games. Better now? Is it better now? I, must have time to on my will. I also like how Artosis fills in the gaps. He literally talks about everything in the game. Like, I'm sure I could talk about PV the whole time, but I do this thing where I start talking about Belfast, and I talk about, like, some random stuff, and then I talk about ads, and then I talk about my experience online, and then and then I just randomly go, oh, level 30 in that zone is really good. Uh, I'd like to farm to, like, 30 in Droid Lake, but being 30 here is, like, perfect. Uh, let's just go ahead and chrome this, look for 3B1G. This would be beautiful. I got a 3B1G. Sometimes lucky. I'm supposed to go faster casting on this until I get a, like, combustion, but... Or not combustion, uh... We can actually go, uh... Since that is 200% effective damage, I actually can see myself going, uh... Added lightning gear, which is a little weird. But... You know. Uh, Herald of Thunder, added lightning. It's alright. GMP? You don't go GMP on uh, Armor Brand. Also, we don't get GMP until level 38, so not worth uh, considering the What do you mean you don't like the Mario fanfic? You mean the giant cover case they do in chat? Not a huge fan, though. That's how I am. Oh, damn. Uh, we don't need more XP. I can grab the faster casting and the cast speed thing, but I don't need it. Just gonna drop this. So I'm gonna go to these, and this, and that. And I mean, I could just use LA Prolet for now, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this. This has cold res on it, even, as well. I think since there's so much cast speed and stuff, I'm probably just gonna grab out of lightning gear. It's a little weird. I you. Yeah, let's grab out of lightning. Faster casting also works. Listen, boys, I'm just a casual gamer, okay? I'm gonna grab probably Determ and Anger. I'm not gonna use them for now. Yes. Maybe I'll just grab uh, Determ. Oh, I can't even level up. Anger. Alright, let's grab that then. I mean, I guess I can grab this because I'll need it later anyways. I'm not going to be running both auras, obviously, but we're going to be going into uh, mana reservation stuff soon. We're going to go left side. going to go into Divine Judgment, grab Devotion, later path to Spiritual Aid. Aware Woke Page. Is that some hidden Blackrock need? Quartz. Quartz Blast are pretty cool. I wouldn't mind grabbing a Quartz Blast. Dude, I'm like dying. This is Quartz Blast, but done. Get the Rap God. Uh, I like to fire off my words at 3 million words per minute. So the reason why I click on these Sulfite nodes is in the grand hope that one of them, or multiple of them, drop the 10 alteration card, Society's Remorse. And that's exactly what I found. The level 31 here, which is 
actually a little high on XP, but still really, really good. Because we'd like to be like close to 32 by the time we're in the, the future zones. Because of the way XP scaling works. Okay, we'll get ourselves up to you. Amulet, Magic Blast. I'd like to find the uh, little skill point. I imagine it's down here. Ooh! Not like a skip, but a nice little connecting node. That's very nice. Very cute. Alright, let's go this way though. So the way XP works is you have to be within three levels of the zone to get full XP. You can be one extra level away from the zone to get like a slightly less XP. But every 16 levels, this difference increases by one. And so at level 32, you can be in a level 37 zone. But here's the thing. Going from 31 to 32 essentially increases how far away you can be from the zone by two, right? Because not only are you going from 31 to 32, so you can be an extra level, like, closer to the zone or whatever. Not only are you- oh, my camera just fell and fell really hard, actually. I'll fix that in a sec. It's like you're going from 31 to 32, so you can be a level, so you're a level closer to the zone. But also, since you get 32, um... Your XP calculation allows you to be a level closer. Roof stream? Yeah. Is this the run? Yeah, it's just a silly little for fun YouTube video that I decided to do last second. So, it's not the run. This isn't an official speed run. It's not a turbo efficient category. It's just, you know, some cool, cool fun content. Bye. I'm right here, dude. What do you mean? Uh, I can't skip these actually. This one's impossible to skip. The other one's possible to skip with um, just frost blink. I think I get um, a skip of one with frost blink as well in the near future in the next mode. I'll try to do that. Let's get the 50 life mastery. Get this mana reservation efficiency. I think it'd be good. Sovereignty is actually a lot of investment on points. It's really weird though. Can I explain how to skip them? Uh, you can't use leap slam through them. So you have to use Smoke Mine is the best. Um, you can also use Blink Arrow. Um, Flame Dash is okay, but you have to be like pixel perfect on the one I was just in. But yeah, Leap Slam counts your characters being like in the air, so you like can't skip it. Did I get 32 by the way? Oh, we're, like this is 33. These recipes are pretty good in the long run. Uh, you have to basically go into the cages. But you kind of want to be on like the corner of the cages, so you can jump to the other ones. Karma Krima is still light years ahead of other leveling. Uh, that's not entirely true. There's other things that are okay, like Poison Collection Pathfinder. It's kind of shilling. Pretty good build. Here I like to leap into the pack, so that uh, the guy that leap slams doesn't go like super far away. What gem am I running now? I am using Armageddon Brand, Link 2, Combustion, Onslaught. Last one's up to you if you want to use Faster Casting or Added Lightning. Additionally, uh, at level 30, switch it over to Ellie Prolif or Ignite Prolif. You could use Ellie Prolif for now. I considered using it. Decided against it though. Um, and then additionally, we're using Cremation with Honk Effect and Ellie Focus. We're using EO, so we don't need, want to use. Um, Control destruction. Dude, every cog in my brain just had a function right there. Uh, those are really similar to my current gloves. Let's see if they're any good. They're decent. They got dual res. I'll hold on to them for a little bit. Let's see. Any good flasks here? Oh, that's pretty decent. Yeah, I'll take this, actually. Why do I do that? I can I do this because I need something. Uh, reduced effect. Uh, that's a little cringe. Let's make this pretty good. Not less duration. Reduced effect to shock. Not bad. The other one has the same exact thing, but it's whatever. Uh, anything good here? Let's see, because I need to fix my inventory real quick. No. No. Oh, I was going to hold on to that. No. I can... No, actually, my boots are okay, so I'm not going to MS craft it. Yeah, that would just be kind of troll. Oh, my uh, little thing went away. Peace. Uh, that's a better mana flask for later. Hold on to this. I should probably sell this. Actually, this is a decent amulet. Then I'll just hold on to this for a tiny bit of time. Did I got my skill point? No, I did not. Oh, it's not like super important yet. A leak starter am I running? I don't know yet. I gotta wait for patch notes. So I'm just doing a little for fun speed run. I already killed this boss, didn't I? I get the little item here. This build sounds cringe. Where's my sword? 
Uh, I do plan on playing a cleave build, self portrait next league. I'm gonna show you guys the power plus two AoE. Winter Tide's more chill. Yeah, if, if you have low IQ or you know that you're bad at leveling, Winter Tide's really chillin'. Literally. Like, it's pretty smooth. But I don't like it because it's a bit slower. Uh, if we had a smoke mine, we could skip this, but we don't, so we can't. This top bar doesn't get smoke mine, so it's really hard to skip something for. More like the power of a 600 PDPS foil. Listen, just because it's going to be 700 PDPS and also I'm going to be using three mirrors with the gear plus some mage blood doesn't mean that the cleave gem is going to be carried by that. <laughs> Listen, dude. Beginner friendly plus league starter viable plus... Nah, I'm just joking. Yo, so I'm running into a... Uh... An issue with max roll. I've pretty much dumbed down my leveling guys as much as humanly possible, but there's gonna be a couple that require a pretty high IQ. All right, I'm talking like a bow starter. All right, and I really want to stress that if the player is awful at the game, it is not recommended to play or level the build. Okay, if you're brand new and you were trying out bow leveling for the first time, you are going to look over at the guy that's leveling as Absolution, and you're gonna be wishing you were that guy. You're gonna watch the guy that's leveling as Spectral Helix, and you're gonna wish you were that guy. You know? There's gonna be a couple builds like that. I'm talking some real, like, you're going Chaos skills as a Witch, pre-level 24, and you're watching this Ranger go Poison Concoction at level 12. And you're gonna wish you were that guy. You know? And so I really need to stress in my leveling guide, like, don't play this if you're stupid, and I don't know how to say that without saying don't play this if you're awful, dog shit, terrible at the video game. Did I see that Hoonie retired? I did not. I remember when Hoonie first showed up. I was a big Hoonie fan, and then he pretty much only played Rumble, and I lost respect for him. You played Lightning Arrow a couple days ago, it does require a lot of knowledge. The idea behind our builds, right, the idea behind the Maxwell Guides, is that no matter where or what kind of skill you are at, following the guide to the T should be pretty fail-proof. You should be good to go to level as one of our guides. But some of them are just a little bit harder to play. And I need to be able to find a way to say that actual group leveling, it's on the radar for the future. It won't be on release or ready for next league. What if I can't read? Okay, there's like a certain level of guides in which we're not catering to the people that like can't read or the people that are drooling on themselves. Alright. Difficulty intermediate. I mean, I've considered just saying like this is not recommended for beginner players. But then it's like, you know, what do I do if that's the playstyle they really want to play? Plus one socket of minion gems. Isn't TR pretty easy? Yeah, but you're not going to go toxic rain for leveling, and then switch it over to Lightning Arrow, you know? Like, that's not a strat, because they're just completely different archetypes. Here we go Rain of Arrows on the Elemental Boost. That's what YouTube guides are for? People that can't read? Okay. Oh, you know what I just realized? I can remove the Red Gem. Uh, uh, Holy Flame Totem that I can put in Angel. Because I'm about to get a Sovereignty here. Oh, he's actually a crazy good node. What level am I? I'm 34. That's pretty good. What if I can't breathe? Uh, get an inhaler? Will the guide work if I'm on dial-up? Now you guys are just me. Can I add braille to the website? Did. <laughs> Psych that killer chat, ask one normal question challenge. Impossible. What about Havoc's Blast Rain? I'm not a fan of the build. Exquisite. What if I watch Quinn? Then you have a good example of what not to do. That's all. I wish I could be more like Quinn. He's just playing the game to have fun. He doesn't care, dude. Quinn's like the definition of a Jigga Chad. He's got like some 12 hour Act 10 Gatava and somehow it's entertaining. With all my PvE guides on last epoch. 
I saw Steel playing last Epoch. Was it Steel? No, it was Empyrean Gaming playing last Epoch. And he was like, have you ever played this game? And I was like, heh, have I ever played this game? Yeah, I played in a race once. I wasn't gonna say that I pushed level 100 in one weekend and then also pushed like top 10 arena for the entire season or the entire patch. But, uh, you know. I was like, yeah, I played. That was a lot of fun, actually. Watching an MP play made me kind of want to play again. What is this? High eye level? So maybe I can make a juicer? Perhaps. You dabble. I might... I have an idea. I considered this a while ago. I might grab some PB content creators and juice it up with the boys in some, uh, some group content. Because they're creating group play. And so what better way to go about it than to create some collab content. We're gonna bring the Among Us collaboration meta over to the ARPG gamers. I know for certain, Zizarin would be down. I don't even have to suggest the idea to him for him to already want to do that. Free Dampen? Okay, I didn't say anything about damp Dampen. A star difficulty for builds would be a good idea. Uh, there's like, um... There's like a, a budget difficulty rating, you know? So there's like, you know, if a build's like turbo high budget, probably best not to go it. Oh, you do get GMP here. Beautiful. Do that, but just lean fully into Among Us. Actually just play Among Us. Okay, dude. Difficulty curve. I mean, like I said, the builds already have like um, a scale of how affordable the build is as a league starter. Why am I so in love with death? Uh, probably just the concept that like, nothing in life really matters. Has Montagoth ever typed anything else? No. Playing Scion Wander. Um, I actually played Scion Wander a while ago. Look at my VODs for the Anomaly League. I should still be on Twitch for a little while. I believe I went Spectral Helix Fizz Bleed and then switched over to Corrupting Fever Bleed in maps. There you go. This is just an Among Us mod. What if, dude? You're gonna play Ruse Vortex. Some people are gonna play Ruse Vortex. Some people are gonna play um, Maw Mischief. I think people that play expensive builds, obviously good at the game, are probably fun. And like I said, I've played some very expensive builds before in the past. Though the best builds that I've ever played are like. The builds that are turbo SSF viable. I'm talking like some real like poison seismic trap. I've gotten really good at poison seismic trap. Turns out if you play the same build for 12 leagues in a row, you get pretty good at playing it. I should look at what kind of res I need. Okay, so I really need fire and I really need lightning res. So I'm gonna grab that later. The cold vortex build isn't expensive. Yeah, but he was using like replica items, no? To make it like actually function. Like I just don't know how to make that like good early on. Using cold iron, yeah, he's using replica cold iron points. Exactly. That's for medium budget, though. Okay, but does it work? I'm like, I'm legit, level 65, entering maps. Or what? Lightning hour, lightning arrow, or spark to play with your aura bot. Uh, I'd... If you're going headhunter, I'd recommend lightning arrow. Tbh feels a bit better to me. Cause like if you're gonna be Omega strong, I'd rather clear the whole screen than like I've been mean, Spark clears the whole screen too, but it's up to you. Rook killed Maven with two blue scepters. I don't like tests like that. I don't like tests like I'm gonna take off half my gems, half my gear, and then use like this other like weird stuff and take off my cluster jewels. Like I don't like seeing that. You know, I want to see the speed run where you're like actually going through the motion and not like some weird simulation fantasy world. You know, I mean, if you've got spell suppress, you're probably perfectly fine in the Maven fight. You could do Maven fight with okay-ish gear with like literally white scepters. You know. I vowed before my brothers that I would return. Can I do a test run where I do a backflip every five minutes? No, I can't even do one backflip. I've been doing um some pull-ups though recently. It was a pretty good day on the pull-up bar.
Yeah, I mean, if you plan on doing bosses at all with your aura bot, I would also recommend Spork. Okay, I pull up. Yeah, I like that kind of pull up. How many reps? Three million. Divided by three million times. I think I did six. The issue is I'm not like, I'm not like cheating anymore and like pulling myself up from like halfway down the bar. So I can only really get like four or five really good ones and then that's it. I must have three sets of one million. I'm probably gonna get so a few days of trade league in. And then after that, I don't know. Else we'll see. Um, I'm going to farm Chamber of Innocence to level 40 just because it's a good place to farm. It's a turbo XP blast. You can also drop the Herald of Thunder. I find myself running into mana problems. I think I'll do that for now, but easiest fast way to get the four links while leveling up. From level 24 onwards, check vendors for a four link. Uh, other than that, Look out for any 4-link and see if you can chrome it. So, like, let's say that I need... Well, let's say... In this run, I need 3B1G and I need 2B2G, right? <sighs> Three Horizon Orbs. Jeez, dude, that's OP. So, in this run, I need 3B1G and I need 2B2G. Chroming an item that is only strength-based is a bad idea. Because it's most likely just gonna give me red sockets. So that's why I would not do that. Similarly, like if I need like full red on a build, I'm not gonna chrome an item that has like pure int requirement. So you get a four link from the X6 quest to kill Chevroni, but you'll notice in a lot of my runs, I'm rocking a four link in you know Act Three, Act Four, Act Five kind of thing. The earliest I can get one is Act Four. I don't really plan around getting them like super early. I think I need Fire Lightning if I'm not mistaken. Oh, they're all 16% too. Beautiful. Oh, look at that fire res. Alright, we're gonna need a better two stone ring than what we've got currently. So I'm most likely gonna look for something better. Also, we can GMP this finally. Huge. Uh, probably gonna sell these. Probably use this. Right now, move these over. Got a lot of muns at the moment. You know what? I am actually gonna sell some of these. And what kind of flask I'm gonna get? Probably gonna go. Granite flask. Exactly. Increased armor, that's huge. Can you chrome a full strength item for 4B if you're stupid? No. The setup looks fun to level. Yeah. I don't think fast always looks fun to level, right? Watching someone go fast is fun. After trade, I'll send the soul on poison auction to 93 and then quit the league. Okay, but that was just because of Arknam, the Arknam incident. Yeah, the first 4-link you get is from the Act 6 quest to kill Chevroni. Next one's late Act 7 for 4-link boots. Uh, then I believe... The next one is Act 10, you get a chest piece? I don't know why Act 8 and 9 don't give one. You get like... A choice of like a weapon or a shield in Act 9. Inspired by a lost arch streamer? That's right. You know why? Because if someone can. You know what? Never mind, I'm not gonna say it. Never mind. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go Divine Judgment here. Is this uh, the right one? Uh, yeah, we'll go chance for ailments. It's fun. <laughs> Look at you barbed up. Am I level 40? No, I'm not 40. Just say it. I was just gonna say, if my viewership also took a massive dive because I decided to play some off-brand Korean MMO and still survive, I'd probably do the same thing. No wonder I'm so inspired by content creators. I mean, like, once I come back from Belfast and I've spent all my money down to zero dollars, because I gamble it all away. I'm sure that won't happen. I don't like gambling. And I end up playing Dragonflight on stream for a month. Because I got a wish. I was playing Lost Ark. See a buddy canceled? I don't think I can get canceled for a. 
for a, a mild take. The League only streams. Belfast Azure Lane streams. If I got sponsored to play Genshin or Azure Lane, I'd probably play him, to be honest. A medium take. Yeah, you know you go to like a Wings place and they got the like mild and they got the medium. I got some medium takes. Maybe some better mana on bosses. I might take off the Hero to Thunder. Alright, let's go to Divine Judgment. I like Divine Judgment. Ellie Res. Then probably Rune Binder brand moves. Also, what do I do if I have to go to the bathroom? Can I walk around in a circle and place on Armor Brand while I'm in the bathroom? That wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. I'm gonna do that then. I'm just gonna have to go fast. I've been holding it in for like a few minutes here. Just do every sponsor stream. Every stream that I do should be a sponsor stream, you think? Uh, I don't like that idea. I don't like watching stre streamers do sponsor streams. Ooh, these charges use a full arrival. Every stream? Okay. I pull up. Can you go down, bud? Can you go down? I need some mana. I guess I can do this as well. Alright, we'll do it on the next phase here. Only stream mobile games. I could be the next guy that you see on literally every single mobile game ad. What do you lab for Loop Slam? Uh, oh, library for Loop Slam. Uh, no, I wouldn't do it as a witch because the witch doesn't get access to frenzy charges or, um, or like a bunch of attack speed on the tree. Like, you're not really going to be going Dark Arts plus Scepter. You can, but it's a bit weird. Alright, here I'm going to go to the bathroom. Just hope that I'm fine. Oh no, I died. I would have never predicted that before. Did I do well though? Did I do well? <laughs> what kind of streamer is this? I've got a wireless mouse, so I just decided to take it with me into the bathroom. To animation cancel the innocence ad phase, aka piss canceling. I hit the wall. Hmm. Alright. Cool. Wait, what is going on here? I actually survived quite a bit. <laughs> nice. I did wash my hands, dude. Come on. Dude, I literally washed one singular hand. Right. I phased him once. Okay, that's not true though. Just one? Yeah, because I'm not dual wielding, dude. For what purpose would I be dual wielding? The hand's on the mouse. I can't be taking the hand off the mouse. I accidentally juke some fireballs. Huh. I'll have to watch it later. It probably looked really cool, but I didn't mean to do it. I was just moving as if I was playing blind. Take the keyboard next time. <laughs> so I could use flask. You know what? I'm just gonna play with a blindfold on. Wash hands? I washed a hand. Yeah. The hand has to be on the mouse for six hours to qualify. That's right, dude. Nah, anytime I see someone talking about the bucket for like league start i just think that's so degenerate i would rather become one minute faster than like pee in a bottle you know but i just decided that this would be some some funny little thing i could do 
Alright, we're 41, which is beautiful. Chancellor, joint. Transmute. I mean, I wouldn't mind going for these. Or not. Gaming diaper. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Put on headphones and take the headphones with me next time. Uh, no. I'm gonna end the encounter. Oh, I could also pick up a Hollow Blood Quest. Yeah, I'm gonna grab one of those Hollow Blood Quests back there. There we go. Is this magic packs? Just don't eat? Okay, but I had to go to the bathroom at some point because I'm drinking boba tea. Alright, tidy everything because we need some inventory space soon. Garbage. Garbage. Gas beat. Garbage. 20 MS. Up toward the rival. I remember end up losing a marking search, but for 20 months, sure why not. Wait, I actually lose quite a bit of res. Next sponsorship should be diapers instead. Okay, dude, that's a man. I'm gonna take a crowd of thunder, honestly. I don't think it's adding much damage. It's making my mana really weird. I'm just jealous. Bathroom cells seething over bucket chads. <laughs> That's literally all I've been thinking for the last minute. <laughs> That's why I was laughing, because I was laughing at my own joke. I saw this picture, and it was like, is this guy asking this other guy on his phone why he was in the sewer, like in the drain? And the guy in the drain was like, ground cells seething over drain chads. And the meme still had like an ad bottom text here, and in the next image, it was like... It was the, the ground cell guy, the guy that was on the ground, also in the drain on his phone. I don't know, dude. Zoomer humor is like the most brain-dead shit imaginable. It's like those videos that confirm that zoomer humor is not anything intelligent, it's not anything with setup, it's just... Loud distorted and somehow includes beans you know for freedom it doesn't make sense it's not funny yeah there it is is it funny no Avisa, have you seen a Chinese TikTok like League of Legends TikToks those things are crazy they kind of like because they play on like different servers right so they have like a uh, they can do some interesting stuff in those in those those games, you know. Chinese Lee Sin TikToks. I saw one recently of a guy, and he was walking around invisible with like sunfire, and he killed everybody by walking near them, and he got a pet to kill that way, and then it fully zoomed out. The music got distorted, and he was a Cho'Gath that was the size of like twelve monitors. Where did my wave of conviction go? Oh, it was actually in the boost the whole time. Okay, where will I remove then? I have a thunder, obviously. Yeah. I have an IO Winter Mines. Uh, I'm just leveling as like a weird version of them, basically. Used to be able to do that in Season 2. I'm sure you could. What if I sold the bucket, like how Amor sells for your bathwater? I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do that. Season 2, now I feel old. Okay, you can't just mention like something, or you can't just like listen to the mention of something from olden times and be like, wow, now I feel old. Like, I can't just be like, remember like Warcraft 3 custom games playing Dota 2 or Dota 1? Defense of the Ancients it wasn't even Dota, it was just Defense of the Ancients. Running home from school, I remember. Also, I don't, because I was still not even a concept in my parents' minds back then. My mapping armor for your mic? Yep. Any effects, Royce? Boots. Belt. Right ring. Helm. Oh, I never crafted weapons. You're supposed to craft weapons after doing Act 3. See your stuff. Peace. I do not remember those days. This is neither the time nor uh, this setup is just for the six hour run. 
If it's good and it feels nice, I'm actually just gonna go lightning res here. Turbo lightning res. How's the rest of my res? Oh, I'm just need some like itty bitty bit of fire res, itty bit of a cold res. Oh, I should have done res instead. And then I think I need itty bitty cold res. This is actually a pretty good ring. And then I think I can craft on the belt. And the belt's actually pretty awful, so I'm not gonna do the belt. So I'm just gonna leave myself at this level of rose for now. Am I? Am I really gonna do that? No, I'm not. I got fire rose in the helm. Fire rose. And we're 10% off on lightning. I really don't wanna craft on this belt, dude. This belt's so bad. You remember the thought of a season changing was cringe, because then you'd lose gold. <laughs> That reminds me of my friend, he played like 50 ranked games that season and was like hard stuck bronze 3 and all of his friends made fun of him for, for being bronze when his friends were like silver 4 or like bronze 1 and the next season he went like 0-8 every game but he won every game. This is before the algorithm like considered how you played in the game. He won like every game. Despite going 0-8, and he got placed in gold 5. And for the entire season, he bragged about being gold to his friends, and never played more than his 10 provisional games. I think halfway through he actually played an 11th game and also went 0-8 there, and then didn't, went back to not playing because he realized he would lose it. Way too based. Okay. Like I said, I probably won't be able to little GMP at all, but that's fine. Alright, we're gonna go over this way. Get us in some, like, little weird spot here. Dude, GMP is such a juicer gem for this build. I'm not used to playing this on, uh, the 10th floor, so I'm usually not getting the 30 of my runs. He was going zero away because he was playing with something else. Makes sense to me. I'm gonna transmit this. Instant recovery. Sometimes lucky. I'm gonna move this. And I think I'm gonna actually grab this chest piece. I don't about it. That is four link. Oh, the boots. The boots good. Be a bit awkward if the boots were crazy good. I need a better belt, so we're gonna do the belt quest. We're gonna go back from this waypoint back to the last waypoint. We're gonna portal out. I don't know if I'm gonna do the final island quest. I probably get some gems. We'll need. How to level occult this? Yeah, I'm a brain Kuma. You can go poison concoction from library. And for the leveling part of the game, over end game? Uh, yeah, of course. It's like, early game, I go from like some 3 life belt to like a belt with like 80 life on it. And I get dopamine straight to the brain. You know what happens when I'm in end game of PoE? Is I look at my like, 1x gear and then realize that the next best option is like, 12 exalts, so I gotta farm for a few hours to make 12 exalts to get like the most minimal upgrade possible And I don't even need it because I can do the entire game with my like 1x item, you know It's like I don't like in game in this game very much Obviously, you know, I play some some pretty meta cuck stuff to be able to get those kind of results, but You know, I don't like play a turbo build to break the game and then play some like meme stuff like what most people do. I'm not very creative. Don't ruin endgame for me. Listen, dude. I'm not ruining endgame for you. I'm making early game sound more appealing. Hey, how many mobs are remaining and where are they? Where'd they go? Slash remaining. Don't be one. Oh god. Where is he? I don't see him. Do we have the bug? might have the bug, but I might just be stupid. Oh, here he is. He literally blended in, dude. There's no way to see him. Alright, whatever. Let's gonna grab our belt. 33 life. That's somehow even more trash. Is my cold rose capped? Oh, it's still capped. It's not fun. I'm not really gonna use that. Thanks all this garbage. I don't think I wanna hold on to this. I mean, whatever. Boom, boom. Look at that. I can drop one in the mana flask pretty soon. Is this an anime weapon, uh, jewel? It is, I believe. I'm gonna grab a skill point. And where was I going? Oh, I think I was grabbing a uh, devotion over here. Excuse my life, friends. Sold, unidied, unique. Oh, whoops. I grumble yet. My chat is bots that are messaging you to claim free rust skins. Uh, report them. Wow. 
watch nuns were so aids. Alright, I know I said I can't get cancelled over a mild take. But this is a this is a hot take. I like the watchdog system. I liked it. I was good at it. Why? Because I figured it out. After multiple Awakener runs, I finally got it. It clicked. My brain understood what the Watchstones meant, their significance in life. I opened my third eye. I awakened. I literally ascended IRL. And you know what happened as soon as I figured them out and figured out the speedrunning tech? They removed them. The biggest reason why I enjoyed Watchstones, one of the biggest reason why, is because I knew what to do with them and other people didn't. That's why. That's the, actually pretty much the only reason why. It's because I knew how to use them and nobody else did. What did you do? Everybody used the leapfrog method, but there would be a little bit of a hang. There'd be a slight hang in the leapfrog method, so it wasn't quite perfect. Because here's how it would go, chat. Here's how it would go. People would put in... People who had a very basic, or actually... People who had no understanding didn't know what to do, and they were very lost. People who had a small understanding knew to do the leapfrog method, which is where you get you get a watchstone, you put it in a corner, you get two watchstones, you put it in another corner, three watchstones, you put it in another corner. I realized... I wasn't the only one to realize this, by the way. You know, obviously other people realize this. But people couldn't utilize it properly. I utilized the fact that after getting one watchstone in a corner, you basically did that conquer. So, like, there were four corners to the Atlas. Well, actually, there were eight. There were eight corners to the Atlas. And so once you did a corner of the Atlas, you, uh, you would run out of that conquer. Let's say that you did, like, Baron in the top, the top right or something. If you did Baron in the top right, then you weren't going to get the Baron Watchstone in that corner again. And so even if you put one Watchstone in the top right to get your second Watchstones, you can't get Baron. And so for one, for one singular Watchstone... Oh, also I need to go back and get my uh, trial, so I gotta go get that at some point. For one singular Watchstone, you would actually one Watchstone another region and take it out after getting three maps. So you'd like run two regions with one watchstone with the intention of only running Baron after spawning two. No, you would do two of the Conquerors in the top right. And then you would spawn the the third one. And then you would do Baron in another corner because it would be forced to be Baron, right? You guys are probably losing your mind just hearing this explanation. And so for three maps, you would put in the watchstone, click the map, and as soon as you found your third map, you would essentially not put in the watchstone uh, outside of putting in the map. That way you would get your Baron watchstone without dropping more maps in that corner, while having a third region with two watchstones. I'm so lost in this explanation. Okay, well now you just, you go through the game, you click sustain nodes, you get the watchstones. Okay, I will level with you guys though, I do like the new system quite a bit more. The new system makes more sense, it's really smooth, it kinda gets a good system, it encourages bossing, and like, you know, even mappers have to go do bossing. But Flying it was munch just subscribe. so much cheese back in the day. Flying Munch, thanks for sub, dude. Pretty good chest piece here actually, pretty good shield, pretty good helm. Actually good items across the board, really good stats here on the shield chest as well. Yep, it's easier than the leaping strat. Oh, for sure. You mean have mappers pay path of math? Well, look, next league, if I do bossing, it's gonna be me too. You miss plus one watch drones? Eh, I mean, you know, there's always stuff that people miss. I just wanted the elitist tech to myself. Yeah, but I streamed the whole thing, right? So you can't say it was just kept to myself. How much will I charge? Listen, dude, my services are quite expensive, alright? The OnlyFans is not cheap. 
Oh, you mean for PoE coaching? Yeah, I don't offer any PoE coaching at the moment. We'll donate one boba tea. Consider it done. I play too fast? Nobody knows what's going on anyways. That's not true, guys. I'm sure probably close to all of you guys are following along exactly what I'm doing, right? You just cancer vendor walk into frame skip into piss cancelling Act 5 Innocence. That's absolutely true. Look at this damage though, dude. Dude, GMP plus conk effects? Pretty crazy. I understand. See, that's what I'm saying. Look, my damage. Okay, well he has damage reduction on, so don't look at it right now. Don't look at it, don't look at it. The only reason I'm doing this boss, by the way, is because I have uh, high fire res, so... The piss cancel tech. I know, dude, that's what I'm saying. Boom. Boom. Garbage, garbage. How's the time, by the way? Is the time good? I'm just gonna sell that just piece because I don't think I'm actually gonna end up using it. I mean, and yeah, it'll, it'll be like a 150x6. It's okay. Oh, another 10 ults. Huge. Four hours of XP, you're gonna go. Yeah, but we're not gonna like four hours of BA. Titan may be too fast to understand, but at least it's not a team of people leveling. Yeah, I don't like playing in a team because I don't get to talk to chat. I basically just get to focus entirely on how to be a human being and how to socialize. And the whole time I'm playing in a group with other people. This is my experience in BPL. Don't say something stupid, don't say something stupid, don't say something stupid. And then I'm talking to my group and I'm like, have you ever have you guys ever Never mind. Don't worry about it. They're like, okay. And then I'll be like, what if? You know what? Never mind, don't worry about it. <laughs> Mute mic, use chat instead. There's been a few times where someone said some very questionable things in my group and I've muted Mike, zoomed in on camera and been like... <laughs> what was the most recent incident where I did that? I think it was during V Rising. <laughs> I was like... Practicing V Rising speedrunning before I knew that it wasn't supposed to be try hard at all. And then uh There was a there's a bit of a an incident. Diamond flask? I don't think I'm going crit at all, so I don't think this is useful. Disparage. Yeah no. Remember, remember. TF Blade and Twitch Rivals deafened in Discord. Really? I don't know about that one, dude. I don't know about that one. But I can't, like, focus on chat and talk to people. Talking to people actually takes a lot of mental energy out of me. That's why I don't play with, like, MP's group. I love the boys. The guys. I love the guys. But talking to other people is very stressful for me. Also, I feel like I play worse in a group because I'm, I'm hard on myself. Like, if I get the maps in like, three and a half hours, solo, it's fine. If I'm getting the maps in three hours and 29 minutes, I'm like, dude, that could have been three hours and 28 minutes. TF Blade equals calmest league player. You know, like when he's yelling about his jungler? Yeah. To be fair though, if you ever play top, you understand. Wish I could group, but my friends would have made it get to Act 1. I'd honestly probably rather have friends that never played Path of Exile than the friends that I have right now that go, Kiwi sucks, man. Why do you still play that game? Kiwi hasn't been good since Legion. Just stop playing. They're literally Reddit, except Reddit will like play the league and complain. Actually, I'm convinced most of them don't play the game. But my friends will like not play the league and say it sucks anyways. Wow, Legion. What does that mean? Are you talking about World of Warcraft Legion? It's in the expansion pack, Legion. By Activision Blizzard. My friends can't even make it past download. That's a Chris Wilson take right now. 
Yeah, you know, most of the PoE players that install the game don't even make it past the login screen, so what are we talking about when we say, uh, new players? Okay, Chris, alright. Nah, I get it, it's just, uh, we're talking about new players here. Right, so, on the topic of new players, I primarily meant, like, you know, someone new to the game. Not, like, the person who uninstalls after, uh, Hillock. I actually did that, by the way, a long time ago. I got to, like, Hillock and legit stopped playing the game. Because I was like, this game sucks, I'm going back to D3. That was, like, for your Souls days, though. So, some old tech. So I can put on my brand so nudes. Am I going to go two brands or brand attachment range? I actually like attachment range. I'll get the other ones. You're a gift, don't you see? <sighs> Friends play for a week, big for result by cluster. It's more worth the war than the rest of their gear. Then quit after being given the 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 thing. Because your friend threw mud flats, he hasn't launched the game since. I had friends, two IRL friends, that wanted to play PoE. They both got to like late axe, like BA farming, you know. One of them got to maps, I think, because he don't play some turbo crazy unique. I gave him a bunch of money. And I asked them, the league, after, if they were going to play the league. And they went, I don't think I'm going to play this league, because I don't want to go through Act 1 again. They were like, I have to fight Merville again, so probably not. I know they have access to the best, one of the best PoE leveling players in the entire game, but they specifically requested for me to not help them, because it would be too much pressure. I think the Sol Ren buff is good enough. You mean like for a Sol Ren, uh, like just straight Sol Ren or Sol Ren uh, spell singer? I don't know. I'm not smart enough. Softcore Andy's? Nah, Softcore Andy take is like, I will level and I will have three trillion deaths. Their take is like, you know, just a new player take in general. That's actually pretty okay, but not great. I believe I grabbed my skill points from the second interview life. But it's not a good resist ring, so... Farewell. I already got my skill points that would appear. I did, Welcome. Right? Yeah, I did. Okay. I mean, 147 with skill points, pretty good. <laughs> okay, dodge your little auto attack here, or your dog shit. My god, you're so bad. True, actually. I am very nice to new players. My entire friend group used to play PoE, and they kind of started playing PoE one by one, until the entire group was a PoE fanatic. And what I did is, during their first league, I would be very hand-holdy. I would answer every question, I'd be very nice. On the second league, I'd, uh, you know, I'd, I'd be a little little less obvious. I would not, I'd be the teacher that doesn't quite give the answer, but gives the tools to get the answer. By week, by league number three that they've played, by the third league that my friend has played, I would, uh, you know, say look it up yourself, or like, I'm not the wiki. And by the fourth league that my friends played, I would just... Okay, well I can't say what I what I would actually say, because I'd just get perma banned off Twitch, but you know. I would, uh, I'd hit him with it, you know? That's why they didn't play the fourth one, it's like friends don't play anymore. The guys, that's not why. That's toxic? No, they understood it though. Now they were kinda into it though. Gotta teach them to stop leeching. Yeah, like, I don't mind someone leeching if they're turbo brand new, because this game is pretty hard. But, you know, you get a few thousand hours under your belt, you should be able to look up on the wiki how to play your build. Or, I don't know, man, maybe just rewatch the Zizarin video, because I linked you one of the easiest build guides to follow in the game. Dan, I'm pretty sure a third grader could follow a build guide better than you can, you absolute moron. I do not understand why you can't just open up PUB and then look with your eyeballs. I'm not sure why your mother didn't give you any when you were born, but apparently we're just going to decide to turn our brain off and turn our helmet as tight as humanly possible today. Sorry, my bad. I just you know, wanted to give a little sample right there. I mean, that's pretty much what I want to tell people in like Discord or Twitch chat when they ask like the stupidest question known to mankind. Can't force people to learn the game. Yeah, I mean, I can lead a horse to water, but I can still... Never mind. Forgot that your mom joke. Nah. I don't need the your mom joke, because I've already done it. Alright, never mind. My streamer? Absolutely toxic, that's right. That's why I just insult the horse, yeah. 
ultimate retention is about coercing people to enjoy competition. I mean, yeah. Ultimately, at the end of the day, PoE is a PvP game. If you're not... If you're not racing XP, you're racing your friend to see who can be richer or have the better build. Can't lead a horse to water, but you can always... Yep, that's exactly what I was going to say. You can force it to drink. A little too much, perhaps. That's the one that went Trapper? How do you know, dude? I'm racing other racers for who can be the best racist. That's a ban, dude. What? I do not support that opinion. I like that actually. You can lead a horse to water, but a pencil has to be led. It's you guys. I think there was a. So in Mathel's stream, there's like a quote bot. And there's an option to choose a random quote. And he's got like hundreds, I think. He's got tons of quotes. I think you can specify which quote you want, but someone. As soon as I showed up to chat, pulled a random quote. And the random quote in Mathel's stream was talking about racers being racist. And it was like, dude, what are the chances that I show up in chat and it pulls that quote out of anything? Like, what is the chance? What are the odds that I show up in chat and it pulls that one out? The text search for links in vendor window. Uh, look up PV Regex and there's like a little site that does it. Or actually, exclamation mark Regex in chat. The odds are 50 feet. Okay, dude, that's not. <laughs> well, let's close Twitter after that. I mean, I see some of the some of the worst things imaginable on Twitter.com. I'm gonna be honest. Some real man-made horrors beyond human comprehension. 48, it's actually pretty high XP. Where am I going on tree now? I have no idea, boys. I didn't really plan this out that well. Tree's not gonna be optimal. I'm not even gonna recommend that people play this. Oh, we do need decks, because I need to level up these gems. Alright, you guys are helping off with the Chinese proverbs now. I'm not gonna read every single one out loud. Those are a little too smart for me. Uh, let's go this way, no? Wait, there's a four link back here, isn't it? What kind of four link? Oh, it's uh, actually it's in strength. It's three red, one green somehow. The fires of greed burn eternal in the Takes so bad, I actually closed Twitter. Yeah, unfortunately, my Twitter algorithm is, uh, is tailor-made to me. I can't open my Twitter on stream anymore. I'll straight up get banned, I'm pretty sure. One second, I'm having a good place to breathe. Oh, am I gonna die? Hopefully not. Oh, I'm staying on ground. I'm playing with one hand. That's not efficient. Stuff on there, perhaps. Maybe there is. That's my amulet. My amulet's really awful. All right, let's do the amulet quest then. I like how my both my belt and my amulet are just completely terrible. I can take a. I think it's my fire resistance under cap, isn't it? Do you have a flask that's giving me all this? It's it actually capped. Oh, well, it's actually capped. I was gonna say I can take a leather belt from Count and then Andrews and stuff. Can you buy that tissue? The one I just used specifically. No. You just have a bunch of e reels from running their OnlyFans. Strange. <laughs> True, dude. Truer words have not been said. Cannot find them attractive. 
Guardians the new strat. Yeah, because you have Power Frenzy Endurance Charges. I might do Cruel Lab for the 20 all res and like some other little buffs. And some extra damage. But uh seems like kinda kinda an okay lab. So I'm pretty sure that nearby allies node does not affect me, because it's for allies, not me. So I don't think there's a, a Merc lab in this build that's good at all. Out of mind, warning, next time I blow my nose, you want to be why is this so weird, dude? Alright, new TikTok challenge, just drop chat. Say one normal comment in my stream. Say just one. I dare you. Is this not top load? Ow. Alright. Oh, because cause it was, uh, the entrance is far away. Like, the little temple thing is far away from the entrance. I see. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Did I place a portal? Yeah, I did find a portal. I'm just gonna vend these because I'm gonna have like 12 quadrillion items. Uh, that's a really good amulet. That's what stats are I am excited for the new league. <laughs> nice thing. A normal thing challenge? That's not. I mean, that's literally what I said, but. Yes. Is this a gold split? Not really, we're just memeing it up. The boys. I've never done a. I've never done a 6 hour XP run, so I have no idea where this will end. Yeah, no clue. It'll probably end around like... Level 80 or something, I imagine. Actually, no. Probably 70 something. That's what I do. I'm not sure though, I never really... I'm pretty sure an Awakening run is pretty close to uh, an XP run. Wait a second, I didn't plan out my Atlas tree at all. Wait, no, I can't just take, like, a bunch of Harvest Nodes. Harvest is minus XP, dude. I'm just full sending it. I don't think we'll go Harvest Nodes. Chat, what are the XP juicers? Uh, Betrayal? I can slap on a bunch of Betrayal. Uh, not Betrayal, though. No, it is Betrayal. A bunch of June stuff. Yeah, just... Maybe just every June node on the tree, and then... Map sustain. That sounds good to me, and then I just turbo run maps. Abyss? Uh, Abyss is good, but it's not like OP, you know? In my opinion, at least. I've never actually extensively tested all the uh, Abyss tech, though. An Absolution run eventually? I already have an Absolution run. Absolution run pizza. Um, let me check my tree real quick. I get the fire nodes at the top, but I'll probably go live first. Like, I don't need spiritual aid, I don't need those fire nodes. Um, I'm okay with bathing over here, because I need to get this node eventually. Up at the top, and this also gives a small res on cool stuff. Should be res cap. Oh! Chat, my res was capped earlier because I have endurance charges. Let's see. I'm learning. Yeah, I mean, I'll do Cruel Lab when uh, the XP is relevant. My XP is so high right now, or not XP, when the all res is relevant. My XP is so high right now that I don't need to do it at all. I'll just do it tonight. That was just my quick. So much I already said that. Okay, but I didn't see the message. Shrine? I don't think Shrine is like that insane. It's mostly just a for fun node. I actually like getting all the Shrine nodes in the tree. Just because it's like, it's fun. So, why did that guy not go? So, farming upgrade of Breach node's worth it. Uh, not particularly. Not for XP. Casually? Sure. Specking into breach nodes and then making your own breach stones through betrayal? Nah, because you can just hit 100 by the time you get like a handful of breach stones if you just ran like an actual good atlas. Harvey's a pretty okay for XP. Go full blight, full delirium. Uh, oh. Temple of the K level 2. I'd probably take this too close to the boss though. I'd like to run the turn if I can. I feel like I probably don't do any of That might be Koken. Shrine gives you an extra pack. Okay, but Betrayal in June literally gives me like three levels from one like high high level safe house. Is there a reason I didn't submit all my runs I did for bots? Uh, I submitted the best ones I did for classes, yeah. I didn't do every class because, uh, I didn't want to. 
I don't want to do with like half the glasses in the game because I'm not flooded. So I just wanted flood. So I just decided to go for some world records on some classes, and if they just so happen to be Battle of Streamers uh, classes, I just you know, submitted, just sent it. This guy actually drops a million uh, rare items. So I'm do this. Have I ever done a drink run? Uh, not since the last drink run, like years ago. No, I have not. Garb and some boots. Always beats suck, no so beast I'm gonna these. What's this X6 time? 2R X6 is actually pretty impressive. I can probably go faster than this. If I'm focusing. But, oh well, I'm too busy telling good stories. Great ones, anyways. Well, I had a 113 temp. Actually, no, I don't think I had a 113 temp block. Pretty sure I was consistently hitting 115, and then one run I just went crazy balls to the wall and hit 112. This is a Plague Bear League. I don't know if I'll change poison or not. I didn't mention any of the balance manifesto, so. I got the green light, but I don't know. Essence, Harvest, Delirium, maybe Trail. I love all the people that like to go uh, Essence nodes and then they get Turbo Farm day one by a bunch of Essences. When they could have just taken Harvest instead for infinitely better gear. I got 112 because it's. I skipped the 113. Yeah, I've never seen a 113. I never will. The day I die. I was gonna make a post about it, and then I was like, oh, that's good. Nice. <sighs> Happy with your five point run. Yeah, I think that's what's cool about Battle of the Streamers is that since it's 135, it's pretty, it's pretty lenient for some of the glasses. This is a records class for people to see. The RNG I had in the, one in the 112 run though was pretty crazy. All oh, this goes to pick the room up. Yeah. He's good. You can up through that, that door by the way, the little wall. My PB is 16 hours to maps, but I'm practicing vendor walking. Got some people up there, priorities in the wrong areas. I still might make that video that's like talking about leveling tech. I want to go over like planning and like specifically what goes on in my brain. The mind of a racer. But of Ash is so appealing. Yeah, I agree. Let me get this hurt. My damage is good enough that I can do whatever I want. Pretty decent dudes. I don't need to move for this uh, lady here. So I'm not going to. I'm just gonna face tank the world. Okay, she moved. Doesn't matter. GG noobs. I've seen all the new div cards. I did. I don't really care for them. I've never really cared for Diff Guard introductions. If I do, if I do see a new Diff Guard, I go, oh cool, my thought process on this is going to be the same as everybody else's. That's why I won't post my response to like, uh, Diff Guards. The level uniques, however, are pretty good. They're pretty substantial. I know a lot of people don't like the leveling unique stuff, getting an overhaul, because it's like more Alk Shards, Bat Chest. But I have really enjoyed them. I'm probably gonna comment on some of the unique items from here on out, because, like, some of the changes they're making are really good for those. Up on five for the reveal stream? I'd say, like, a five or six out of ten. I haven't been excited from, like, a trailer in a very long time. I haven't seen a, a game or a movie and been like, oh my god, I cannot wait for that. I've just been like, I will play this game, because that's just what I do. Agnate's so good now, it's always been good. Give it PB2, I was still like a 6 out of 10, so like moderately excited. I'm more excited to actually play it and see if it's good. I value the feeling and gameplay of a game over some garbage trailer that they give me, or some good trailer they give me, any day of the week. Hentai Arena 2. No comment. I'm going for all world records in Pee Wee 2? I am. 
just because it's going to be new and exciting to race and there'll be new tech and I'm sure uh, a lot of the other speedrunners will pick it up the people who haven't played it in forever big fan I'll do a maid cosplay at 1k subs I don't know when I'll do the maid cosplay but I've got the outfit over you know what never mind It'll probably be for a subathon, but I don't need to do a subathon pre Belfast. Maybe after I come back from Belfast and I run out of money, I'll do a sub I'll do a subathon so I can move out. It's not living with my parents is bad or anything. I don't feel like restricted in freedom or anything. It's just my desire to get up in the morning is like lower than the floor. Sabathon? No, Sabathon. Subathon. Your loyalty has gone unrewarded. Ah, crying, coming out of retirement. Yeah, what if Frame comes back for PoE 2, dude? That's because I just wanna Okay dude. It's strange. Frame the goat. The god. I watched a Crame stream and he was like, oh sweet, another viewer. And then he played an ad. As I joined. Like, I saw him pull up the ad window on stream, the little Twitch interface, and clicked play ad. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious, so I followed him. Still say meme lord? Yeah, no. He is a, uh, he's a meme. Meme, dude. Did I? Do I need a portal anywhere? No, I, I don't have a portal down anywhere. Here's a funny guy. There was some. There was some guy who had like a small little following. Cause here's what I like to do at the end of every league. Like when we're in the period that we're in right now, where people are like practicing and like you know it's it's exciting and I get to like look around for some new tech possibly. But like yoink any builds. I saw this guy practicing. And he was kinda like looking at some of my stuff. And I could see that. A little preview. And after like a few minutes of lurking, I like responded to one of the uh what do they call it? Uh ow. I don't I didn't have uh endurance charges, so far it was probably negative. I'm just dumb. That ugly. He asked a rhetorical question, and I answered it, and it was like, oh my goodness, it's Tight Toy. Yo, I used to be like, a racer and a streamer back in the day. Ooh, 52 life, 18 light res, that's actually really huge. Let me take that, yoink. That's not as good. Imagine having 30 Edward though, on League Star, I'd be losing, is that 30 MS? That's 30 MS, dude, what? What am I supposed to do with that? What do I drop? I need like a blue blue somewhere. Honestly, 30 MS, life, cold res, open suffix, I'm probably gonna... I'm gonna use some sockets on this. The quality of this up it's pretty not end game but pretty good this might be a little difficult to get any blue sockets on i kind of want to go strength mode level these gems up hmm okay so i don't really want to use this right away but we will use it soon I'll put these away this is really good for a rating just get rid of that garbage all right nice for risk kept and we have good luck but yeah, he was basically talking about how his channel is at like some like 50 to 100 viewer stream and he gave it all up for like uh for the work life and he said that he didn't regret it but that sometimes when he's working his uh his wagey job you know as a wage slave sometimes he wonders what if and then he watches my stream it feels a little bit better because he remembers what it's like to stream every single day to like five viewers. Streaming on Twitch to like sub 100 viewers is actual CBT. You've got like one dude typing an entire essay in your chat and like you can't just ignore him. There's not gonna be another message for five minutes. Everybody wants to imagine the Twitch stream where you're Asmongold and chat's flying a mile per minute and you can just choose one comment to respond to and then like talk about whatever else you want. But people don't want to talk about the three viewer Twitch stream that has like the giga cringe weirdo that makes you uncomfortable and you have to contemplate whether or not you want to ban him because you have no one else to 
to, to talk and chat. Asmongold still chooses the one guy that'll end up in him getting stun locked. Well, I mean, he knows what'll, uh, he knows what'll get him going, dude, for the next five minutes. I legit insta-ban. Yeah, but as a Twitch streamer, your viewers are going down from three to two. Can you really afford to make that sacrifice? Also, if you're streaming on Twitch to, like, one or two viewers and you actually want to stream, stop. Make YouTube content instead. Make TikToks. Do literally anything else. YouTube is recommending me content creators that have like sub 100 viewers on their videos and I've actually subscribed to them. They're not like amazing, but they're fine to listen to. And like, I watch their videos and it makes me more likely to watch their stream in the future. I will never, ever find some one viewer streamer at the bottom of the category. Bottom of the directory. That applies even more so for categories that aren't PoE. Uh, my IRL friend has three viewers and you make him as comfortable as humanly possible. Yeah, like no one talks about how it's just like some family member or some friend that's like being like Omega cringe and you're like, well, it's my friend, so I can't do anything. Second viewer is you on your phone and third's on a laptop. I mean, I used to do like the tell your grandma about the stream kind of thing is like a meme ask all your friends to open your stream but if i was wise i would have just made a youtube and then produced some content it. you miss a d3 days i miss a d3 days too if d3 was releasing this friday i'd probably indulge just cheat okay we're not doing that i can't support that we will not go through the blasting cap route all right i still don't understand it dude Blasting Cap, view botted, but he had a very low amount of, of bots. I believe he used it to get his channel up, but like, he could have just stopped. He could have just not used it. It would have been fine. I'm sure his channel would have survived, dude. D3 was meh. Yeah, but Zero Swabby's talking specifically about the D3 era of my stream with my 144p cam, my Walmart microphone. And just some liquid EDM going on in the background while I stream for 45 hours straight. I am no beast of I need to more space for the orb. Black and white cam. In the corner, yep. Hey, what about these pair of boots? These are pretty decent. What about this helm? Helm's got turbo res from Craft Life, but it's whatever. 16 all res. Now that's a juicer right there. We're gonna hold on to that. That's pretty good. Move this over. This already has 13 qual on it. I could actually 20 qual pretty easily. Did I die or did I place a portal? I placed a portal. That's what I'm not supposed to do. But I'm gonna dismantle time. Uh, they banned giveaways, and I think he just so happened to stop wanting to produce content around the same time. That I override my portal. Yeah, I was supposed to place a portal at Harbor Bridge, die after grabbing the orb and Lunar's too, and then resurrect in town. But then just forgot that I was doing that and just got rid of it. Over two years. I mean, two years ago was like what Exocon stuff. I'm sure, that was more than three years. I wonder who the longest viewer in the stream is. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's my friend Lauren. Like, if we're talking like globally. But overall, like in current chat, I have no idea. I mean, if you have to ask, and you haven't been here for at least four years, it's probably not you. I watched, um, I actually watched Quinn69 when he had like 50 to 100 viewers. I found him very entertaining. And then he got bigger and bigger, and I kept watching him. And then, and then he played World of Warcraft. And I was like, I'm sorry. But this guy's channel is probably going to die because I am not going to watch this garbage. And then he blew up because he was actually entertaining. So I was like, oh, all right. And then he started playing my game, which is PoE. I'm not going to say Quinn's Prime was the D3 days. 
It's just, you know, people go through different eras of life. Saying that someone was funnier, or like, was better in the past, doesn't... It's kind of cringe. Unless you're talking about Greek God X, and then it applies. You fall asleep to my YouTube content? I'm sure there's a lot of people that fall asleep to my YouTube content. I kinda wanna hold on to both of these boots. I'm not sure what to do with them. I turn in the other diff card? Yeah, I can turn these in, get my 20 alterations. A four to five hour long video? Yeah, the, the four hour long videos are OP because people like to watch them on their phones. And then, uh, they watch them on the, on their, on their, oh my god, the thing's insane. Okay, no open suffix, it's not like the craziest ring I've ever seen before in my life. It's pretty good. People will watch this like four hour long video on their phone, fall asleep to it, and then open it back up the next day and start playing the ads again. Easy buzz. I'm just milking my viewers. Viewers? I don't have viewers, I have payers. Come on dude, I'm going with the Blizzard strat. I don't have players for our games, we just got a bunch of payers. Just a bunch of dollar signs. That's all it is, dude. How else am I supposed to fund my boba tea? Plus, made outfit. You like watching me on the TV? I like to watch YouTube on the TV when I'm dog sitting. But I don't dog sit anymore because it's literally like dog watching for a few days and getting paid like 100 bucks is kind of value, but not when you don't need the money, especially when you don't get to do anything cool for a few days. Uh, I need to like put on Determ instead of Anger. My defensive is not very high. Oh, also, I just got... Oh, it's Splinterer! I was like, dude, I just got farmed right there, what happened? Dude, Splinter is the most unfair mob type when we're talking about a Tornado Shot pack. It doesn't help if the pack right before it was Arcade Buffer to stun me. I want to respect the Eye Winter. This is a 6 hour XP run, so I'm likely not going to respect the Eye Winter at all. I'm just doing a, a practice run, potentially, for a strat that I might potentially maybe do on League Start. Which is full send the Jardian and then run Heist for like 20 minutes and then respec after buying a bunch of regrets. 64 in yellows and doing alright. You changed a few things. Did you not path the ranger and go the nodes at the top for uh, full damage? Cause that honestly seemed a little better. Also, you went, um... What's it called? Um, you went Herald of Ice instead of so. Just abused EO. Yeah, I think EO is the play early. You just kinda like... Like the power charges on my current build are so nice for, um... Ooh, rare Arcanist. Holy Dr. Rook. Like, the power charges on my current build are literally just a proc EO. They don't do anything else, but they're still really useful. I wonder if Elementals could actually be faster. Nah, there's no way he's giving up Leap Slam. How long am I farming to? Like, 58. One-shotting packs? Hmm. I'll pull the Vod to see what you did. Yeah, the Forest Bomb tech is also what I use for, uh, some other cold leveling. I forget which one it was. A long time ago. Okay, it might be time to put on his defensive nodes now. Is, am I close to any armor nodes? Because I feel like. Yeah. Is this an armor node right here? Please tell me it is. It's armor EOS. Why? I passed south for it. 204x5? Grits, dude. Nice. Procking EO is pretty bad for Frostbomb. Yeah. True. But the power charges make it playable. I mean, I'm close to like tireless and stuff, and I do some um, stuff around there. Come on. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that cluster though. Whatever, I can just slap on the Determ instead of a T1 map. Let's grab that. Slap on the Determ instead. We do need more life though. I mean, I can just go Scion Life Wheel. I can also go to the Fire Nodes. I feel like Fire Walker probably isn't worth 4 points instead of just get the Pendant Node right there. I think on this tree is a little weird, honestly. Not gonna lie, dude. Not gonna lie. 
from RF and X7. Yeah, I saw because you were actually using your yes right. How do I reset it? Uh, Aqueducts. I'm clicking control when I click on the zone. Like flame dash, ew. Shield charge, 30 MS boots, plus onslaught, plus quick sword flies, that's a real level. I mean, you saw how fast I zoomed as soon as I equipped the movement speed boots yesterday. I'm we'll talking about the shield charge, zero MS incident. Oh, this might be entry time. It's like 210, right? 212, somewhere in there. It's a pretty good time. Leap slam frenzies. Yeah, I recommend going slam, leap slam over, uh. uh what's it called? I got Leaf Slam over Frostblink any day of the week. Flame Dash. What was that? And Kindling. Oh, I like that very much. This shoe is like pre Frenzy Charges. And like no attack on the tree. Feels really bad. So. Strap for Boomin. Uh, Herald of Ash. Ignite Vortex Waiting Room. I might go Ignite Vortex. We'll see. No the reason why I'm keen on doing this for League Start is simply because it's turbo fast and I can level solo and get all name and lights. I mean, like, I don't think there's a better build that you can play for the first six hours now. It doesn't really scale that well at all. In fact, it scales like as a zero, and I have to respect a bunch of points, but. Yeah, I mean, no mine is gonna compare to Armor Brand Karimo. It's just not possible. I'm probably on like sub 3 Katava pace because I don't need to do Merc Lab. I am missing. Actually, I've got a lot of passive points. I'm just missing like the Act 8 ones, no? I'm just I already got 7 passive points to spend, but I'm not gonna spend them until I'm like 58, which I'm like about to do. Try searing Exarch at 66. Yeah, I can't imagine that going too well. Whole 1% of his life. Congrats, dude. I mean, if I loaded up the poison seismic, I could probably do like 4% of his HP before getting formed. <gasps> yeah, level 66. Yo, Matt, if they, uh. If they don't nerf seismic for some reason. Are we loading up the seismic trapper? I mean, there's no way it survives, right? Surely. Poison seismic can do it at 66. I was being a little hyperbolic, but what if they buff it? So, I don't know if you guys remember this era, but many, many yes. uh, leagues ago, yes. uh, not explosive arrow, but elemental hit bow was very popular. It was extremely strong. And I had a viewer. I actually stopped by every now and again. And he said that Explosive Arrow is like the best build in the game. So I, not Explosive Arrow. He said Ellie Hit, Elementalist, was one of the best builds in the game. So I played it, and it actually was. It was insane. It was really good. And then, in the very next patch, it got insanely nerfed. Like, undoubtedly nerfed. Like, everybody, if you ask 10 people if it got nerfed, they would all say yes. And my viewer said that because there's less people playing the build, it's going to be even stronger than before. And so it became a meme to say, even stronger. Like, if Seismic gets a slap on the wrist, people are going to be sick of playing it, and they're going to have the justification that it's gonna be bad, even if it's left in a perfectly fine state. I really wish they kill DD and they kill Seismic Trap. I'll hit Miner back in Heist League. I heard some people talking about Ellie hit Mines and Ellie hit Totems, but I didn't have the the girth to try them. The brain power. They nerf Seismic by another 20%. They don't touch Io Winter. He should murder everything sir all right we're pretty much done with the a here all right, where am i going on tree i would like to go this way this am i going left side or right side i think i go right side for life and stuff all right let's get the term nodes next eight percent still a pretty sizable nerf oh 
Oh, 60% is a good nerf. Oh, yeah. Wait, do I even need to turn nodes? Because, I mean, I'm going, like... What do I go? What's a 25 or 35 or I can use? I can use Herald of Ash. The term? Something else. I'll probably use Grace. Even though... A little deck star? I'll probably use Grace. There's no way Iron Man just gets a nerf. Yeah, but what if, uh... The trap in mine archetype as a whole gets nerfed? Are you delusional to think about Flicker Strike as a starter? I don't know, dude. Go ask uh, Nemu. Literally went to level 90 as a uh, Flicker Strike in the Gauntlet. Inquis could be nerfed. Well, I mean, with the Gravicious Chest nerf, Inquis is getting nerfed. Because it actually was like one of the most appealing League starters that I was thinking of playing was like Inquis almost anything. And just loading up the Grab Chest plus. Uh, Let's go shreds. Not your inquis. Okay, well, not your inquis, but most inquisitors. There we go. Taken as alley is probably better. Yeah. Damage conversion still strong. Yeah. I mean, I'll still probably grab it, but you'll pay double for this napkin. Okay, dude. That's a bad box. Karma. I know he'll luck on uh on uh, a little fortification here. Oh, and a transition tube. Nope, this is it. We're just playing this with six hours. You're playing Wave of Ignite. Chieftain. And you're still gonna foothills in the new mod. Okay, but you're a chieftain though. That makes sense. Against going se seismic, it's just better than everything else by a significant margin. But you'd love to play something else. I wouldn't, dude. I've like. Like some sort of like brain disease that makes me like want to play the same good build every single league. That's why I played Occultus Poison Gotcha for the last like six six years basically. Since Plague Bear was introduced, I was playing Assassin BFBB, Occultus BFBB, and then they came out with Poison Gotcha, and I was like, yo, this is just a better BFBB. And so I started playing that every single league. I have to... <laughs> you want to see the Trickster rework? Anybody want to make a quick little Trickster build for YouTube? Call it good, and then uh. And then upload it before the patch notes. Kind of down. DD and Maw not strictly better in any way. Maw is actually a pretty good play. It's just that you're gonna have competition with buying it because it's a pretty uncommon unique. We considered making a max rule guide for it, and then realized that if even more than like 50 people try to try to get it, the build running, it's gonna be worth way too much. Can you icicle mines? Yeah, you can, but I think I would do mines are better. And, uh, icicle mines is sort of... That div card, though? Okay, but... It's a pretty uncommon item, there's no way the item's gonna be, like, turbo common. I'm gonna drop, like, an artisan's div card. A little strong box currency item, then. You know? yeah, I want more HP, actually, is what I want. How do I run Grace with this build as well? I'm gonna have to get the race reservation. So not getting the reservation on my tree. Mm. You know what, chat? I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna get a node that I can't get next patch. Just to make the build feel better. It's gonna be less common now. All the group farmers are in Crimson Temple. Yeah. Wait, two. Third. Can I put this all in? There's leveling in my often. There's leveling in my often. I put her in Skitterbots. Skitterbots would be pretty good. Uh. Hmm. I wish I could use Flush and Stone and have it be an extra good aura. What's on the tanky aura? I'm gonna take Valor Mage three days for what? My pure unity with Ziz explaining my gearing and item management through process. Uh, I believe I did one of those, yeah. It took Battle Mage three days to farm Maw. 
Uh, I don't like estimates of time for other people. Perhaps for once. You know. But I think. I thought I could do my uh, skill point here. If I'm mistaken. Maybe a decent idea, and then I can go to Shakira, Shakira. Well, it's still worth XP. I mean, that's why I stopped EA 58, because I know my single target is good enough for these side bosses. I want the mayor may not one shot me, we'll see. Will this be up on YouTube? Yeah, that's the goal is to farm uh, a million views on YouTube so then I can uh, retire and give Boba tea forever. That's the dream. Though, I don't know, maybe the video is demonetized for making one too many remarks. Who knows? Actual Taita YouTube video? Yeah. Just decided to load it up, dude. Going fast really helps me uh, feel okay with my uh, starter as well. I mean, that's the whole reason why I kind of want to play this as my league starter, is just because, um... If I'm slow and not naming lights, I'm gonna be a little sad. Uh, let's get the scepter right there. Uh, I'll get the scepter. I need a shield too, but... Uh, no, literally none of those mods are useful on that item, so no. Are these items good? No, they're not. It's got attack speed. Wait, no, suppression, attack speed. If I do more likely on that, though, it's just gonna give me more damage to attacks, I can feel it now. Popping off a of speed. If I do no mic, no cam streams, I start like thinking about how I'm actually gonna go faster. And then when I do the the commentary streams, it's like really easy for me to like get back in what like, kind of groove without needing to use my brain at all. But when I talk too much on stream, it ends up being really slow. I must have time to battle my will. Looking for a build with strong bosses and decent budget. Uh, wait for uh, patch notes and then maybe check out some uh, max rule guides. Hello? Is this guy not done yet? Did I? Okay. All right. No, dude. No. Do I write for Max Roy? Yeah, I do. Going to the speed and making content. I mean, I could probably do faster. If I didn't make any of the mistakes I made, but we're not gonna sit here and stay that all day, are we? Besides, it'd be not boring. But I think it's more entertaining to listen to someone do commentary while they play and straight gameplay. I don't mind straight gameplay when I'm full focus, like trying to pop off for uh, teaching value, you know, or like trying to push the boundaries, but I'm not trying to do that here, I'm just trying to have fun. Hey, bacon breathe. I don't even know what that means, sir. What am I gonna do until patch notes? I mean, if you're looking for a boss killer, like, just have a tentative list of boss killing builds. And then when League Start actually rolls around, you can decide between them. Okay, maybe I should go back before I die. That would've been a good idea. It's too busy stretching my wrist before dying cringe. But I think a Groth of Salvo seems interesting, but I don't really have any thoughts. My mic kind of quiet. Because of my posture, I moved away from my mic. The idea is that I don't like ever scream into the microphone like, we did it boys. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. That way for all the people that fall asleep to my voice, fall asleep to my videos, they don't get like turbo blasted. Because I'm leaned back. That's right. 30 light res on the ring. It's all good. It's all good, man. 
Why do I go to the term note if I'm not actually gonna run to term? Into the heart oh, of darkness, I Wait, trade once where is more. where is the term? Wait, I don't have it anywhere. Did I get rid of it? Oh my goodness, it's not been leveling the whole time. You know what? I need level of grease anyways. Let's get rid of that. Uh oh. Okay, it's fine because I probably can't fit it in the build anyways. And can I fit it in? My mana is spent. If I had life tab, maybe. Aw oh, man, why did they remove the mana reservation efficiency on tree? Your stream's always the best way to fall asleep. No, just my stream. Smile. Maybe you. Should start leveling up the defensive gems. And use them later. As time goes on. I could probably see myself going, uh... Wait, am I leveling Ignite Prolive? I hope that's not just, like, sitting somewhere Get random. Get this looking motherfucker, oh my goodness, dude. I think I'm using the Game wrong prepared. Yo, Trump, brother, what's up, dude? How's the stream? How'd your alcohol just turn out? Did you finally get MS boots? Or are you still rocking the, uh... The June crafted ones? Oh. Pidge. What's up? Try Polar Bear viewers. I'm Sapphic Lady Peary speedrunning. Today we are doing a little 4 fun 6 hour XP video. Fun. Where are the good tunes? We'll listen to end game music because uh, I thought it'd be better for uh, the YouTubes than just straight listening to my voice. Because half gameplay focus, half uh, audio focused. So watching a YouTube video with absolutely no tunes is a little weird. When I'm grinding runs, I like listening to some tunes. But uh, we're not grinding runs, we're just sending one singular run. For the fun little self I only had 25 MS. Nice. Okay, listen, Tarpolar Bear. Just because you come into my stream with your second account going, hey man, I didn't get the link to your Discord, your donation link, or your YouTube channel. Could you link all three of those? Just because you do that on your second channel as soon as you raid someone doesn't mean you actually got to post them here. Nah, I get it, dude. Streamers got to make money somehow, right? Oh, am I dead? I'll be fine. I'll find a way. As long as she doesn't scream again, we're fine. Why oh, should you be there? I'm not even there anymore. Never heard of the team lead? Because yeah, he's a D3 player. That's actually how I know a lot of the team leads. That's how I know Woody, it's how I know Rob, it's how I know uh, a handful of the boys. I'm like dying, dude. Help! You know what? I'm just gonna jigga chad my way through and just life plus get the MTP time. Does Chewie play Pewee? Yeah, he plays Pewee because it's D3 season 87, turns out. Gets a little stale. <laughs> Dodger can't move that fast, so. A little stale. Yeah, you would. Boom, 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 boom. I'm amazing. Paid actor. That's actually a paid actor comment. I've ever seen one. Thanks, though. I guess I could get a bunch of strength notes, so I probably don't need the 30 strength. Uh, thing on my thing, anyways. Solid lineup for PUE max rule. Maybe too solid. Nah, it's just because uh, we weren't supposed to have so many people. And then people were like, yo, we should get in uh, this person. Yo, we should get in this person. Yo, we should get in this person. Like, I wasn't supposed to be part of the team. But I was running a uh, plus 20 streets with the boys off stream. And Grim was like, yo, Taita, you got a minute? And I was like, yeah, I got a little while, why? And he's like, yo, I want to talk to you about some Maxwell stuff. And I was like, oh, cool. Do you want some help with something? And he was like, I want you to be a part of the team. And I was like, oh, okay. Sure. And then he, like, brought on the team lead. And we talked, and he was like, we vibed it out. And it, it seemed like a good, fun thing to do. So I was like, yeah, sure, dude, sounds good. The whole reason I signed up for Max Rule is because I knew that if 
I ever wanted to quit at any point, I could quit. That's a really good shield, by the way. Go into the shield route. Just because I could literally quit at any time. And then, what ended up happening is I am so intertwined with the leveling section of PoE that if I don't do literally every single leveling section before League start, uh, the website will suffer. And so I kind of am forced to do it. <sighs> so I could have said no. Yeah, I mean, I could say no at any point. But it's like, I'm the only person that understands the leveling stuff. And also, even though my job isn't very hard, I help people out with their POBs. I get to make sure that Tripolar Bear doesn't take one of the most important nodes possible as a Zuber Lab. Which has happened more than once, Tripolar Bear. What's up with that? <laughs> Let's talk about this for a second. <laughs> that ghastly hey, it is what it is. Ahead. I'm gonna skip Valenta and I'm gonna skip the active point. Couldn't say no. Well, at this point, I can't say no, but I mean, it's because I want to, you know. Our brand leveling's so good, can anything even beat this? I mean, not particularly, no. I'm gonna go get my 20 res lab, that sounds good. I'm gonna get the Valenta set up for later. I'm not actually gonna do it, I think. This will probably be my first jump tab item right here, most likely. Get these over, I need to still sell this garbage, don't I? Oh, these are pretty good, too. Yo, hold up. Okay, I pull up. I mean, I can't use that right now, but... Yeah, 20 all res and I'm pretty sure I'm close to cut. Yo, nice yep I got. Thanks, dude. Your mom says the same thing even though. That part my fastest sec 5. Uh, I think my fastest is Templar, like 112. Consistently around 115 and then every other... And then Duelist is like 120-ish. And then every other class is like 125 or more. Like Marauder and Scion are like 130-ish. So they're kind of left behind in the mud. I actually don't need this because I'm not doing more collab this run. <laughs> I can go do lab now if I want. Guess maybe on which build guides you guys are launching with? I'm just waiting till patch notes. So I guess a bit sure, but... If you're seeing your mom, why don't I say hi? Um, because I'm antisocial, that's why. Is this top right first room? I should've looked up beforehand, but yes it is. Top right, top left, top right, top right, top right. Guys, remember that or you're going to jail forever. Top left, top right, top right, top right. I'm going live. Am I gonna be here on patch notes? I'm pretty sure I'm in another state during patch notes. Wait, when did they drop again? They drop like next Tuesday, right? I'm pretty sure I'm out of town, so I can just look at them then. Do you Uber lab before Katava? No, I'll do Merc lab before Katava, yeah. If you're like bad at the game, you can wait to do it till you're like level 75 instead of like doing it right before Katava. But I like doing it pre Katava. What is this again? Top left, top right, top right, top right. Thursday. This Thursday or next Thursday? I don't remember. Honestly, I remember. Artillery, Blister, Raider. I don't think Raider is the play. But I think Artillery Blister is interesting. The issue is that the leveling is going to feel so bad that I would never recommend playing that build without trying it out for yourself first. And I mean doing like a full run. The announcement is this Thursday. And yeah, I'll be live for the announcement. We'll go over patch notes and stuff. Why am I struggling to breathe so much? Oh, because I forgot to breathe. Talking too quickly. Just out of breath. Falstorm <laughs> said it's trash. It's trash and it's slow. But it is a boss killer. The issue is that there might be better boss killers. I'll work from here. I'm gonna see if I can yoink. I'm doing lab, my cool lab, quite a bit late. If I was doing Merc lab right now, it would not be looking so smooth. We're just doing a lab that we're supposed to do in X7. Back 10. Oh, that's not first run, so I'm going up. I'm not going to YOLO any strong boxes here, it's not even worth the risk.
Yo, did anybody else have allergies growing up? So you became a mouth breather as you got older? Oh, this is top left. Oopies. And then when you start when everybody started wearing masks, you were perfectly fine because you could start mouth breathing without looking like an idiot. Or just me. Not allergic to anything? Mm. Let's see. Can we revert Sunder? I just want to get old Sunder. Sunder getting a massive buff to projectile speed is actually really good for it though. Speed and damage. I think it will be a interesting skill to look at. Triple key day, very nice. And 20 res. I don't think there's literally anything else. Like maxi us. It's kind of whatever, dude. <laughs> this one's okay, actually. This one's, like, actually pretty good. But I don't want to get locked into block, so. Oh, I guess I could have looked for a boot enchant, because I've got okay boots here. Uh, Silver Flask. We're going to place the, uh... As a cringe setup here. Is that 20 MS, 62 life suppression? That's pretty good. I'll probably kill that at harvest more likely. Remember, How come I keep finding these good items, dude? Oh, I don't want to put that away. Oh, I suppose I sell these too. What am I doing? Alright, let's uh, instead of this reduced effect of Quicksilver, I'm gonna use this instead. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and remove this. Let's go ahead and use the mana plus now. I should have full 60 mana plus. Great. Yeah, I got that. Since I have an instant flask, I'm going to use this instead. Let's not use that. Immunity to shock. I got like reduced effect to shock. Hinder maim is whatever. Instant recovery is really bad. Uh, remove mana from life is really bad. Okay, CBT is pretty good. Recovery rate? That's actually pretty bad for me. Freedom and then what flask am I getting here? Fight. Oh, for I already freedom. got my silver flask. That's right. I remember now. Uh, because this is instant flask, I'm going to keep using this for a little while. So there are Katava, how many builds can go this fast? One. Oh, I can use a Granite Flask. I'm gonna help my survivability quite a bit. Which YouTuber has the best leveling videos for Armor Brand Templar? None of them, because they all suck. I actually really like being a part of the Max Rule team. Because I would mauled so hard if I had to watch some of the people that I work with do leveling sections. When I see someone spreading misinformation on the internet and they're just clueless because leveling is not their field of expertise, it is upsetting to me. Now my guides aren't like the highest quality stuff and I also have to cater towards the casual players. And also I give them a lot of, a lot of uh, leniency to the tree with content creators. But there are a lot of decisions that I get to control. This is a really good flask, actually. I personally love spreading misinformation. Yeah, but it's different as a content creator. You don't have to study my VODs. Why would you study my VODs? You can study the blade. Wait, that's a Solaris lore code. Wait, no, this is the blind one. Never mind. I'm pretty sure the Solaris thing can only be found in Solaris, actually. Drop back here, three healers orbs. Also, I can uh, spend some of this. I'm gonna feel like it's melting. We're gonna be like 61 and a half, close to 62 by the time we're on Kataba. So, we ended up good XP wise. Eclipse Solaris, yeah. That's the one. That item is insane. It's like Turbo EO. Actually, better EO. How is all my mana regen? I have no idea. And another question Am I going to shield charge? Eh, most likely. Why is Frostbuck not activating? Also, why is my wave just on a one link? Where's my 4B at? I'm being very demanding at the moment. Oh, that was a little close. Gonna know if this garbage. Yeah, it's the blind thing, like I said. Suppression, life, res, cool. Open suffix too. Freedom Pretty good. So I'm gonna send a in for my free chest piece. Uh, I actually would probably take this one. 
Uh, slightly better than my current chest piece, I suppose. Remember. Not amazing or anything, but. Or, rather, 187 int. I'll probably have the best for a little while. I'm the leveling lead. I mean, kind of, yeah. I can go Iron Will actually, we got a ton of strength here. Remember, we do this for freedom. Poison Concoction Guide. Yeah, we ultimately decided to do Poison Concoction for, uh... Poison Concoction for Pathfinder instead of Occultist. Because Occultist beats Pathfinder in some regards, but only when you get like Merc Lab, Uber Lab. Whereas most PvE players, if they level, they don't even make it to Uber Lab. And even amongst those people, the amount of people that would play Occultist, Poison Concoction, level 1 gem in Act 3, and actually get to Uber Lab is a very small amount. I don't know if you're still here or not, but I was basically thinking about it. And I've been trying to find a way to phrase if something is like requires some IQ to level. <laughs> like Lightning Arrow, Ranger requires a little bit of IQ to level. And it's a little difficult. So if you're a brand new player, try looking elsewhere. Just say it's non new player friendly. Yeah, probably just like non beginner friendly. What makes it difficult? What's that? You didn't know how to get a, a really good bow, or your bow is slightly outdated? Congrats, you're gonna be hitting the boss for 12 years now. On your silly little rain of arrows. I mean, I tell you- I, I tell people to like use essences on their bows. And I tell people how to like do the fizz craft as like a fizz build. And people said that the living experience was still infinitely slower than mine. What DPI is my mouse? Uh, it's only 1600. It took you 72 hours to level the first time? I mean, don't worry, I used to spend days 1 through 3 to get to Merc uh, Merciless Droid Lake. That's too hard? I don't know how they survive. I mean, it's just like... It's just like... Bo just does not have an easy time, dude. There's no, like, wand craft on level 20 items like this, and then you're just, like, good to go till... till T6 maps, you know what I'm saying? You have 250 plus hours. I don't like hours as a unit of measurement for how good or bad you are or something. You can play the, the piano for 20,000 hours, but if you never actually try to seriously get good at it, you can still sound like you've done it for 5 hours. Most people in this game do not improve their leveling. So even after thousands of hours, they're not good at it. In fact, that applies to the full game, just period. Most people try, don't try to be good at the game, period. Being acceptably okay at something is very easy to do. Just emulate what other people do and eventually you'll have your own thoughts and opinions. Sounds like League of Legends players. Yeah, like I can't understand being iron or being bronze without being either new or having like something wrong with you, like you're playing with like one arm. Because I'll tell you what, the amount of people in Masters and Grandmasters that I play with that only have one arm is astonishing. How's my res looking? Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty nice. It's, uh... You feel like you get worse yeah. playing? Well, you know you're time. playing for more hours? No Alright, I don't know if I'm gonna do the move speed and the flask craft, because I'm probably not gonna do them, so we're just gonna do the hyper skip. Basically, you set sail, you left click, slash hideout macro, go from waypoint to this waypoint, and then you're here. See? Look, there's someone here already. Uh, let's grab the UGS. I'm pretty sure I can't run unID'd. Yeah, I can't run unID'd. Let's sell three of these and sell like one of these real quick. I'm gonna essence this with some useless essence. Uh, that ended up being really bad. Yes. We ended up getting the poison on hit gloves, which is kind of nuts. These gloves are really crazy. Yeah, we. I actually used this on poison concoction slayer. 
Which sounds like a meme, but it was kind of alright. It's kind of an okay I pull up. Anything else here can get stashed. I'm gonna vent this garbage and then we're gonna start mapping. What was the time? Uh, 2 hour 54. I think I'm missing two passes, Valenta and the Act 8 one, but yeah, other than that, I'm good. Uh, yeah, I can't run early reflex, so I gotta ID this. Poison reduction, poison on hit. Can I go reduce recovery rate? It's fine. Oh, there's a streamer, you missed the MS and flask grip. Yeah, the ones I'm not gonna use, exactly. Oh, poison is killing me. Just minus 60 chaos res. Oh, I'm sick. You burn out once you get Hunter or Mage Blood? I do too, that's why I don't enjoy Trade League as much anymore. Chat, you guys don't understand. In this game, you literally suffer from success. The game is more enjoyable when you're poor and bad at PoE, and it becomes less enjoyable when you realize that you can make money by playing the game and doing anything, and you can afford any item you want. The game, unironically, gets worse. Alright, we have more battle damage than the Eye Winter ever did. No, it's not. Nah, it is though. I legit just set my eyes on a on a headhunter, which used to take me two and a half months, and I get it in two and a half days. You know, and I'm not even like pushing ex I'm not even pushing like currency per hour. I'm not even like turbo virgin perma trading crafting. I'm just literally playing the game. Is this the hoarder? See, I'm telling you guys, you just play the game, you just make money. Don't know if you can go back to not playing as a sub. Yeah, as a sub is kind of correct. Alright, actually, I shouldn't be full clearing this T1. I can kill the magic backs here because there's a million of them. Ow. Yeah, How do I get pen on this build? We have the flam. I want more. Okay, we finish our first map here with this. Am I transitioning to anything? Yeah, female. Oh, you mean in game? Nope, I'm just playing Armor Brain Prima. I want to get June. People who don't make money in this game don't kill monsters. True. Why Jardian? Charges. You're scared of June? Listen, just because you're scared of women doesn't mean you need to... Oh, you mean in-game. My bad. I mean, just don't die, dude. Well... I do need more HP though. I need more HP and I need a defensive aura rather than danger. She's gonna TP in a second here. Hmm. How do I make the build good? Since this is my T2, my first T2, I'm gonna clear a bit more than I would otherwise. Second I drop T3, I'm out. Are you scared of June? Because June is Pride Month? No. But June's a lesbian? Okay, dude. How do you know that? Hmm? Why'd you assume? June also brings really scary buff guys into your map. So? How about, how about you know what I'm saying? Ooh, yeah. I should bring more buff guys into my map. This means give XP. Just dialogue with Zana. Yeah, but how do you know someone isn't isn't by? Just because they like the same gender. You know. Big true plus based. She said no to me, and I am the peak of female designer. I say, wiping away Cheeto crust. My waddle to the bathroom is rough, but I alone must take it. This is, of course, my experience as a 500 pound chat viewer. What's that? You didn't include the last part? I made it up? No, I don't think I did. Who wouldn't hit on Zana? That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, I don't see... 
guys in like an attractive manner. But when I see an attractive guy. Alright, you know what? Never mind. I just should probably focus on the speedrun. Yo, we just have on life. Good res. That's pretty good. Plus one cold on the wand. I'm not gonna like hold on to that, but. The chest piece is good. I'm mental checking chat after every map. Not every map, just most maps. Zana isn't worth it because of her dad. That's true, actually. I've met some girls, and it's like, in order to deal with your family, I would need, like, a degree in bullshittery because I'm not gonna get through this one. So I'll pass. Thanks, though. Here's the tip, though. If the girl's family is crazy, the girl's probably also crazy. Okay? She's just doing her best to hide it. It's uncommon to see someone breaking the mold like that. Not saying someone can't rise above. Same applies for dudes. You see a crazy lazy dude, it's because they're, uh, his parents are probably crazy lazy too. It's like, for example, I will not fix issues in my life. And I've... I went through all the college trying to figure out why I am the way I am, and then I realized it. If there is a couple articles of clothing on the ground, and I have to manually step over it, but they're not my clothing, I will not move them. And you would think, yeah, maybe after a while I'd move them, maybe after it gets annoying. No one in the entire family of four that we have will move them. It'll be just like, you know, a couple clothes, you gotta step over every single time. And everybody will manually step over these clothes. And we will step over these clothes for nine months straight without anybody picking them up. And it will only be because we're doing a full deep clean of the house. Similarly, the dinner table that we eat at occasionally, the, the like little light bulb went out and we have not fixed it for over a month. Well, close to a month now. And we have no intention of fixing it either. And none- all of us know- Okay, actually, there was like kind of a weird problem where they tried to fix it. My dad tried to fix it, and he was like, I don't know, shit's busted. And just kind of ignored it. And none of us care enough to fix it. One light bulb isn't a problem. Well, it's like we're eating dinner, but it's like half in the door. I kind of vibe with it though, I, I kind of like it, so... My family's just a bunch of gamers? Well, my mom... Plays Candy Crush, and uh, when I was younger, said that video games would ruin my life. She was right, by the way. She was right. Yo, no T4 map? That's it. I'm gonna go commit a crime in game. Maybe she was right, dude. Maybe she was right. <laughs> but you guys are happy, right? No. Unfortunately, I'm not happy. I'm just subscribing myself to the concept that I used to be happier in the past, even though that wasn't necessarily true. And in the past, I was reflecting on the past before that, in which I was happy. What really is happiness? I'll tell you. Too real. Woke cage. Aware. Do you like that? Yeah. What is an XP grind? What do you mean you're dumb and then you fill out exactly what it is? Now you nailed it on the hood. That's that's exactly what it is. I don't I don't know what else uh, an XP grind for scours could possibly be. I just farm in woke cages today. True. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. I'm still frozen. I need like three chance orbs for uh, this T3 map. But I don't like Basilica. So if I can not run Basilica, I would prefer to do that. I thought it was too obvious. Well, I mean, if I do an Act 5 run, what do you think that means? If I do an Act 5, all skill points plus lab run, do you think that means something else? Or what? The answer's too obvious. What else could it mean? How many acts can I do in 5 minutes? Okay. Act plus 5. Genius. Smartest Tai Tai Killer viewer. Listen, indeed, exclamation mark cocked is not a command. Thank you very much. An actless five run. Listen, dude. 
Actless Act 5 run is just one step away from me on a shirtless Act 5 run. Doc Aragio, what's up, Ari Slash? You're prepping the group Iron Man? Yo, Ari, my group's kind of getting back into the group Iron Man. I don't know if I want to log in or not. Honestly, it would work really well for me because I can't really play any MMO without, um, you know, it being a little unfortunate because I'm moving straight over to EU right after. I want a T3 before I do this, dude. I need a T3 before I do this. Like, I can't play Final Fantasy XIV before moving. I can't play any World of Warcraft before moving because then I'd have to make an EU account. But if I play RuneScape, I can take that anywhere in the world. Well, I'm moving to Belfast. Why am I moving? For fun. A few months. Doing some raids. Three. Yeah, my group. One of my group members was talking about leaving because we're not going to play. And then, like, all my group members logged in, basically. Oh, Pen is actually really good here. Added command cock. Thanks, mods. Appreciate it. I gotta be a high level for this stuff, right? Yeah, 70. Oh, he's not on the first fire. Uh, I think I find him, uh. In the uh, harvest device. I'm gonna teach Ziz some leveling. I'm gonna teach Ziz a lot more than leveling. Ziz wants to teach me Tarkov, dude. I don't know if I want to play. I might play when I'm Omega bored. I'm sure Ziz will do the same thing that my dad does. Where I'll talk to my dad about video games, and I'll mention that I'm bored with games, and he will suggest the same game that he's been playing every day for the past, like, six years. And he'll say, it's time to log in to Final Fantasy XIV. It's time. You love FPS games? You want to start talking about for two hours? I mean, it's just... It looks so boring, dude. If I'm not, like, playing it... And I don't particularly enjoy hardcore games. I have, like, heart problems, so I can't, like, do something. Alright, there's my T3, but it's the same T3 I've already ran. Is that a Terran Shiver in a non-Eye of Winter run? Dude, I'm kind of pissed. But I'm actually kind of upset about that. But I'm a little frustrated at the moment. These are both pretty good. Uh, hold on to this for the harvest. Is that a 76 life? Res? Good res 2 ring. It is. I'm gonna hold on to you. Dude, I just found a Terran Shiver. Is that not a Terran Shiver? Oh, it's Whispering Ice. Oh, thank god. I would have been really upset if that was a, a Whispering Ice. Where that carcass to go? Oh, let's see. It's right here. Nice ring. Yeah, 71 life res. If it had open suffix, I would have been upsetty. Yeah, let's run the carcass. I can't. I wish I could run out maps on ID'd, but I can't. If I was elementals, so I could run on my How much damage do I get from this? 6k damage? 6.4k. Okay, that'd be level. <laughs> this wouldn't be happening right now with watchstones. What do you mean, dude? If this is watchstones, I would, uh... I'd be running my first corner map right now. I'd get my first baron influence. I'd finish the baron. Then I'd put one stone somewhere else. Actually, yeah, then I'd put one stone in the same corner, I believe, is how it goes. So I get the baron stone, I put the baron stone in the corner. And then I run one other region, and then save the top right maps, or whatever map that I, whatever region I got Baron from, and not run any of those until I run the other Conqueror. Then I run the three top right maps to spawn the other corner maps. And then, and then, and then, and then. I mean, basically I was saving up a bunch of maps. And then for the final fragment, once I've got all the maps that I need and the, the corner that I've established the Baron is already in, after that, I then uh, put one stone in a different region, or when I'm close to finishing the region that had the Baron map initially. My I, spent. I considered trying rap on the side. Nah, I need a sick beat. I feel like if I had someone, like, do the music, I could probably rap. I'm no Nintendo. You guys pop up on. Huh. What OP build is this? This is a... Uh, armor brand Krima, it's not OP. That shit really cringe. 
It's like the old elementalist orb of storms. I don't know what we use for single target. I think it was literally just like you walk around and you right click orb of storms and a bunch of a giant pack dies. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with caster and fizz. Yeah, Pretty sure I can do this actually. I'm gonna do this. Awesome mob summoner, I guess. Or whatever. There's a Void Scepter. I'm gonna use the Void Scepter because I can't the Pen Scepter for a long time. I'd rather have an upgrade now than later. Yeah, we just use Lightning Spire Trap for this single target, I'm pretty sure. Because that's all that you needed back in the day. Back when the game was simple. Wait, this is level 68 requirement. What? Alright, we'll just go Caster still. I'm looking for Cast Speed. Or like an actual good cast. That's actually much better than my current one. It's just that all the rolls are way too low. That's exactly what I'm looking for, though. I'm not gonna get it again, aren't I? I am not. Damn, I should've just kept it. I had a good thing going. Where's a ring at, or something? Do I need an amulet? Uh, here's an okay ring. Uh, honestly, I just wanna pick up, like, a two-some ring up the ground. I got an amulet right here. I got this. Oh, I need a jade amulet, specifically, so I'm gonna go grab a jade amulet. Using fizz seeds on a healer is kinda weird, though. I don't like doing that very well. Alright, let's talk to Lonnie and yes. grab maybe a two-stone ring and a jade amulet. That's actually decent. There's no two-stone ring here. That's weird. If I alt this or augment this, is it going to be good? No, it is not. Yeah, I would not recommend playing this build on any sort of league start capacity. Hmm. I wonder if Beyond's worth specking into. It's a little too far for my taste. In the good nodes. Give me something good. 81 life. Please be open suffix. What a shame. I think I might just have to take it though, because I think I can lose the cold res. Oh, I'm still not Captain Fire, that's right. I'm going to save the extra seeds that I get, because I don't have a base for that. Can I get fire? No, I cannot. Defense seeds and unique. That's better than attack or whatever else the other thing was. I think it was speed, which is actually not bad. Defense seeds. Hmm. Defense seeds. Probably gloves. Do I have gloves? I think I got rid of them. Yeah, I think I got rid of them, actually. Uh, probably should hold on to some base types, no? These are really good. Unique jewel. Unique weapon. Sure. It also spike. Is that just a chrome item? Or what? No, it's not. Is that like... Can I get fire seed? Dude! Where are my fire seeds? Hello? Currency item exchange? This one feels pretty good to me. It's gonna be that. Should be able to do this. Uh, I think I heat seeking this is new. I have an already leak sort of build in my eyes. I mean, I have like several, but I'm not gonna leak everything that I'm possibly gonna play. Even though it's good and fun to speculate, people will like assign themselves to one build and then not be flexible with it. Because I've gone in previous leagues, like, oh, I'm gonna play one of these like three builds. Because they all look really good, and then one of them gets turbo nerfed, and they came back without watching my stream, and they're like, I played that build, it, it sucked, you debated me, my leak start couldn't have been worse. I'm like, XDD, dude. Plus one max fire res, cool. <laughs> hmm. I mean, yeah, I could use one of these. Shield charge would be pretty good. Oh, there are no fizz boots. No, it's doomed, dude. What am I supposed to do? Fizz seed sounds awful. Yeah, that is awful. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. I mean, I can just throw it on a ring. Sure, aim at this ring. Go. Boom. This is gonna end up awful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That was a horrible idea. Red and blue. I see red and green, saving that. Alright, I literally didn't get a single fire seed or like two upgrades at Harvest Sword. Oh my god, you're being awful. I say Ultimatum is back. Nobody said it wasn't, I believe. What about Fully Relic or Passable Channeling Soul Rend? I always get like the weirdest questions before the start. And I simply am not the person to ask. Currency. Currency over jewelry? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Storm Weaver, that's fine. Is it fine though? And then like, look my HP. Oh, I forgot I'm not Captain Fire yet. So I never got a level 60 life plus. Oh, wait, we have a. I think I got two of the alt shard. Uh, two of the alt uh, discard things. I'm fine, by the way, boys. I'm fine. Okay. Leap slam, by the way. Leap slam moment. I kinda wanna take Andrew off. It'll be back and reworked. How low is this guy? Oh, wait, he's actually on 1 HP. 
Homie was on his deathbed. I just said, no, I'm going to destroy you. I feel like this helm might be somewhat decent. Shield's okay. I mean, I don't even know if two stone rings are being shown right now. That's so skeptical. I Dude, where are my T3 maps? Hello? Why am I running out of maps? What are my maps doing, my dude? On you. I shouldn't have to do this. Five more levels and then I beat Rescue T. Greetings. Okay, but that's a bit of an old one. I can only get three. All right, this is Stay unfortunate. Stay vigilant. Dude, actually cheese. That's useless no matter what. Maybe useful, maybe useful. Possibly useful. Crap. I don't want to run T1s, dude. That's awful. I mean, I do have T3s, so I can run T1s that I haven't ran yet. That's an option, but... Orb of Unmaking. Cool. I make four life decisions. Might need those in the future too. Thorium Spear Shield. Hmm. I will probably actually be using that. I throw fissies on that. I don't think I can. It actually rolled okay. You want sleep? Well, you're not gonna do what you want. Please. Like being all sunshine and rainbows. Play Cast and Crit, day one of the league. Oh, by the way, I can only play for three hours and I have five lives. 12 kids. I don't know, dude. You tell me. Oh, I was supposed to drop on one of my armor brand links. We're supposed to go with Night Prolet from the uh, other X4 gem. Oh, that thing's gonna be turbo in the level, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Alright. Well, bye to Alchemies. Bye bye. Don't do it. Uh, Immolate is what I'm thinking of. Night Prolet and Immolate. Supposed to run that instead of this garbage. Wait, aren't I supposed to use a pure in base then? Instead of this? League start as Sunder. No. Yeah, if I need a pure in base, I'm not gonna use these, aren't I? Also, I probably should have fallen like this, because it would have solved my fire risk problems way sooner. Okay, doing this is gonna be impossible actually. Because I didn't get any links! Wait. I swear I did a harvest that had links on it. Mistaken. Oh, I just rolled plus one lightning. Not useful for my build, but. 66% increased fire damage. Open prefix. I think I keep that. That's pretty good. Two alchemies. Wave. I just go blue, blue, blue here, I think. <laughs> Drop something here. Yeah, I mean, I can just level something in offhand. It's fine. It's a whole angel in the offhand. Go wave. I really want to put more links here. Wave. Boss blank arcane surge. Sure, why not? I quality this bad boy up. Just gonna me. I want to get fusings. Greetings. Yeah. Please turn link. Beautiful. For freedom. Should go three blue with one chrome. Please. Drop that. I don't think Cold Rose will be struggling at all. Wait, we're not dual building anymore, so I have to drop these nodes. Drop these. these. So I'm probably gonna drop these. Nah, these are okay to keep for a little while. Should I spiritual aid? Does this increase attack speed in any way, shape, or form? No. But I can get this node for two points. What if I took these notes for three? That just sounds not bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not like I need more damage, but I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna cheat and go mana reservation efficiency. That's why I spent that fifth point, I would have been fine there. I'm gonna inspect this. Can I inspect this? Oh, I cannot. Alright. I'm trying to buy Equal Julian. When I run around with holding an item, I use a different movement ability for it. I'm gonna level up Emily in an offhand, and then use Ignite Pearl instead of Added Lightning here. Because I'm pretty sure Added Lightning is not very good. Oh, I just tried to put away my currency. Did I seriously run that T3 and they're not getting anything? Oh, I guess I'm not done with the map. Oh wait, I'm not leap slamming so it's anymore. Just be uh, shield charging. I don't think it's gets shield charge. Shield charge. Instead of leap slam. So I'm moving. It's gonna be level one. It's gonna be horrible. Oh my god, I looked away for five seconds and that thing insta killed me. Alright. Just gonna run double defensive aura. Like, we're gonna be good. Oh, my mana is spent. What did I get rid of on my Q? Hello? Can I? <laughs> dude, this isn't even fair, dude. I couldn't frost blink out of it. I got stunned. Oh, I figured out why I'm getting stunned. 
Oh, it's because my my cream my desert crate doesn't have a key anymore. Oh, that's what I'm missing. Oh, like, dude, I'm missing a key. What is it? You know these gloves are pretty bad, actually. If I could find better gloves, that'd be great. You know what? We're gonna go grab some really quick. <laughs> Pue moment. Oh, I mean, hey, my res is still almost capped. Consider this. I think I'm gonna go. Uh. Deck strength, most likely. Do I have any bindings? I, if I have a binding, I'm gonna coon. Are you kidding me? I don't have any bindings? How is that even possible? I also don't have any armor scraps or whetstones. Okay, dude. That was unethical. Alright. There we go. Shield charge and whatever else. Wait, doesn't this need to be... Oh, no. I think it needs to be... Three red, one green. Wait, no. It needs to be two red, two green. No. No, wait, this doesn't need to be... Yeah, it just needs to be, uh... Two red, one green, if someone will so come. There we go. The stats really even matter? Wait, I can't harvest craft if it got sockets in it for some reason. Alright. Uh, it's unfortunate that I can't quality it, but... Look at this. That's awful. Horrible. Garbage. Terrible. Actually, not awful, awful. Should I just keep that? No, I'm gonna YOLO it. I should've kept it. For sure should have kept it. These are the worst items known to mankind I've ever seen. Please. I don't have any scour- How am I so poor? What are these gloves? They're so bad. I'm using a chaos sword. It got worse. <laughs> I should have kept the okay-ish item. Oh my god. That's horrible, dude. What even is that? Can I, like, life tap one of these skills? He's doing this stuff? Oh, I can just, uh, actually take this and then do Enduring, I think. Rolling Enduring shouldn't be hard, right? See? Told you. It's that easy. Just get it instantly. Alright, we got rid of the bleed immunity. Oh, that's fine. I ran out of portals. I left the map so much and died so much that I actually ran out of portals. Long day. <laughs> I'm out of chance, Swarms! I'm back down to T1 maps. Jesus, dude. Where's my map tab? Maybe this is not the run, dude. Maybe this is not the run. M. Boop, boop, boop. Where are the maps at? Oh no, I'm back down to T1s and I can't afford anything, no! And all I have- oh, I should be running this map instead. Softcore gamer? I know, dude, I know. Should I charge leveling up? Well, it's not specifically because I died so much. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Are you kidding me? There's no way hell does exist and I'm living it. Pog? No, not Pog. I am not Pogging out right now. You know what? I need a pure int chest piece. Oh, that's sick. Thanks. That's enough, dude. No more Twitch chat for the day. I'm done. I can't. Where's my int chest piece? I mean, I'm sure it'll show up by the next time I get harvest, surely. Oh, and there's my, uh, that's my armor scraps. Yep. Oh, I haven't completed it like yet, actually. Alright, I'm gonna run this map boss, we're gonna run the next map boss. And if I run into maps, I'm just gonna be depressed, I guess. Oh my goodness! What is that? What is that, dude? Alright, how do I get a scour? I'm pretty sure it's chance orbs, is it not? Jesus, dude. Oh, I have 12 alchemies, actually. That's not bad. Uh, okay, so it's just fire and cold res, honestly. Fire and cold, I can do. Wait, did I ever grab the T2 craft? I think that was in lab. My right, aura is kept finally. Is this hard mode? It feels like I'm literally beta testing hard mode with how bad some of this stuff is, dude. Just ask. Just ask who for so soon. Maybe that's the tech, dude. Why the hell? Alright, the build's like better than it was five seconds ago, though, at least. 
The gloves. Oh, we can use some work. I need some food. You know what? Actually, I saved some cram crackers for this moment. I need a few hours into the run. I get hungry. Hello, can I go for the boss, please? I don't remember which boss that I have to kill first. I'm pretty sure it's Lunos. I'm pretty sure for some reason the Solaris one can't take damage. Bosses increased life. Bosses increased AOE. Aware. Perhaps I get better gloves here. Nah, cause then I need int or I need dex of some kind. Okay, what is better? Okay, well, hmm. 123 life on the int strength chest piece with a 30 res and open suffix. That item is insane. That is literally bonkers. I need a 3B, 1G somewhere else now. Didn't I have 30 MS boots? 100 life? No MS, but still kind of playable. If I have 30 MS boots, I'm gonna just equip those just straight up. It is time to lose Onslaught of my links, by the way. Okay, am I seriously not gonna find a T2? How is this even possible, dude? For one man to be this unlucky. Links do I go over there and rolling magma? Uh, rolling magma. Wait, I have this. The savior of the world. I all reports this area. Uh, one of our, actually, during a recent retreat, we were forced to leave behind. Stack of div cards. Wait a second. Spider forest. Stack of div cards. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? What do I do if I drop a head on in a T4 map? What happens, boys? What happens? We just get the world record. Don't waste the RNG. No, I'm spending it right now. Leave it on the ground. You think this belt's better than a headhunter? Yeah, me too. That's why I don't want it. Oh, we got it. Character. There it is. Big. Hmm. Could be the boots. Wait a second. If I want a five link or a four link, can I just go inspiration as well? I mean, I could literally go 3B, 1 red. And it'd probably be perfectly fine on the chest piece. Whoa, look at that turbo DD over there. Why is damage bad here? Any boss that's had endurance charges plus uh, HP has been very rough. <laughs> Anybody adopt skill? Use an armor prima? No. Where's the map sustain at, type time? I don't know, dude. You tell me. Oh, my scour for the gloves, probably. Unless these gloves are just insane. Surely. I might hold on to these, actually. Dude, we have sub 50 mobs left in the map, and I need to drop a single map in the entire map. I am in purgatory. Ah, oh, maybe you spent those nodes, you wouldn't have that, man. Shut up. Alright. 
Here comes boys. Yes, for freedom. Guys, was this only within trade? I agree. Okay, it's playable. It's not complete doo doo garbage. Do I have a singular bauble? How do I not have one bauble, dude? What? What are the chances of that? Also, where are my maps at, Curic? Are they gonna cost a bunch of money? They are. Five chance orbs? What the heck? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Freedom come. All right, let me do it. Wait, what? Oh, stay right. vigilant. I get the right currency. Greetings. Got my eye on you. Not reef though. Oh my homies hate reef. See you, Lotus. I want to source some max res right now, where would I get that up? Cause I can't get suppression. And don't say purities are bad. Oh my. Hmm. There's no real getting on that one, huh? In a perfect world, where would my starter be? Uh, old ball fireball. But I'll never get to play that again. Played 11 minutes and say happy birthday to me? Oh, I guess that's true. I forgot it was my birthday. I forgot. So busy focusing on how garbage this run is and how bad I am as a player. Can't wait to switch out the chest piece as soon as I get some. Uh, Actual four link for it. I don't have harvest fusing, so it's kind of hard. Cause all my fusing have to go to chance of. So I've never been on un luck here. That's your Eldritch currency. How did I even drop here? What? Oh, my dying choice. Where are my res cap? It is. Why am I dying? Oh, two unique bosses might be a bit annoying because of uh, the chaos wars that I am currently equipping. Oh, please tell me I have a map drop from this map. I'm gonna be so sad, dude. This will be my 12th map in a row. None of my maps are just from Kirak. I'm getting pissed. I'm actually pretty upset at the moment. Give me a map. <laughs> I am no beast of burden. playing a game where you struggle to play the game? No, I'm playing a game that is normally very kind for me. But for some reason, I'm being incredibly unlucky now. I'm gonna put on the dude. Should I? I should probably wait a little bit. Ah, okay, why not? I'm mean, like, surely I don't die here, right? It's a pun of June nodes. June. <laughs> Get shit on. Point of the June nodes is XP. June gives crazy XP. I'm dying. And a corrupting blood moment. Okay. 
I guess I remember when I said I was gonna get stun immunity. Yeah, I just didn't do that. Why is my game lagging? Look at my performance, top right. That's just crazy, no? I am perma chilled, perma frozen, perma ignited, perma. Hey, move. Oh my god, I have host? Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to do that? I can't move. I'm sure they're moving while bleeding. I don't know why I didn't grab that sooner. Alright, we're only gonna have one, maybe two dudes. Sure, that's fine. Camaria? Additional rear item? Sure. Hey man, I don't care too much. Just give me the juice. I couldn't move, man. <laughs> hmm. All right. Cool. Not good. I complain about map drop sustain. I finally drop a map. The map in question. T1 map. Good luck on fourth though. Okay, I pull up. Level up all the homies. Seriously, not enough praise. Or not enough dex to level praise. Yes, sir. You have work in five hours, do you sleep? Yeah, you go to sleep. Five hours is perfectly fine. I am Look, I'm not insta dying to bleed. Never mind, I am insta dying to bleed. Should be able to abuse immunity. See? Grace period. Why is he getting faster? My mana is spent. I need some baubles as well. For uh, this little 60 life plus. Very nice. Cool. I'm still gonna full clear the map because I somehow am going down from a T4 down to a T3. You're at work right now? Hey, me too. Claim is a clown fiesta. No, I know what's going on. For sure. At all moments in time. Surely I'm not just like pressing buttons and it works out. I am no beast of I mean, everybody here knows what's going on, right? Are you kidding me? Not a single T5 map that entire time. Really? Wow. Cool wins. I'm astonished and appalled. Let's do proj. Wait, do I have proj? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. Hold. Now, I don't have projectiles, but... How's it possible, by the way, that the only harvest I found did not give me a weapon upgrade? Ooh, that harvest rate. Right. Interesting. Plus one mid-endurance charge. I don't think it's matter at all. They really don't. 
This one could be really good. What? Why? Why would you roll like this? Like, in what world? Huh? I just don't get it, dude. I just don't get it. Oh, I have a lot. I have a bunch of chance orbs, though. How am I actually running out of maps like this, dude? It's upsetting. Nice one, this, though. More monster life. That's kind of monka zoo. Did I finish the last thing? Yeah, I finished the last thing. Did I run? Yeah. Then I have double onslaught. I do, but I don't have a four link. Oh. God Slayer. I can level inspiration for the four link. I don't have the money for a four link at the moment. Let's up leveling angel for a second. I guess it just goes to show how key the skill is because I'm legit clearing T5 maps with the three link. This onslaught doesn't give me anything because I've got a silver plus. So whatever. How long have we been playing seriously? Uh, zero hours. I've almost never played seriously. When I do, it's like usually no mic, no cam. Does that fail the encounter? Probably. What did I fall over and that guy didn't? I just turned in too much garbage. Nice build. Thanks. I'm in uh, T5 maps before you're in Act 5. I'm seeing the issue here. Oh, it's little jugger ziggernaut things. Little heralding minions. I thought it was some sort of whatever. A truce, Karui. A man of status mm -hmm. has a way of bringing up release. Nah, I played seriously like before X have gone. I probably just love for that. I know it didn't look like it, but I just love for that. Um, when XL and I went back and forth on world records, I played seriously for that. Uh, I don't know than that. I don't actually spend that much time playing with like full dot process because it's hard. And this game is like pretty rough. Demaria, sure, you don't need Delph's Scarab. It's really anything else. You know, just going through stuff. Please give me a good scepter. How are you this bad? Is my fire damage? Happy birthday. I didn't even realize the timer changed. Yo, I kind of got to like leave. I'm going to die to corrupted blood. I am not getting flash charges fast enough. Damn it. Really didn't want to leave there. I'm at T5 maps at the 4 hour mark. The question is... Oh my, your mom's house in the four hours. That didn't even make sense. It's no purpose to say that one. As you can see, the build is running into some repercussions because it's not that tanky. Here we go. Sea of Blue is a good card. Rest of these. Oh, I can do it without. My Trader's Lost Love, maybe. Ooh, Journalist. Oh, not the journalist. That's the one I'm thinking of. The Alchemist, I think? Ah, the one of these Alchemist cards. Maybe it's the Alchemist. That would make sense. This one is impossible because it's literally I'm playing four corners right now. I never played that game as a kid because I was never invited to play with people. I just pulled out a smell. Anyways. Happy birthday, thanks. Did I get the milk? Nope. Still looking. Sorry, son. I really want to use that those plus two gloves on this setup for here on my combustion. Please tell me that was the last portal. Dude, it closed after like four seconds, so it really scared me. T1 life, tri res, and like no MS, so it's unusable. No space for MS either. Please give me something juiced. Fire damage, chance to ignite. I mean, that is better, right? That has to be better, surely. Can I get a green socket even? What do I need a green socket for? Oh, I don't need a green socket. I should have a red socket and a blue. How's my fire res looking if I take this off? Are you kidding me? I have to craft fire res? I got space for it, I guess. I don't know if any other... Yeah, let's do it. I'm fine. I'm down. So I just need a red and a blue? There's no way, dude. Okay. Uh, 6.3k? 7.4k? Probably should have done that before throwing a bunch of currency at it, but whatever. Don't care. 
Oh, we just got fire res in this, yeah. Should be good to go. I swear I have another piece of gear that I can throw fire res on. Oh, the gloves. Oh, the gloves are too bad at the moment. Oh, but now I'm like leaning into the gloves and I have to continue using the gloves. Man, why are these? Not to, shouldn't do anything. Cast speed here, actually. Wait a second. Cast speed here. Cast speed here. Res on the gloves. Boom. That's the play. It's going to cost an extra scouring, but I'm fine with that. I don't have a scouring, do I? Oh, wait, no, I never crept on these to begin with, so I'm fine. Okay, I pull up. There we go. I can add one of the mods to my amulet. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can also uh, suffix craft my amulet. Drew. I think the biggest thing holding me back from playing this build next league is the fact that uh, I don't think I'll be able to fit in the term Grace and Andrew without getting another aura wheel. I don't think there's anything close to me. That's all I've got is sovereignty and that's pretty much it. The lock again, up to the wearable. Okay, the six link's gonna come sooner than I thought. Nah, I'd probably just go for a four link, maybe five link if I get lucky. Do I even send Harvest? Yeah, I feel like it's important to do so. My gear is so bad that I'm from a minus 10. If I had good gear, I would not be minus 10 in. Huge. Huge XP's drop. And the closer I get to my uh, safe house, the better. If I run the safe house, and then I actually complete it, I don't think that I still get the guys, do I? Are you kidding me? All I've dropped is another temple, which I already own? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, he pulls up. That's right, Wrath, I pull up. Okay, the issue with this is I'm like perma unveiling stuff, and I don't really want to be doing that. Okay, I actually got quite a bit of currency there, though, so that's kind of cool. How about that ring? Ring could be good. Got some essences. Check it out, brother. Boom. Garbage. Okay. In game sound kind of loud. Nope. I'm interested in speedrunning, securing X. Where should start? Start on YouTube. Some million resources on YouTube. Like my YouTube, for example. What are these two? I'll check out the PBS is university stuff that I did with them. Uh, watch speedruns and then just go practice after watching a little bit. If you're like conditioned to like constantly be doing something and you find that watching an hour-long video is boring, watch it in segments and then like go practice around yourself. I play that max roll. Okay, but I don't teach someone how to like go from a 12-hour katava to a four-hour sub-four-hour katava. I literally just tell them what to do. It's just easier that way. Uh, I think I'm going down in maps actually. Okay, I don't actually deal these weapons, so I don't know what to do them up. Need to play the game slot? Be able to speed run it. Wait, mean. I just mean that so many people have analysis paralysis where they're sitting on Reddit all day so trying to study how to play the game when they don't actually play the game and then they wonder why they're bad at the game. It's like, wow, maybe you spent five seconds outside of. Reddit or Twitch chat, you would actually be good at the game, but instead you're not you're sitting here chatting away. Typing the stupidest thing anybody's ever read before in their life. Uh, I think I wanted this shield over the chest piece. Maybe yeah, special, make a thousand builds, never play any of them. Never play any of them. Isn't that just the YouTube content creator special? Like a POV that almost no one in the right mind can even reach, and if they can reach that level of gear, they would be better on literally any build in the game. Ooh, it's forward. Nice. I'm not straight up going down to maps anymore. If I could get just a few... Actually, I think I have a few things in this farm scripts. Yeah, I might just... I'm probably just gonna bench grab the Hundred Life Chest. We'll talk. How's my cold is gonna look after that? Bad. Bad. Pretty much skating the edge on like every couple of rows at the moment. But I do... Are you kidding me? How many two more maps are you intending to drop me? How many? I must have to be honest. To gather my will. There we go. Based multi T4 dropper. Let's run this map so that I can get a and get a, a mission completed. And with the mission, that will allow me to get. It's okay, but not great. The mission will allow me to have the big sustain load over there. 
where are where's that good item at? The chest piece, right? Yeah, it's over here. Um, I'm just gonna call it it. And I'm gonna four socket it on the bench. Wait, do I even have four sockets? How have I not dropped like a single six socket in the last like five maps? Don't full clear zones. Yeah. Just on what's efficient. Uh oh, I'm frozen. Still frozen. I had 3k HP and no life on my chest and almost no life on my gloves. I'm a gamer. Yeah, I'm gaming. Oh, don't I get the baby attack speed note? Yeah, I do. Holy attack cast speed. That doesn't give me cast speed. Baby attack speed. Alright, let's test out the essence. This is POV. I take the essence note on day one. POV, I do not take the essence note on day one. Way too much life right now. I disagree, but uh. Can agree to disagree. Not speed on there, but I can clear the campaign in a reasonable amount of time. Nice. I mean, as long as you can clear the campaign in under three hours, you're human. If you can't... Better luck next life, maybe. I'm joking, dude. I'm joking. Listen, Tarzan says much worse stuff on the daily. On the hourly. Okay? And if that guy's not banned, I don't know how I'll get banned. Oh, where the sub three? You would need what? I guarantee you the reason why you uh, don't have sub 3 is not because you're not hyper focused in. Oh no, I accidentally pulled the essence again. Tarzan's a doctor though. Yeah, I guess it's a little different when you start prescribing your patients on stream. That's crazy. I've never seen a better miracle worker in my life. I watch this League of Legends streamer every now and again, and somehow, without knowing them, prescribes all four of his teammates with stage four. It's just insane. Truly really a modern miracle. Also, I think he might have a minor in psych because somehow, without communicating to his team, he knows the parental status of uh, his teammates as well. Let's some some life here. Where are the six? Dude, are six sockets hidden in the filter? What is this? Also, do I have any T5s? I don't really want to run a T4 that I have a million of. Nah, I guess just T4 it up. What build is this? I'm a Grima. I really like it's just phasing. It's probably gonna come from a phasing class, but. You know, I could actually remove the Onslaught Blast, run a Quartz Blast. And then, um, and that phase in the build would probably be 10 times better. We'll talk. I could also probably run wands. I think it's fine to run wands. Especially for pain wand. Never mind, I am missing 100 damage for using it. I just want Merc Lab points. Yeah, not really. There's like the block one. That's about it. There's something like really good, really appealing. It's like some regen, I guess. But if I'm losing health, I'm just gonna click with O, you know? I'm, or I'm just gonna click my life plus. So it doesn't make much sense to get that. Thank you. G plus. Okay, really armor or roll 5 socket and not have a single blue. And the Zodiac leather, dude. Interesting. Okay, why is the boss not losing HP? Cannot inflict exposure. Could it be? I have like no pen whatsoever. So this kind of makes sense. How did I drop a reef? I swear. The boss is dead though. 
I swear I've never ran this map. Well, I guess it's a T4, so the T3 must be connected to the P4. Okay. Minus 10, nice XP run. Hey, stop that. Lots on 3G, Triple G adding a shrine that gets 200 some XP gain. That sounds awful. No. I already don't like Four Joys. I don't like Untainted. You mean like the shrine in Diablo? This game is not Diablo. like them uh, because if you're speedrunning and even if you're not in like a race right like let's say you're in a league start environment you're not even racing for money but you're racing someone in XP and all of a sudden you see the yellow text I'm exile has entered the untainted paradise and all of a sudden there's a three level gap between you and rank one and there is nothing you can do about it You guys would not know the level of despair that that brings. Because you guys won't be ranked 2 on a league start or like a, in like a specific like fresh start scenario. But when you do, my god. I just want to uninstall like so unbelievably fast. I guess it's not too far up here. Essences, rituals, all these sound map. awful. The shore is going to give me the most things, but it's only reflect. Which one's more cool for some of those? Right. I mean, I don't have to do the ritual if I don't want to. Check ritual. I didn't do the ritual. I think it came out. You got it early. It went from rank 1000 to rank 45. Yep. I'm alright. This way, exile. Okay, harvest. Okay, maybe you would be up there, rat. Out of everybody in trap, you would be more likely to be up there. Only two more hours. Don't remind me. My CBT. Set down out of four sockets. It does exist. There is a god. Where did I put the chest piece? Oh, I thought I sold it for some reason. Uh, what should I do? Amulet or ring? Uh, I could almost take a scepter as well if I wanted to. Cause my current one is, uh, it's okay actually, it's fine. Uh, let's go ring, yeah, I'm fine with ring. It's a lot of res. The res is exactly what I need though. Looking for life, baby. That's okay, it's a perfect gem. I don't see any world, I'm gonna check out one of those cause I'm not doing like the turbo link again. Socket links, I think I, I should take those. Instead of the other things. Oh, I get back off here. There's not a single force in the ground. I guess not. Okay, there we go. Now my mana plus is up. Okay, I gotta back off. Is this gonna give me a six link? Because I gotta fight those little snake dudes in the back. I better get a six link for this. Look at these guys, dude. I mean, an LMP map. What am I supposed to do? What am I gonna do? Oh, I guess just kill them. Just murder them. Also, I got unique transformation. Yeah, I found a GD. Beautiful. I read that last level to go and go. Oh, it's gone. Cool. Four socket. Alright, there we go. There's the four link. And we just swap off the four link now. Cool. You need to another random unique. I guess I did that with the Victorios. They're changing Victorios though. Silver branch. Mary's Mall. Let's save this other four link. Some juicer. Is this caster, fizz, socket color? Let's go caster and fizz. Alright, turbo out of here, dude. So I think Cremation is doing all the heavy lifting gear inside of him in armor. Well, I guess he's on his legit on like two link. I think my bullet is not really popping off that hard. Powered elements? That's why it sucks. I can't do this. Uh, change a modifier, change a modifier. Interesting. Do I have any stuff for that to throw at it? I think I have a 
hands up to you. Fired up multi. No. Kind of speed. Big bomb, but lightning damage dispels. I mean, that's pretty okay. Let's see if uh, I can get any better on this stuff. Cast speed, cold damage spell, spell down. I mean, that's pretty dang close to what I need. Hmm. Alright. Uh... Mm -hmm. I just don't know what base to use these on, I'm gonna be honest. I could probably use them on one of the two stem rings that I have there. I'm using Flame Wall. It's literally right here. See right here. See right here. Don't miss it. Right there. Don't miss it this time. I should see you miss it. Inspired by Raz PT. Did you just run the Lost Guard? No, he's got like a 12 year long YouTube video that I still get recommended to the state for some reason. So I was like, yo, I want a YouTube video that'll last for a million years and then get a million views and then I farm up a billion bobo keys. Hold on, the word million. I think it was just our obsession, like a million. Because it always felt like a million dollars when we were younger was like glorified, you know? There's something about. That number, I was like, if I could just make one million dollars, I will have made it. Spent. Now, for some reason, it feels so far away, so unimportant of a number. I remember. Oh, look, have I ever run that map? I guess I did. Oh, I didn't run that map. A second, a second. A third, two, two. It's been the last two hours of my run, making a better filter. No, I don't think I will. So, as long as it shows the maps, we're good. I'm pretty much done picking up items from here on out. I'm not turbo looking for better items, I just have to grab them and then I'll be fine. I'm pretty sure I can take those... Wait, I can take those gloves and force off them myself. Plus two gloves. Garbage. I'm adding a plus two, two BTG, and then... I've got acceptable gloves. I guess I need a new home then. And there's no way one of these belts is better, right? Oh wait, you're using like the worst leather belt in the mankind. I forgot. I hope I don't find a better level. The belt, that's a really good pair of boots. Holy. Okay. Hold on to these bad boys. I can take these, most likely, and then jeweler them. I don't have any jewelers this time. Wait, no, I have six. I should be fine. Alright, I don't know if this is worth the quality on it. Uh, you know what? I don't need six for some, seven, seven for some more. One, two. We got it. Easy game. Thanks, four links. TBTG it. Easy 2 b 2 g ink. Wait a second, I'm gonna need a new base because I'm gonna need a uh, two green, two red. Okay, where's the helmet? The helmet? The helmet, clunk. Alright, tell you what. I'm gonna take a hat. I'm just gonna yolo it. And surely it will be better. Check this out. Helmet? Uh, they're all tier stat. They're not hybrid in any way, shape, or form. Alright, I'm gonna find a better leather belt here, though. Watch this. For watch freedom. this. Essence, we're gonna find a resist essence, we're just gonna slap it on. See? Instantly better already. How about this? This is okay to use? That's oh, actually okay to use. I change to fix colors. Wait, what if I put this in helm and then go with that belt or those pair of boots? And then I just uh, juice them up a little bit, you know? Can I lose one of the red sockets? No, but I can jewelry the, the weapon. Oh, but if the weapon goes. The wrong amount of sockets. Uh, don't I go from 20 MS to uh, is it like some crafted amount though? I think I do. Do I not have 30 MS anywhere? I swear I have 30 MS boots. I I sold them. No, they're in here. They're bad. My food.
What if? Ahoy! Ahoy. Yes. I go Swift Brand. Wrong vendor. What if I went Swift Brand? Wait, I'm losing your term. Oh, wait, no, it's just one of the weapon. It's not selling the weapon. I mean, Swift Brand kind of sucks, but I'm like perma recasting this thing, so. Yeah? I mean, maybe. Surely it's fine. Did you ever finish this map? I don't remember finishing this map or not. Uh, yeah, I did finish this map. Okay, I'm good here. Did I ever make this better? No, I didn't. Can I help this map? That'd be good. Like this? How are these all just like the worst belts known to mankind? I'm confused. I'll put it over here. Wait, do I have any seeds for that? I don't think this can roll anything good realistically. I mean, surely not, right? Am I risk capped even? Oh, I'm missing 1% cold. Okay, do I have cold and chaos? That'd be nice. I do not. However, I could do this. And then now, our res is pretty almighty, actually. Res is actually pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go more sustained nodes, I guess. Wait, where's June at? Wait a second. June. Where you at? I only have two more hours in the speed run. Uh, I can just go get over this. Do I need the items? No, but this would be good. Those, this, and the ones at the top. Alright. Just wanna buy an item on trade. Uh, three red, two blue, one green bow. We tried getting a bow that's six white sockets and already rolled decently. Or no? Wait, I'm actually like not that awful now that I got like 600 increased life with like two items. It's crazy. Thanks, mate. Some of our setup did just shoot way up. <coughs> oh, I could probably make something with these oils, I think. Three amber. And clear. I have clear to blight and in this build yet, so I get this T3, I can get this ashy wood. I buy another map from the dude. Yeah, just buy a bow you need and then wait till you find a harvest that changes colors and then you change some over to red. Make sure colors for a bow build, to be honest, but judge. Am I really gonna find something better than a plus two? Oh, I don't have boost speed, so my shield charge is like. Oh, mega terrible. Oh, I guess I should go grab that new seed craft from Mech 10. Wait, don't I have like only three chaos though somehow? Oh, yeah, I think so. Sense it'll increase the XP gain. It does, but I think it's a net overall minus XP because uh, of the. So. Build is a little squishy at the moment. And by at the moment, I mean forever. Basically, forever. It is forever going to be squishy. Though, to be honest, if I was at this point where my build is like kind of ramped and I could do like high yellow maps, like four hours in league, like, I could probably take on T9s with like a couple deaths here and there. Like. I'm feeling pretty good right about now. Now, I'm not in T9s. Let me clarify. I'm not there. But the build is uh, it's definitely okay to pull up. The issue is that this tree is like so based around uh, like this specific build. And it's not exactly the pinnacle of like Eye of Winter Miner Swap. I know Path of Math made it work at like level 60 or whatever, or like 40, whatever, but I'm just gonna play it later, I think, because I'd rather have speed balance and momentum early. Oh, I forgot MS Crypt again. Whatever, that's fine, because I'll drop a Chaos Sword here. Actually, I'll drop four Chaos Swords here, and then I'll make the uh, Turbo MS Crypt. That'll be good. And then I'll actually have more MS than before. He's not bad. Why can't I cast him and make some points? Shot him out or what? Swift brand is very nice because I'm perma casting, so it's not like I had all three brands up all the time, but it was. I just got an enemy counter before it uh, comes too troublesome. I'll find a little interesting. Alright, where's the juice? There it is. I see the war horde. That's pretty much all I need. Okay, it dropped me one singular chromatic orb. Very cool. Uh, I actually have enough quality flasks that I can make a bobbler to. 
think I'll make a bottle or two and then throw it on the high quality uh, divine life plus that I have. That way I can actually make a good life plus. That's a good idea to me. Uh, I could also go grand nodes here. Yeah, grand nodes sound good, quickly. I thought I'm turbo carried by attack speed, not carried at all by MS. Interesting. Is that near 0 HP? Well, it wasn't literally 0 HP. I didn't die, did I? I'm pretty sure this is actually like a faster mapper as well, so I can get through my uh, my Atlas faster than the uh, Iowa Winter build. For sure, I slap some Memos on the boots, and I'm good to go. Movement speed? I don't even have two Chaos, dude. That's how poor I am. I don't have two Chaos Orbs to put on my lowly little boots. My silly little booties. Oh, what am I to do? What is a boy to do? I don't know. Time to log in, boys. It's the only fans angle, of course. So I'll run this. And really, I can't actually run that much. I'll get rid of that. Okay, I know you got something in here. Tropical Island, beautiful. Bizarre, beautiful. Museum, not so beautiful. Tower, don't care. Prison cabins, also don't care. Alright, so on the T5 first. I'm gonna tune it up. I'm just gonna go down here, I think. Yeah, honestly, sounds good to me. And I am, in fact, gonna go for these nodes over here. Wait a second, I never grabbed part of flame. I'm missing like eight quadrillion damage. For four length, this is great mapping. Well, most league starters should look like pretty similar to this on a four link, in my opinion. Unique. Kind. Oh, the zero resist helmet, of course. That's a lot of damage for four link. I mean, like I said, a lot of league starters should look pretty close. Please. Dude, I was wondering because I was like, I feel like I have zero pen. Turns out I'm just straight up missing like probably 30 to 40% more damage. Probably remove the minion attack speed nodes. Most likely. Honestly, yeah, it sounds like a play. Just turbo farm some T10 maps and then maybe run some, uh, some heist for like. 20 minutes to an hour and then farm up. I should be able to set up a bunch of my own regrets because I'm only need like probably 10 plus the ones I get from uh, actually like the campaign quests. As long as I don't like mess up the build horribly, I should be okay, I think. Like, as long as I don't really mess up the build, I'm switching to. Okay, perfect. We got a first dude level 3. But I'm gonna juice them up. Dude, cremation gaming levels? So much value right now. Level 19 gem? Jeez, that thing's gonna pop off. This is a martyr. I can tell because little ground effect it puts down. Alright, now we're kinda gaming. Haste aware. Oh, I mean, do what you gotta do. I'm not gonna like spam low level heist and farm like 2x per hour. I'm just gonna spam some heist that I find, like, just by playing the game. This guy's not gonna cooperate, is he? Oh, he is. Sweet. And then run that, and then I will use that. Have some juice, some muns. The prints are fun, though. Nah, I just don't think I'll. Yeah. So I think I'll juice it up. I'm out of frenzies, so I'm so slow. I should have frenzies on the, on the left side of the tree. I think I get access to literally any over here. Ow. I'm pretty sure the build will feel a bit worse than this. More than likely. Uh, I guess I... Would I still go... Divine Judgment? I mean, it's not like it's awful in the next world either, anyways. It's just like... Two travel points? If I two travel point, you know, we don't want devotion instead. It's like... I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm my best man. Yeah, reason for the Jardian, uh, yeah, because we get power frenzy endurance charges, which are pretty crazy. It's only like having overcharge, but better, because it's permanent up front, because it's on hit. Like, overcharge is like some of the craziest nodes you can pick up on the tree with the duration right after. It's actually one of the biggest dock arrives ever. I am no beast abundant. Let's go for what? 
so much work to set up rogues. Yeah, that's why I don't like heist. So I don't really run it. And I think that running heist for currency on day one will be extremely optimal if your build can't really uh, function that well without some monies or some starter gear. I will personally almost never do it just because of the fact that it will like ruin my vibe. I'll actually like ruin my league start. I have to like farm heist for four hours to make it acceptable. Probably just a bunch of garbage here I think. I should probably stop gearing as well. 67 life, that could be good if I augment something decent. Regen's actually alright if I regel it. So we got a million of them. 30 decks, that's actually playable. I was kind of hoping for a, a good belt here though. I'm looking for a belt. Yeah, I don't think any of these are going to be good. TVH. You got anything for me, Garrick? Nope, you don't. Put this. Run some juice. Can't run on need. How about the missions? Okay, nothing really good here. One actually. of my men followed and never do uh, well recently. Cemetery is actually looking the best here. Let's run this. Grab. What's up, the brand nodes? Oh, wait. Am I going to the brand nodes? Oh, it says in the bath build? That's where you're wrong. I'm gonna go up to the fire pen first. I should have gotten this node way sooner. I'm frozen, I'm frozen, I'm frozen. Farmed it after Heist League? Every leave. Easy money. That's a ban, dude. That's actually a former ban. What is this, dude? I can't move. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I can't move. The dude's just flicker striking on me. Okay, a T6ers drop. I pulled up. It's a Bramble Valley. How fast are you quitting the league when you realize your first T6 is a Bramble Valley and you're probably gonna have to run it again? And play soft for this league? What's it look like? Looking likely. I was playing hardcore, I'd most likely uh, not be doing this. Bramble Valley is a dog league. Is this a harvest? It is. Very nice. Okay, I'll pull up. Uh, I'm pretty much only gonna go for uh, Scepter, I think, because the rest of my gear is okay for the next couple of hours. I mean, if I was on an actual league store, I would probably run all of this, craft some juicer stuff. How have I not find the. Where is the fire seeds? I actually do not have any fire seeds at all in any of my harvests. I don't think I found a single one the entire time. The entire run, no fire seeds. I mean, crafting uh, better harvest gear is probably gonna be play, but I'm entering into a weird territory. Craft much better helm though. I do agree with that. Two gloves, you know, plus two. And my gloves are essentially just like uh, they're essentially just like if I had like a duration helm and no other mods, that's what my gloves are like. That's all I feel. What's up, duckies? always with the strange comments. Alright, no map other than Bramble Valley. Is this how we're gonna go about this? Interesting. Oh! Boon Temple, T3 map. I'm dying, cringe. What if one of these helmets is good? They're not. Don't worry. Speaking of heist. You guys hear that? I said the H word. Heist. Heist. Contract. Contract. Blueprint. Blueprint. Wait, where are you guys going? What's going on? He's doctorial leaving. Strange. Don't do this to me. Plus he did. Just because of his unanimous he hated as a, as a... Okay, well, there was not much escape in that guy, now was there? I just got juiced in my mind. What's in this thing? Bunch of garbage. Let's get rid of these ults. I wouldn't normally do this, but, you know. Gotcha. Hey, let's make, uh, let's actually make the, that, that, that flask. No, that seems like a good idea. No. Where's that Divine Life Flask? Divine Life Flask. 14 quality. I mean, I could just do one that's, like, 19 quality. That's fine by me. All right, flask. No. Quality flask. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. If I could get to 20 quality, that'd be nice. Actually, I think I have a quick server that's got some decent quality on it. Come on, give me more than one. All right, you know what? I'll take it. I'm gonna do this for 19, and then I've got a Quicksilver here. I think I just sold the Quicksilver with quality, didn't I? Oh, that has 13. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. No, wait. Yeah, I think I sold the one that was good that I actually wanted to use. All right, luckily, let me transmute to this. All right, pull the life plus first. Recovery ammo life doesn't work. Instant recovery. It's kind of...
kind of unfortunate that's not bubbling. I really like bubbling here with this amount of life pool that I have. CVT immunity? Oh, not quite. So charges when it hit by an attack. That would be great. I mean, how many alts do I have? Yeah, I could be a little more specific. Dude, it's only rolling instant recovery. It doesn't roll anything else. Help. No, it won't roll anything but seething. No. That's not what I want. I want bubbling. Oh, there we go. I got bubbling. All right, that's what this done. That's my current one. Reduce effect shock. Don't I have that on the thing? I do not. Charge recovery. Reduce effect of curses. That's kind of a doctoral road. Okay. Can I get like some sort of like freeze and shield thing though? That'd be nice. Or like something somewhat more useful. Uh, actually, the ES thing is pretty good. Reduce effect of chill and freeze. Okay, I'll take that. You want an idea look for it? Ah, uh, you know what? It's fine. I need to just stop rolling stuff. Just run map. Ice is full of regrets for sure. Yeah, true. What are these nudes? Oh, character shots. So. This is all in Okay, your now head. we're juicing, boys. Now we're juicing. The XG has arrived. I feel like if I wasn't so low IQ, I would be like much higher level right now. Probably like 74. Maybe 74 at this point. That was 74 of 420 mark is notorious. Oh wait, I have a one point jewel socket. If I get like a good jewel somewhere, I just like that. I think it's a pesky jewel somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm the Pretty sure armor brand is gonna fall off when I need it. turbo dams. It's just gonna be cremation doing DPOs here. Is it cremation like literally an endgame build? Every cremation build I've ever seen looks way too slow for my liking, but that's a, a level pathy. It is. My uh Battle Royale. <laughs> See? If I had an instant life class, I would have died 12 times over to this broken blood. Instead, I've got the bubbling quest while I live there. Rise to T. Yeah, I know. I said it. The lost arch streamer. Lost arch streamer. Or like lost streamer. Kill me, you get me, you understand me, you get the joke. There, local home, you. Ice blink ignites. Uh, don't do it. Don't jump. Okay, I'm probably dead too. I mean, this is some juice, dude. Plus some chaos works. Hey, let me pick him up. My money! I can't pick up my money! I'm dead! I'm alive. Let's go put my onslaught support with. Uh, Magmore. I have the onslaught. I have more combustion onslaught. Use early bullet before level 8. I'm a little far from my mic right now. Yeah, yeah. Most stuff dies off pro lift. Did we get wall crap? A little septic crap? If not, it's not really gonna pop off, dude. You're not really gonna pop on anything. Game's still louder. I gotta hide out. I click the portal in my inventory, then I click it in the game. I mean, Ooh, let it go. Uh, I guess I have to run this Bramble Valley, huh? This map sucks. Wait, chat, you remember those horizon orbs you got earlier? Haha. Haha. I remember. Actually, I don't want unveiled items. I think we've got some uh, things here. 91 life. No open suffix, but look at those flash charges gained. Jeez, dude. 33% increased flash charge gain. Jeez, man, and look at my HP. My goodness, that thing's insane. That thing's unethical. Uh, decent helm. Good base. My goodness. I really don't want to run the reef. 
Um, what was I doing? Can I put a prefix on this? Not really. I mean, mana. Sure. Why not? Attack speed? Okay, I pull up increase max mana. That's actually pretty decent. What if I just regal into life? Just fuck speed. I don't know. I'm the envoy. Hello. You're gonna tell me that Maven is here. They are coming. Too late. They are. I don't think this build will be able to do red maps. I basically just want to speed through uh, some yellows. But the yellow map seems like you're the enemy. Once I get pen, it'll be much easier, I think. My mana is spent. Yeah, no, I get that. No. No, please. It's already Maven Influ- No! I can't do this, man. It's got endurance charges. No! Just don't heal. Anything but heal. The eight hole incident. Dude's got 12 proj. He's stealing my charges. He's got endurance charges on hit, so he's gaining my frenzies. And he probably crits me more often too, because the power charges. Alright. Definitely fair, I guess. My bad. Speaking the most deaths. It's funny what dying, like, literally 10 times looks like on stream. Because I've died less than 20 times. This is less deaths than I had on, like, my first playthrough of the game. I need to get mana. And, like, I don't just mean my first playthrough of the game. I mean, like, my first playthrough of the game and, like, in Act 2 kind of thing. Because Act 2 was a rough time for me. And I tell you what, we'll just dodge everything and just be a god gamer and then not get hit. See? Easy game. What's this crafting recipe again? I forgot what it is. I will not, in fact, use the this weekend. Leveling guides from actual and not hardcore viable. Is that your takeaway from this? And not that I'm a god gamer with a god ton. Leech rank 1. Hmm, not quite what I need. If this goes backwards, I'm really upset. Alright, well, I'm upset. That's naturally what I imply. Wait till you see the rest of the lineup of all the software streamers. Are you kidding me? Okay, it's a belt, which I don't think I actually want to go do. It should be minus XP, if anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's minus XP right there. This 2 KHP miner, it's doing really well. Look. I'm not even going to use a weapon, and I'm going to take off all of my links, and I'm not wearing a chest piece. Look. Look at my build. See, isn't it insane in this random showcase that I'm doing? I was still so mad over the fact that the build. I mean, I think there's a lot of potential there, and I'll probably be starting it, but... I'll be going this first. Probably not gonna go the 20 all res, which actually kinda sucks because I would like to have the resist. I'll just do a lab later. I, am no beast of I do need to practice this run a few times though, most likely. So I don't know if this run specifically will need to. Who's talking trash about my build? Uh, nothing about the math. Nothing, we weren't saying anything bad about your build. Uh, we said we love the free builds and content that you provide. Yo, look at this tri res uh, ring, it's kinda sick. Are all these ran? Not bizarre. But always not ran. There's a chance for dream mission. I don't need items. Uh, I do need this one though. Um, I should have a uh, orb of my making here. Okay, too. Cool. Cool. Additional chance to drop moves. There we go. Deleted. Time to ban some people. Sure. I've definitely read some horrible comments in other sh people's streams and then just banned them in my chat. And then they'll come to me like, why am I banned? And I'll be like, I'm not sure. Let me check the logs. I'm like, hmm. Not sure why. Probably deserved it though. Usually they're from Ben's stream. It's not about those viewers. They bother me. Aren't people with over 2.5k HP on their build can ban you? 
Holy shit, he's elusive. Mod check? I got plenty of mods at work right now. All of them, look at them. Look at all the check marks. Check mark check. How many people? How many mods are in chat right now? Fine, dude, I'm fine. Literally, if I had this life flash sooner, I probably wouldn't have died nearly as much, by the way. Just saying. Ooh, okay, we just kind of scary though. Ink AoE plus totems? I'm gonna get DD'd at some point in this map. I can feel it. Feel it coming on. I do not like this cold ground. I'm standing on for me. I'm looking for swords, not check marks. Oh, true. I guess you're right. Sorry, dude. My bad. What's up, Winter? You logged in, dude? How's the uh, level 100 practice going? Gonna get you free armor MTX for next league. True. The MTX does look pretty balling. It's just that I personally will not be going for it. Because again, it has to fall under the category of like, it has to beat my best MTX set. And this does not beat my best MTX set. And I don't care for 40 out of 40 because those totems like your hide up. So I'm pretty sure they increase your loading screen time. So I won't be farming for them. Ouch, you know, that's good. That's what I like here. So I'm over here, you say. Yeah. Probably get brand duration. Brand duration sounds good. 10 challenges? Yeah. Casual gamer. I remember, because I used to get 40 out of 40. And I thought that everybody good at the game got 40 out of 40. And then I realized that Cute Dog legit would finish a league with like multiple headhunters, multiple mirrors, and would only have like 20 something challenges, 30 something challenges. And I was like, wait, why am I farming the MTX? Cute Dog to me back then was like the pinnacle PoE. And that's when I realized having 28 totems on my hideout is only serving to lag my hideout. There's no reason to do that. Reflect Fizz. I'm pretty sure this will kill me, actually. I don't think I can run any Reflect in this build. No, 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 no. What if I just, like, okay. Power what if here. Super what if. What if I just ID'd a million rares, and then never actually looked at them, until, um, actually it's not running this map, let's run a different map. You found! Yeah, 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 shut up. Uh, I don't think I have any chancellor or things for that. No chancellors, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, scours. I need scours for that. Or I could regal it. Oh, it's got beyond. Alright, you know, let's leave regal. Okay, that's not actually that great. Let's turn off the maven. Actually, you know what? I'll do the maven. Yeah, I'll do maven. Ugh. Testimony to going hard on a league. Also, a testimony of going hard on your mom. That's the mom. Speed numbers? Speed numbers are fine. Better talk about your POB. Your POB is also like, has other tankiness in other ways. Definitely need a map with a term, but I'm more explored. Love having all the 40 challenge showdowns. The hideout's gotta be like 3 FPS. Shot it's not. Giving any value to troll YouTube comments? I don't think it's giving value to it. I think it's producing content off of something that is mildly serious. Like, there's so many copy pastes in this channel from like genuine people trying to be genuine about how they feel about certain things. The Squire, I did it. Look, see, the Squire. That's what I see. What happens if I just like should have dropped like some T0 unique in practice? It's part of the reason I like if I'm playing against a Seth, I'm probably not planning around like dropping anything insane. Or like dropping an exalt. When I practice for Trade League, knowing how important that 1x will be, like day one, kinda of upsets me a little bit. Defense, lefty crafting. Lefty crafting's actually really good. I'd love to grab that, but what should I find? Can you give me the, some fire seeds, dude? I literally have four harvests! There's life and speed and offering to a goddess. Okay, maybe that one? There's not a single fire seed on the entire lot. 
I haven't found one the entire run. It's hidden in the filter, dude. It's gotta be. Okay. This is just like it's not hidden. I'm just gonna add it. Matic clips. I'm surprised my single target is actually like as bobbin as it is. Looks pretty good. I mean, my clear wouldn't be nearly as good if I didn't have Herald of Ash, and I wouldn't be able to fit in Grace to turn in Herald of Ash in the next league. So I need to figure out how I'm going to do that, because getting the Lighten at level 65 is not going to be an option. Hmm. I need a defensive aura that's like not Grace. I don't think there's any evasion things over here. Evasion. Oh wait, I can just switch up Grace. That's also not how you switch up Evasion. The closest one is like this over here, I think. There's legit nothing on left side. Man, this kind of sucks. I mean, I guess... Nah, 27% chance to evade attacks is kinda strong, dude. It's pretty good. Ooh, a Drive C, T5. Beautiful. I wonder if my build is struggling to kill, like, rare mobs behind me. And so because of that, that's why I'm just partly struggling with map sustain. It could be. Maybe I need to focus on a little more. See, I literally told you guys. Just stop for the rear mobs. I like how this T6 map, which was like literally like regal warmed, ended up giving me more maps than like all the maps that are like Alchemy combined. 25 maps. Actually not decent, not bad. It's not decent. It's actually not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and alchemy this, and then this will give me my maven thing as well. Very cool. Actually, that's why I'm farming June missions right now. Cool. I should go read. Oh, you're saying you should go read. I was like, yeah, I should go read. Not sure what I'll read tonight. Unfortunately, I can't remember any numbers off the top of my head, but... You know, I'm gonna do some accounting work if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Some studying. Have I had any Ranger Helix runs on uh, the past two months? I think so. If the Ben League leveling is still up, go look at that. Private tutoring in these private times. Oh, trying times. Uh, probably will. You know, I forgot to do actually. I was supposed to look for my suit because I need to wear a nice suit really soon. And then uh, I also want it clean for that event. And on top of that, since I'm going to Ziz's wedding, it would also be nice for that to be cleaned. And the event is in like two and a half days from now. So I should probably do that before I go to sleep. Am I going to remember that? Probably not. Okay, you're gonna read my mom? Very nice of you to do that. Where's this passive point going? Oh, it's going up here, baby. Easy choice. I kinda wonder how far I could take this build. I mean, just straight up cruel lab, right? Man, I probably only have normal lab. I mean, the cool looks pretty good. I just don't want to spend another 10 regrets, dude. That doesn't feel worth it to me. I'm already spending basically every regret I get on the tree, plus like an additional 10. Like the first 10 I find, I would love to put those towards alchemies, but I can't really do that. The issue is like, it's not just my Act 10 leveling, it's like my time and like high tier maps is also greatly affected if I switch over to Eye Winter Mines early. Okay, but this guy is not fair. Toxic plus the most cringe mods known to mankind. Stop! Please. Uh, I think I got a Maven's um, little invitation here. Yeah, I did. Oh, time to stop running these. Right, let's go run these. What are these? Oh yeah, additional rank. Wait, that's crazy for uh, safe houses. Happy birthday, type time. Thank you, Opus. As of one hour ago.
Pretty good damage, no? Pretty good. I'm pretty sure spiritual aid is worse than the other node that I have here. It's my birthday, yep. Sure is. I could be doing anything right now, and instead I'm here on twitch.tv. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else though, I think. Maybe your mom's house. It's too easy. Hey, birthday, thank you, bitch. Will record attempt to level 100 in one day? No. If I was doing a 100 attempt, I would probably load up the poison concoction all cultist. Most likely. Or maybe a champ or something. Something Omega tanky to where I wouldn't die. Hillock rank 3 already? Kind of juice. Oh, I have a bunch of stuff for my inventory. There we go. Play Tetris for a little bit. I'm good. Okay, I pull up. Where's all this kills damage coming from? Oh, it's Island. That's right. Theo? Why didn't you make- Why didn't Theo make it so then? Oh, I'm defeated. Where's Island? What can I click on her? Uh, I got a belt. You know, I'm not gonna grab the other stuff. Unless it's insane. I do need a better helm. No more than somebody. Champ point card? That's not what I meant. You know. Fucking like champ healers or something. Actually, I've considered loading up the Slayer. Shockwave run. Getting like extensive testing on that. If that was faster early on, I would probably play that for Trade League. Because I actually like that playstyle. And the gear would be so cheap because even though you're melee, like, no one's gonna play. Legit, no one's gonna play Shockwave Cyclic. This is my only T5, and I don't think I have any T6s, so I would like to run this, please. I didn't plan on an anoint at all, did I? No, I didn't. What do you mean? 1 to 100 is just 7x for 5 wave scaries? I mean... Yeah, but... I'm talking like fresh, fresh. I'm not talking like the Koreans funneling people to give them safe houses. Uh, plus... Uh, plus, uh... 5 waves. Just subscribe. Hello. 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 You like that emote, don't you? I like it too. Let's go a stun tower plus some power, I think. Next to 31 months, too. Badass. Stun. I'll race this AoE of this a bit. Right, race the stun tower, and I'll probably go fire, I guess, because I need some damage. Okay, I don't know what this lightning thing is, but, uh. Or where the lightning mob is, I should say. But it's definitely popping off right now. Like a meteor tower? Yeah, I like meteor tower. It's pretty good. 31 months? Yeah, that's a long time. Jazby, what's your followage? People were limit testing followage earlier, and I think the longest we got is like three years. Sounds like a cheater. Six years, six months. Literally, I don't think almost anybody comes close, especially nobody in chat. Like you're beat by some of the uh the old old people, but I don't think anybody here is even close. I can beat it. Two years. Dude, you're not even close. I'd say that if you're less time, I will humiliate you, but then that will just encourage people to to check their followage. Because we're the weirdos. This person is not following that killer. Alright, tell you what. Uh, mods, ban the person that's not following until the little bot says that they started following. Excavation? What do you mean, excavation? I don't really hope for a 6 link in this kind of a run. And I would only do, um... Expedition on Leakstar if I wanted money. Watch out, I'm coming for you. Have a nice day. Logarithm of things for the 20. I will actually I actually don't have any plans for today 
I'll probably get Korean barbecue with my family. Shit, I should have worked out tomorrow instead of today. Elrion? Okay, I pull up Elrion ring. Level 3 on the boys. Release. 96 life and a res. Be good. If I don't want Korean barbecue, I might just get Bon Chow, honestly. That's pretty good. Some strips. Almost four years? Hey, but you gotta catch up with JSB. It'll take years before you can match me. Is this another T3? I'm just going down to maps, I guess. What is Korean barbecue? Basically, you're handed a bunch of meats and you get like a basically have like a time frame, usually a time frame of like a few hours to order meat off of a menu, you cook the meat yourself, and then you consume said meat. And by the end of it, you will have consumed, hopefully, as close to 10,000 calories in two hours as humanly possible. Bonchon's so expensive. I know, that's why I want it for my birthday. I don't gotta pay for it, <laughs> Yoink. It's not even that expensive, actually. It, it's only expensive for me because it's like, 40 minutes away, and so the delivery app charges more money the further away it is. So that shit ran me like 30 bucks. Luckily, I got a nice little uh, promo with Uber Eats, but I gotta go after Armor Brand. Um, I mean, I'm planning on going Eye of Winter and Quiz. So I'm probably just gonna go like Jardian for early day one. I mean, I'm probably scuffing myself overall, but I just think this is like for fun for the, the early strat. Also, if I can get to like yellow maps plus, I feel like I'd be in a good spot. Additionally, since I'm running all the June nodes, I feel pretty confident in my ability to um, to get a plus two very lows. So I think I'll be fine. These are a very high system. That's actually a decent jewel. Are all these garbage or what? Okay, the reef isn't necessarily garbage, but I just want to flavor think. Remove command. Does that remove the second one? Beautiful. We figured it out. Any good POV with the starter? No. I wouldn't recommend people to start this. This run is purely for entertainment value. Farm heist for the muns. I'm not gonna farm heist for the muns. I'm gonna farm heist for like 10 of red orbs. So it'll be like, I don't know, a few minutes maybe. Toxic sewer, huge. Or, yeah, no, it's definitely a higher under their mallet, but turn. Huge. This video is purely for entertainment purposes. Five hours in, and I'm level 74. Well, I'll be 75. 75 hour mark. Probably 76. Not 76. I'd be kind of disappointed. Is that a harvest over there that I saw? No, it's a sentinel button. I feel like I could probably press a sentinel button. Unless it's an apex sentinel. And I'm not pressing that. Oh, I never actually pushed the sentinel at all. These. There we go. Second time. Today's setup enable to pop up. 60% delirium, T16. Very nice. Load up the SSF run, dude. I want to race people and practice League Starter stuff. But people don't do that anymore. Unfortunately. This is a really good place. You always want to, if you're in this map, you pop the Delirium here because it gives you time to loot at the end. See? Yeah, I, I mean, 100% Delirium is a little... A little insane, in my opinion. I broke you. There we go. I broke you. Alright, well, I mean, we're sustaining like T5s right now. I'd like to be approaching like T8s, but we'll do with what we get. Pretty sure I ran a T7 as my highest, so T5s are perfectly fine. Yeah, we're in the range. As long as it's uncompleted T5, I'm pretty happy to run it. And I will likely alchemy them. So I've got to talk to Sewer, which I already ran, but cool map. Yeah, it's not as cool because I'm not phasing, but uh oh. So no freeze immunity. <clears throat> Wanted a limit test? I see. 
I wouldn't have even tried it. That's like me migrating a trade and putting in the uber shaper right now. And then chat laughs at me as I use all six portals. Like I just know that it's likely never going to happen. So I'm just not going to plan around that. Also, I'm pretty sure throwing like two to three deli orbs on maps early on is kind of crazy currency farming though. Almost 89 agility. Congrats. Finish. Congrats. Jesby, you're playing group Iron Man again, right? I considered it. Throwing something on the side monitor would be a lot nicer than like forcing myself to like watch something entertaining on YouTube. Stopping the video because it's not entertaining. I don't have the bug or the itch to play RuneScape necessarily. But it sounds mildly entertaining. As far as a tree cutting, I see. I don't know if I can get back into it though because I'm no longer in the fun levels. We are no longer in the fun levels. If we want total level, we are in the cock and ball torture levels. And other than get it pushing total level, the only other thing to do is raid. And for raid, I really want that dragon warhammer. And yet, it appears to elude us. I'm pretty sure ranked and I cumulatively are very close to drop rate. We have the stats for it now, but yeah, we're not pushing ladder. It's just kind of fun to push total level. At this point, I'd probably just push skills that are important. Is there even more than one group in four player that's fully maxed? By the way, then again, I would never, I would never expect to max because of uh, some participants in the group. I feel like with how much autism I have, I could probably squeeze it out. Uh, Alfie's group. Oh, I forgot. Alfie maxed so long ago. I just assumed his group maxed as well. Right. That's right. I think it was like half his, actually all of his group members didn't want to play for like 23 hours per day and sleep for like 2 hours and have like heart palpitations for over a month. Right, I forgot. Not everybody in his group was like that. My bad. That's gotta be nerve wracking dude. You're sitting there like 2k total and Alfie's like coming up on 2.2k. It's like turbo gapping you on XP. I personally would be very upset if Jazzbeep was like hundreds of total level higher than I was. Like I would probably stop earning any sort of income, most likely. It would bother me. Casually, but the hardcore running can get insane. I don't like pushing turbo EHP. I just enjoyed playing the game and just doing stuff. Everything I did on the group Iron Man felt like account-wide or group-wide progress in some way. So I kind of miss that sense of, like, doing something in an MMO. Because Wizard 101 is not it. Playing classic World of Warcraft Season of Mastery is definitely not it. Also, I wanted to play Final Fantasy XIV, but I don't want to get sucked back into it and then move to, uh, to Belfast right after. If you take Sand, get your friend 92 Crafting Group Iron Man, your wrist was in shambles. I did 3 tick sand for a handful of hours, and then I just AFK sand to get, uh, I think 87. I believe I crafted Furies. And I have the seaweed for 92. Absolutely jabated. I think the Ignite Vortex is actually good, by the way. I was thinking of starting it as well. Wizard 101 was Pog. It was not Pog. Do not say Wizard 101 was Pog. Can I drop a T6, please, by the way? Is that possible in a video game or no? I'm gonna run this. Because I want to pog if you have no hands. That's what I'm saying, dude. My friend group plays Wizard 101 and they get back into it every few months, and when they do, it's like very uncomfortable because it's the most childlike game I've ever seen. Now, it's one of those childlike games that's like RuneScape where it's like, wow, this is really meant for five year olds, and then it turns into like the most complicated, sweaty game for. 35 year olds I've ever seen before in my life. But like, I just can't play it dude, it's just so boring and slow and the animations are too long and I want to do something with my hands and then I'm like, eep, I gotta play something, I gotta click, you know, off to remove. I wouldn't hear zero, just subscribe. Oh, hero, just my like, balls. My balls. That's just something. Appreciate you showing up on my birthday. Uh, I really the don't want to remove these guys. Let's do this. It's fine. Yo, plus one cold on the uh, on the wand. It's kind of crazy.
What if I test League Starters for 12 days, just to end up doing Heist for 3? Is this the Spicy Sushi? Heist into Simulacrum Part 2 Electric Boogaloo? The Arakali Fang moment. The Heist into Arakali Fang incident. And then he's like, showing up on the YouTube video. Hey guys, Spicy Sushi here. Today I'm going to show you the most boring way to obtain currency in the game. But uh, it allowed me to get uh, this set up. And I'm like, I don't even know how you get that much money in that amount of time. And he's like, yeah, anyways, I ran hot. And that's uh, as far as I can make into the video. Sorry, Sushi. I like all the other videos, though. Yo, hold up. Flank 3, flank 3. Oh, jewelry here. Oh, wait, what was that helmet? Oh, wait, that is 100 blood blood. That's right, I'm just gonna trash every content creator mood because I'm bored. That's all it is. Why is this guy so tanky, dude? He's so strong. Actually going through with the pain. I mean, it's just like, yeah, I think he's just like saying like, what if, you know? Like, hypothetically speaking. Oh my goodness, the T5 actually dropped me a T7. This is why when you're running maps for completion, you run maps that are two tiers lower than highest map. Otherwise, you run top down and you try to push your highest map tier as high as possible. I'm gonna die to these, aren't I? If I had an instant life plus instead of a bubbling life plus, I'm dead for 100%. I actually kind of miss my regen from being in quiz. You know what? Actually, I'm pretty sure the next node is Ben, and then I gain 12 quadrillion damage. Alright, we got one more hour in the speedrun. Level 75. Oh, we're gonna start running some safe houses. I'm actually gonna just. Alright, we're gonna lose some XP. That's fine. Is anything actually good here, or is this just mean? Uh, plus one cold. Garbage, garbage. I said 105 life. So I'm just depressed. The mob build is cracked. I mean, I considered playing it, dude. I'm still considering playing it. Can the mob build do ubers easily? Because if it can, hmm. we push name and lights day one into the heist farming angle after setting up my tree a bit into the reroll. suicide minion builds. I'll just get back the suicide build. In game, of course. The gas on death build. Also, I'm pretty sure with the gas on death build, it survives and you just use two folders now instead of one. Pretty sure that's how the new gas on death build works. Alright, well, I guess the G5 gave me two seven. Uh, you know what? Since this is like my only T5 through 7 map, I'm gonna chisel. And then run the map. And then hope and prage. Because, you know, I need prage, you know. I traded like 500 mavens. Were they uber mavens or just normal mavens though? Yeah, I think if I went back and played RuneScape, my only goal would be to farm raids, which would require other people to be locked. Isn't this a T6 map? Yeah, but it's still better than a T4. Wow, I only have like 2% chance to duplicate. I don't even know how that duplicated. I swear I ran an Atlas with like 30 duplication and just still never dropped it. I don't know, when I'm playing PoE and I don't have like a goal or something to do, I get very bored. So I kind of need like a ladder to nudge me along, but I won't have a ladder in, uh, in RuneScape anymore, so it's like weird. Uh, I don't really care about group prestige anymore, R slash. Like we care about, we care about people staying in the group, but I don't care if one of my group members goes raiding with someone else, you know. Items within the, the family. I do kind of care actually. I remember. Ooh, I'm jumping T8. Alright, let's go run this T8. 
I would, uh, I would take any knowledge you have to impart on me. I remember watching, like, a million videos, and, uh, realizing that all the mechanics and all the rooms were actually really simple. There's obviously speedrun tech, like, you know, like, D2 leveling is extremely simple, but if you want to make it go faster, you can. That's kind of what I equated to. What did I take Righteous Army? Um, because look at the little mini node to the right of that. Turns attack speed into my attack speed. Yeah, well that's what I found out on my, uh, my main. Because I did, um, I did Raids 1 with, like, PTR stuff. I, like, downscaled myself, but I did PTR and I realized that every room was, like, actually, like, left-click simulator until I got to Ulm, and I couldn't solo Ulm. I'm too bad at the game. So I was like, alright, I'll just wait for my friend. And then we kind of stopped playing our mains at the same time. And then uh, a year or two later, Group Ironman started up. I actually started playing because of mobile, and then it wasn't released for a very long time. And then I started playing again for Group Ironman, in anticipation for that. And then that didn't come up for a very long time, so... Riker remove? That's not really what I want. I'm gonna get these guys soon. Is that 75 life on the ring? Nope, 75 invasion. I am in purgatory. Any of these items actually good? No, they're not. I'm still looking around for another two, maybe. Yeah, everything but Ulm, some pretty ease. The um, crab puzzles are a little annoying. For a beginner. Could solo the group Iron account, just need a Dragon War Hammer. Yeah, the whole point of me getting back into group Iron Man would be to do raids and the AFK stuff. But I need a Dragon War Hammer, so... I'm pretty sure if me and two of my group members farm it at the same time, we'll get it in like a few hours. We should be able to get it under one day. Alright, let's go and put this uh, T map in. Ellie Res, reduced effect of curses beyond. Unique map boss is possessed. This looks, uh... Huh. Well, surely we don't die here, right? Wait, it's a Gravicious map. Oh my god. It's doomed. Wait, guys, I can't do this map. Gravicious farms. This guy, like, heals six times over. Guys, I can't do this. If it was, like, half or, like, 99% of the other bosses in the game, I'd be okay. But I can't do this one, dude. Gravicious, like, farms. Especially the one in this little tent here. Like, this guy is, like, good rough, like... Oh, it's gonna pull my pants down in front of the auditorium. Oh, why, dude? Rebecca's gonna see me. Not like this. Oh my god, it's doomed. I do it already. We are rank 174. You wanna push ladder, dude? You wanna revive the group? You can pull seven all nighters, I think. No, actually, we pull five all-nighters until we go on vacation, and then we talk about nothing but RuneScape on the trip. I annoy every single woman on the trip, to the point where Lexi leaves Dan, and then he has no option but to play RuneScape. What if, dude? What if? That seems like a strat, actually. Surely that will work. Hmm. Then, with Dan at his lowest point, we manipulate him. Hey, man. I know you're being single sucks, but you know how to escape the world? Boom, log into RuneScape, we all max our accounts at the same time. How far into the season are we? Far enough to... not care about PB. Probably a new group Iron Man. What do you mean? A new group Iron Man. What am I listening to? You're listening to my fantasy pipeline where all of my friends get real sweaty to the point where like I also am inspired to get sweaty. Some of the most fun I've had in video games are when all my friends are like turbo cancer degen and so it inspires me to be turbo cancer degen and instead right now all of my friends complain about when games used to be good so now I sit here and mirror and watch YouTube and talk about when games used to be good. It's rough. I used to have, like, friends and, like, some of the best guilds or clans. Dude, games used to be good. Yeah, I remember. 
This guy's literally possessed. He's gonna eat my ass. It's over. Can I kill him like this? He's just gonna regen his US. I just am about to level 2. Don't worry, you'll get sweaty for me. Okay, thanks. Alright, let's take him out back real quick. And I spawned a Beyond boss in the boss room. Sick. Sick. This is sick. And he teleported back to his little thing. Alright, I'm done. I'm dead. I'm gonna stay over here, actually. I think I'll be alright over here. Let's uh, go ahead and go back for it, though. Miss the times when all your friends played. Miss the times when all your friends. This is cursed. This is fine, dude. This is perfectly fine. He's gonna pop his molten shell, and I'm gonna die instantaneously. I legit can't see the ground. That's how bad this is. Why is he summon ground on him? Oh, this does summon edge? Oh, I'm just oh, I'm gonna log. Three portals remaining? I'll be fine, dude. I'm okay. Sign me up, dude. I have like a level 100 ungrouped iron. I don't want to group with anybody but the people in my group. That's the thing. It's gotta be the boys. It doesn't matter if it's not with the boys, you know. We did it! Jesus, this game is so easy. Okay, but why is it still going for half an hour? The boss is literally dead. Uh, I'm gonna go clear the rest of the map because if a T9 map drops in this, I'm gonna bad chest in my mind. I know there's not many mobs left, but I still need something. Actually, I'm out of mana. But that's just a leave. Uh, I'll check for like a big magic pack and that'll be it. I deal with your friend. Can't seem to stay close in levels. Play your friend to get better. Stop sucking. Unless it's you. Then you need to get better. <laughs> nah, just tell him to go farm XP. Or if you're playing, if you're not playing, like, one person has to play Aurobot. Because I've seen someone doing an Aurobot leveling and they were at, unironically, like, four levels behind their duo partner. Um, if you end up doing that and you're duo leveling and one person is an Aurobot and they can't get XP on their own, you have to basically hold their hand and go farm XP with them. It's you that's sucking? Uh, yeah. If you're playing two independent builds, both of which can kill monsters, you should go farm the good XP zones like Docks or Dry Lake or Comes Dream or Chamber Innocence while your friend goes kill the bosses. And then you can grab all the side content for them. Ever make a new account for RuneScape? You have too many of them. I understand that. PoE, I like restarting all the time. RuneScape? The only reason why I could sit through all the quests that I did is because I knew that once I completed those quests, I basically never have to do them again. You know? That's part of why I didn't like the um, the leagues. It's because I had to do... Even doing like five quests was like all full experience. I know you get to like skip the, the quests or whatever, but if it was like my points are going to quests or going to something actually good for my account, I'm probably just going to focus my account. I know later on you gotta scope, see a bunch of stuff. Is this Steel Mage Carve giving it a go? Uh, I'm good! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Last leak sucked. True. Thoughts on Ari Slush? This last league wasn't like the worst experience of my life. It's just that I remember doing rooftops and I wasn't getting like 12 levels per rooftop anymore and I went, wait if I'm gonna run a hundred thousand rooftops, why don't I just run a hundred thousand rooftops on my group Iron Man? And then I logged out and didn't play leagues anymore. I mean there's a bunch of server problems too. So true, you know. I do is Trailblazer. Ooh, all good, dude. All your homies have dragon trophies. I mean, I have some real sweat lords on Doomscape. Those are the those are the boys. I don't know though. I'm not too inspired to like come and play Doomscape. It's not much for me to actually do while they have care. I do take it easy. I'm not clicking that, but I'm sure it's great. Your bank from Trailblazer? Right, actually, I will look at it. Ah! Pretty decent. Full bandos, full armor. 
some uh, raids two items. Should I have full clue this map? I mean, probably not. Should probably go into the two suits. Especially now that I'm out of frenzies, dude. Yikes. Uh, I'll go clear these mobs over here. Yeah. Grind it at all in a temporary game mode. If Leagues was really good, I could see myself doing that. I mean, think about it, right? Imagine you're playing QE and somebody has like a, a 500x build and it's like you grind it out in like two weeks. Like, damn, you must have uh, spent your entire life force doing that. If the League is good enough, dude, I'm gonna be uh, juicing. Just that I haven't had a League that fun in uh, 10,000 years, so. Rank 1 Nightmare, whoa, dude. Bended Theater of Blood Gamer. I actually would have liked to have used Leagues a bit more to learn raids and raids too, and like a uh, nightmare, but then I just didn't because it just seemed like a waste of time. Which is weird because I was really enjoying my group Iron Man. It's almost like Leagues put in the idea in the back of my head that I was wasting my time. You know when you reach that point where you're playing Diablo 3 and you've had so much fun up until this point but all of a sudden sometimes you wake up sometimes you just hit a like a, a greater rift or something and you just stop and you look at your monitor and you go am i having fun and you realize i'm not having fun and you log out or maybe you continue trying to play and you continue trying and trying but you're just not having fun didn't they delay it too yeah i mean they even delayed leagues but I was still blasting, dude. I was still gaming. I know they delayed it, but it wasn't enough. It legit was not enough. I was having way too much fun in the group line. Yeah, Double three Reaper Souls in a video game? Yeah, exactly. I mean, Season 1 Season 2 were different times for D3 for sure. A bit more unbalanced times, but you know. It's not about any game in its older state. People use their yearly vacation to play out during that time. I, I do remember that. People were very upset. I mean, people used their vacation for PoE, and then PoE pushed it back a week, and I was like, well, doesn't affect me. I'm still gonna stop playing four days into the league. Regardless. I expect the 15 mana node. Yeah, because I'm just doing a speedrun for this patch. It's not necessarily a practice for next league. It's just like some full fun. It's a theoretical starter that I have. Necessarily a concrete idea. Imagine being a Weiji. Okay, dude. <laughs> there are many people that are Weijis. The biggest delay for Cyberpunk release? Please don't remind me of that. I don't think we'll ever have that again unless it's like Last Epoch multiplayer. Even then, I think Fury wouldn't really care. It'd probably be like Diablo 4. I'm actually really excited for D4 beta. My friend said he got in, but I don't know how reliable the source is, because I don't know how reliable my friend is. You know what I'm saying? He pre-ordered Cyberpunk. Dude, Cyberpunk sounded so cool, and we had a friend that was hyping up Cyberpunk to the point where I thought about it. I remember the last time I pre-ordered something. I only got disappointment. I pre-ordered a game, and you know what I received? Straight disappointment. So I don't pre-order games anymore. I wait. Unless I want to play it on launch, then I'll likely get it pre-ordered. Just because they come with some little benefits. If I want to play it on launch, it's a different story. And you know what? The game came out, and I was disappointed. I don't know. I don't remember what game it was. It was so long ago. Maybe it wasn't even me. I remember. Um, what was the what was the space game that launched as like a turbo crash shoot? What was that game called? Did Cyberpunk ever get fixed? Apparently, Cyberpunk is a lot better now. It still has problems, but you know, they got the money and No Man's Sky, that's right. No Man's Sky is good now, but I remember No Man's Sky, like my friends were talking about No Man's Sky, and everybody at school would talk about No Man's Sky, and they were talking about how this could be such an insane game, and I had so much regret not, not pre-ordering and not playing it initially, and I watched some people play it, and I was like, this looks like the worst game I've probably ever seen before in my life, and then I was like, wait a second. Oh, I can't move. Oh my life, you know, by the way. And I went, wait a second, this game looks like garbage. Nice, I missed it. I skipped out on this garbage. So, 4,000 planets, but all planets are the same. 
You always get pre-order and pre-order. You always get baited and pre-order wow. Uh, it's a bit different for me now that I got um one of my IRL juicer friends into playing wow. I actually have fun playing the game. I pushed 3550 last season and 3600 was on um, title, and I kind of regret not pushing for it. I thought it would be a hundred points away because I thought people would like get boosted last minute. Still no fire seeds by the way. But I thought it would be a hundred points away, which would have been un unobtainable for me because people would get boosted last second. But it turns out that doing 26s and 27s is pretty hard to boost. Pretty difficult to do, period. I could have pushed for 50 points if I played for another like two weeks, but I just wasn't pushing during push loop. You're a mythic raider yourself and you do grind up the game. Man, this guy says I always get baited by the WoW expansions, and then he's like, full clearing the game, and... Alright, that's one of the stupid things. No Man's Sky still dog. He tried playing co-op and was broken. Sick. Hey, I, uh, hey. I remember Battle for Azeroth was coming out, and my friends, my IRL friends, were all talking about how they were going to play it. These were a different group back then than what I have now. But I had a different group of IRL friends, because these were all friends that I had, like, that also played WoW growing up, because I wouldn't be friends with anybody that's not, like, Turbo Virgin Giga Nerd. And they're all talking about Battle for Azeroth being the savior of WoW. And I was like, it just doesn't appeal to me, and, like, I just want to play it, dude. And they got it, and they were all talking about it, and I was so jealous of them playing Battle for Azeroth. And then Sunday rolled around. <laughs> Sunday rolled around, and I knew I had it good. I made the right choice, dude. I skipped out on that garbage expansion, and it's the first expansion I haven't played. And then I came back for Shadowlands, and I actually got addicted to the game. I actually had a lot of fun. I was playing with a lot of people, had a regular group, I was playing with Cute Dog and Nat Mods. I uh, will likely spam Dragonflight even harder than I did um, Shadowlands. If it wasn't even bad till last year, I don't know, dude. There was, a, there was quite a bit wrong. It's hard to be a bit. Shadowlands was worse, really, because I had a blast with Shadowlands. Until, um... So I, I had a blast with Shadowlands. I basically did everything I wanted. Got Keystone Master, got ahead of the curve, like, super early. Not long after Heroic was released. And then, um, I remember for the first time ever, I unsubscribed from WoW, and I was actually satisfied with my time played. You know, like three, four months, no, I think it was like two or three months in the, into the expansion, I was like, you know what, I had fun. There was a small little smile in the corner of my eyes. And I was like, you know what, I would gladly come back. Thank you, Blizzard. And I came back six months later, and you know what happened? Because I had a, a real-life friend that wanted to start playing. That's my friend Dan, that's the IRL juicer. And I came back six months later to Shadowlands, and you know what happened? You know what happened, chat? It was the same game! They didn't make a second raid tier, none of the dungeons were changed, there was no new mythic affix, it was verbatim the exact same game that I played six months ago and season two came out and it was kind of whatever but it was still pretty pretty boring and I wasn't feeling it a few weeks in this guy's like just teleporting around with that casting a spell isn't she and then uh and then finally season three rolled around and that's when I juiced that's when I couldn't stop playing again and I found some really good players to play with I do really regret not pushing for title, so when when Dragonflight comes out, that's what I'll do. Roof M+, bring back challenge mode. I really like M+. M+, is really toxic. I know people don't like the rating system, but I enjoy it. It's frustrating at times. Yeah, M+, is easily the best repeatable content. I actually enjoyed doing the same dungeons for the millionth time. It's part of the reason why I don't like Season 4 very much. It feels like I have to learn these old dungeons that all feel very melee unfriendly. Because they all just have like a bunch of mechanics to screw me over and... I don't want to relearn what like trash mobs do because... I'm not like doing a plus 5 and then plus 7 and then a plus 10. 
Because I'm just gonna log in on the plus 20, you know? Like, I'm just gonna send it. Or the plus 17. So I did like some 15s, some 16s. Uh, we failed a 17 on Grimrail Depot because it was quaking. And like, the quaking was like... The walls were one centimeter each, so we're all standing on top of each other's dick. Yeah. M plus is the No Man's Sky of MMOs. Okay, but I like M plus. There's like a certain level of refinement where I get to learn where to use my cooldowns at, and it's not just press every button I have, and everything is smooth and controlled, and I just gotta log in with the boys and out pump some people, and then sometimes the procs align and the stars align, and I get a 120k DPS opener on the pack inspires when you throw the spear, you know the one. And then, like, I know the game well enough to communicate to my group. Yeah, I don't know. It's fun with friends. Now, I actually pugged my way up to, like, 3k, and then I found a group of reliable people. Actually, just one or two reliable people to play with at any given time. By talking to my groups, I made more and more friends. I think getting into the plus 22 scene was the worst experience I've had so far, though. Because... Basically, I was at the point where nobody wanted to invite me for a 22 because I had never ran a 22. But I could never get into a 22 because I've never ran a 22. And I thought I was just being like schizo until I ran a 22, timed it, and then immediately got invited to like almost every single group for a 22. But then I wouldn't get invited to a 23. Strange. And I timed a 23, and guess what happened? I got invited to the 23s all of a sudden. Oh, catch 22s? Yeah, there's a whole lot of like. You need the achievement to do the raid, but you can't do the raid without the achievement. The class? I play Windwalker. Windwalker's turbo crazy season 4. It was really good season 3. Especially because it got a buff part way through season 3. It felt really nice. I was pretty addicted to playing my class. I'm looking forward to seeing what the Windwalker changes in Dragon Photo. Do I still play cast on crit? Not really. Maybe about needing more experience with a programming language than it's actually existed? Wait, is that real? Are there literal resumes that are like, you need to have experience with Python for 40 years or something? Doc leave overdose? Yeah, maybe. I'm just, I'm just excited for the expansion because I remember what it was like to log in and have purpose every single day. And then eventually my purpose was that maybe after playing for 5 hours, I could push my M plus score up by 7. And if I was lucky, on a good day, I was increasing my score by 14. 10 plus years of Go experience, and the language has existed for 6. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty similar to what the M plus scene is like. In my opinion, you just spam a bunch of keys that you don't need, really need. Almost like charity keys, because they're like one or two keys lower. But you do it just for the experience, just to get better. And then by getting better, you start to pump. And because you pump, people invite you to groups and you make friends that way. The issue is then you end up with a bunch of like really trash players like on my friends list. See I can open this up. Like who are these people? Garbage, garbage, extra garbage. Friends are RuneScape players so it's okay. He gets a pass. Obviously I'm memeing guys. I love Korn. Actually, I'm very impressed with Karn's, uh, times. What is this? 30 MS? Chance to avoid being poisoned. Interesting. Issues of life is so bad. I'm actually very impressed with Karn's Bone Shatter times. They are very impressive. I think the police are on their way. I mean, I did it for the meme, but I actually don't want to laugh at Karn. I think his melee times are better than anything I could achieve in, like, 100 lifetimes. I don't think I could load up the Bone Shatter get anywhere near his times. I know he's a melee enjoyer, but that doesn't stop me from being impressed that his time on Bone Shatter, his PB on Bone Shatter, is very close to my time on Poison Seismic. It's not deranged, dude. He's just... He's just coping, that's all. all right, we're farming T8s now. Reflect Ellie. Oh, that one's a little harder to run. I have a T loyal. Should I do all roads or what should I do? I don't actually know what this build needs. How expensive is this? Very. Okay. Where's some like generic like fire alley stuff? Uh, that's too expensive. Oh, I'm nine anyways. 
Oh, barbarism. Obviously not. Uh, that's taught with attacks. Interesting. Primeval is silver oil. Uh, there's really not much I can think of, boys. That'd be crazy. Honestly, Caspi doesn't sound too bad. Snow Forge is too expensive. I didn't even know this was a node. I'd steal damage faster. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't really see it, boys. I don't really see it anywhere. All right, plus one on the syndicate members. I should have waited till run a syndicate map things there. Yeah, I'm using the reservation mana so I can fit in Grace to Term and Herald of Ash, but we won't have access to this next patch. I'm not sure where I'll get that on reservation from. It might come from chess piece. Wait, isn't chess piece score effect? Not reservation efficiency. Yeah, I believe so. Karn is a specialist. It's just the type of nem that he was born with. It's not much I can change about mine. The helm has it. Yeah, but I don't think it's enough. Also, I'm not gonna have that in like a speedrun environment. What happens if I take the snow off actually? Do I have enough mana? Uh I don't really have enough mana to like function or breathe. With an enduring mana flask, it's somewhat an option, but it's not really that good, boys. I need like increased max mana right now. If I had like an extra pool of like 30 or 40, I think it'd be a lot better. I mean it's 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 playable. It's okay. It's just uncomfortable is all. Let's put a lot before I die. Oh, I guess I just need to level this one. I just put in the wrong dude. Just affect the wrong source. Yeah, this would be mega unplayable. Well not mega unplayable, but mega uncomfortable. Let's go brand duration, duration, plus two brands, and then I get one of the plus two brands. Actually I don't think the plus two brands even matters. Because with Swift Brand, my brand's less so just a short amount of time. It with duration they'll be better, surely. Okay, I wish these explosions would stop going off after I kill the boss. 30 minutes remaining? Yeah, I know. I should be able to push 80 by then. Because I'll have a couple safe houses. Winter, safe house. Winter, safe house. Winter, safe house. Winter, safe house. Where's the syndicate missions? Alright, I got three of them, but I've got the plus one rank, so we should be juicing. Why Jardian? Uh, charges. XP! Safe house. Is this guy Sentinel? Ah, but Sentinel's not getting farmed at all. Can I drop another T8, please? I would like to farm my T8 maps here. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. We're in the T6 to T8 range is perfectly fine, I think. I mean, even T5 is looking to be a decent amount of XP right now, I think. As long as I'm not getting XP penalized, I'm pretty sure I could just farm like T4, T3 maps. The thing is, is if I'm in Trade League, I really want to be in this like yellow map range. Get some okay-ish item bases. You know, like some amulets that can roll plus one. Just throw everything at a, at a harvest or two. Find some like okay-ish items. There's some difference in currency, but establishing like a T10 map base is much nicer than establishing like a T4 map base, you know. So I don't want to be spam running T3s. I could have ID'd less maps though. Or not like ID less maps, but like, you know, not worried about getting uh, as high on my atlas as humanly possible. I could have just like sat and ran a bunch more like T4s. High spec XP? No, betrayal pretty much is. This is Ellie Reflex, so I can't run this. Do I have any Chaos Orbs? I got five. Okay, cool. I got a lot of alchemies actually. This looks a little danger, but I'm gonna run it anyways. I kinda don't wanna go back down to T5s, but I don't think it'll really hurt me if I do. <sighs> Okay, can I actually push three levels in half an hour? Yeah, I got a little bit over half an hour. Wait, less? Maybe not. I'm sure if I was XL or something, I could somehow push level 90 in six hours, but... Actually, that's a neat battle of voice, that's a neat. Heist used to be best XP in the game, because you could finish the heist, but then actually... Okay, but, like, what is that? Because you could finish the heist, but then actually... Um go back and clear the other part of heist. Is it getting a teleport on me again? Okay, thank god. Just doing it without the corrupting blood. There's a cringe stuff near me. So you could like clear through the uh, the heist like two or three more times. So that's why it was the best XP in the game. I remember because I ended up doing it in the Badger Private League, even though I said I didn't want to. And I was like, I was shown the XP tech by Manny and I was like, wait, I'm just like, 
Karma leveling up to level 95. Or like 94 plus. Yeah, you would farm the mobs between the rooms that would spawn, because they were worth basically like T16 maps, but you could get like a bunch of them. And even though it was like during lockdown, they would still respawn and give you XP until about the third time that they disappeared. It's not a thing anymore because it got nerfed, because it was like kind of broken. People used it on League Start, but it wasn't until after the League I think it got fixed. I think it deserved to get fixed. Same with like the Delve stuff. Where like you could run Delve, run a drop bear node, and then log out one second before you get locked out. And that way, you can basically run Perma T16 maps for almost free. And if you ran it with the Sulfite Reduction node, you could do that, but it would actually be almost free. And you could basically run like you could run like 80 T16 map equivalents for free. Now you wouldn't get any uh, loot or any uh, maps. So I didn't get insta hot fixed. Okay, this boss is very annoying. I want to run a map that's not colonied. I should have a uh, horizon orb bit, actually. This would have been a good use of horizon orbing. Yeah, I think dying at this point would be very unfortunate for me. If I'm not mistaken. The issue with taking this over to Eye Winter is that I would be very far behind, I believe. I mean, I could take this version and then respec it, but I'd be interested to see if I could juice this up a bit more and take it into, um, take it into reds. Like, Omniscience will be okay. Yeah, I still think Omniscience will be one of the most broken builds in the game. It's just gonna take a lot more investment to reach, um, nearly the same power levels, but Omniscience was so overkill. My last Omniscience character that I had... Uh, it was like, I think it was like a day two budget character, and it still cleared like every uber in the game. Uber Cyrus was a little hard, but other than that, everything was really easy. I just load it, logged in with the omniscience and the melding. Melding would be slightly worse, so it'll be a bit worse in that regard, but you can still clear maps perfectly fine on that build. Oh yeah, I can for sure see what's going on on the ground. Okay, that was definitely worth my time. Did melding get nerfed? Yeah, so your max res while using melding gets reduced by like 4 to 6%, I believe. On top of the resist reduction that you get. And so you're basically gonna equip your Aegis or whatever else you're using. I believe I used an Aegis and purity vice, but I'm not sure. No, I think I used a different purity. Oh, that's right, I used like a purity of lightning, and then I used um, a plus 2 max res to lightning shield because it specifically had the res I needed. I remember because I had to spend like half an hour fixing where it is. It's kind of weird. You. I don't have any uh any maps here. That's unfortunate. Um, hmm. How do I break back into T5s and T6s? Okay, well maybe now I need to start panicking. Oh, I just run T5s. Simple. Wish I could run on an ID. An ID is so good. Uh, we can actually out every map from here on out. <sighs> so glad you're playing Reap Inquis before it gets turbo cut. I've seen people play that build, it looks really good, but if I threw like 4 mirrors at a build, wouldn't it be better on a different build? Is there any supposed to be sleeping? I don't think I'm going to set up a false sleep because it's so fun to do. Wasn't the whole point of melding to increase your max res? Why are they reducing it? Um, because the point of melding isn't that it increases your max res, it increases your max res to be your highest resist. So let's say that you throw on melding, you lose a bunch of resistances, right? To fire, cold, lightning. But if you run like a purity of fire, you know, you get like plus three max fire res. Now, all of your max resistances is 78, so you just have to fix that. The issue is that on missions kind of trivialized it. And even if you weren't on missions trivializing it last patch, or I guess currently, then you could still basically equip an Aegis Aurora for turbo cold res, equip a Purity of Ice, and then your max res is like as high as humanly possible. Like you could actually get to like 90% super easily with just a couple items. It was a little too bonkers. So yeah. Um, instead, it's like your max res is reduced by like 4%. And so all you have to do is equip your Aegis, your Purity of Ice, and it'll just be 4% less than what it was. Which is still huge at that level, but... 
you're making your match throws at 85, it's still really good. Pushing into 90 is going to be very difficult. Just give new OP stuff. I mean, they introduced new stuff with like melding, and they introduced um, some new stuff with uh, like some of the uber boss drops. It's just that not many people have access to that kind of stuff. They introduced OP stuff with like Mage Blood. I don't know. I see a lot of the community asking for like OP headhunter level items. I think we have an okay amount of them now. What kind of unique buffs do I want to see? Um, I'm liking it so far. There's a lot of unique leveling stuff that's getting buffed. And I know it's the meme to say like one alk unique, but or like, you know, six alchemy shorts. But those are really nice. I really like the buffs. I want to be able to find a unique while leveling and be like, wow, I think I might have to change my leveling for it to be good. Because currently, as it stands, anytime I drop a unique and I'm like, wow, I feel like I should change my build around to be based around this unique, every time I do, it's awful. Because like currently when I do that, I either appreciate the unique for what it stands for, or it's just like, okay. But I've never been like, oh my god, a ball caress. You know. Get a hunter item, but for minions. I don't do. Tabulas. I mean, I dropped a tabula the other day, and it literally wasn't a world record run. Like, it was perfectly normal. It was just, you know, you wouldn't have differentiated it from, like, any other run, really. Uh, seriously, I didn't drop a T6 in that map? Alright, cool. Nah, I get it, dude, I get it. Should I get Kyrak missions? I mean, how much time is realistically left? I guess I run the T4s as well, because we can just rush map boss and then see what I get from there. Twink leveling runs? I don't think I've run a twink leveling run in probably like three years or something. <clears throat> I was supposed to write the twink leveling guide for max roll, but I've kind of buried up to my neck. And then Firegrass recommended uh, some twink stuff. And we talked about it, and I was like, yeah, I can get working on Firegrass's content. And then I was like, wait, but if this is like all of your content, and I'm basically just giving the go-ahead seal on the content and then writing it. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to write it? And he's like, oh yeah, I'd love to. I was like, okay, cool. Let's do that thing. Yeah, this is actually a really good unique. The Scorching Ray might solve some single target. Do that. And I talk so long, so fast, without drinking water. I just fry my vocal cords, that's all. Also, I'd have to reach over through the giant glass of water over here. Will PoE finally die after the lackluster reveal for next season? Um, yeah, it is actually. It's gonna die. That's why I'm quitting PoE. Me and Ziz are gonna quit playing PoE full time. He didn't want to tell you guys, but um, he's quitting, and I'm quitting too. We both think that the league is a disappointment, and that uh, Reddit was right. Because he's gonna go play Tarkov. Okay, but I don't have a game. Wait a second. Wait, but guys, I don't have a game. What am I gonna do? If PoE goes downhill, it's bad for me. Which is unfortunate, because during bad leagues, it's really noticeable that viewership is also kind of meh. You know, I could argue that it's because I'm not being entertaining, but no, it's because of the league. Now, when there's not much excitement for a game, it's kind of hard to pop off in a game, you know. It's also hard for me to enjoy the league, so like, it's harder for me to be entertaining because I'm not having fun. 3.15 was like that. I was legit playing Season of Mastery Beta, just for fun, racing against Tommy. And I was like one of the top 10 people leveling. I think I was like rank 2 warrior or something in the beta. That was fun though. He's gonna become a League of Legends player. I've considered going down the League of Legends route. I've considered that if PoE ever went downhill, I could probably stream League. Upload some YouTube highlights, maybe some things to TikTok, and call it a day. That way, at least, getting better at League feels like it's doing something for me. Yeah, I seriously didn't drop a higher tier map? How's this even possible, dude? Okay, now I'm starting to panic because I don't think I can get my, uh, my yellow map sustained. That is 116 life, sir. 116 life. That's a lot better than the 24 I've got right there. I don't think these need to be linked at all, do they? Maybe not. Getting some flame wall links wouldn't be too awful either. I wouldn't mind doing that. Though, I don't think flame wall is majority damage. Which I'm not even gonna add that much damage. Pretty good move. 
but we're still okay. Lightning Rose just took a hit. Could grab Lightning Rose somewhere. Where? Where? Where can I grab Lightning Rose? Gloves. Rocket League? I will literally never play Rocket League in my life. I would play, um, that little racing game. I don't remember what it's called, but I saw Ventura playing it a while ago. There's a reason why you're playing UE instead of League. So I hit Challenger? No. I'm like Masters ADLP on my alt account, and then I'm like Losers Q on my, on my main, and so it's like impossible to move past D1 despite me playing the exact, literal exact same way. Also, the games are indistinguishable. It's legit a 200 LP difference in my account. Actually, I can't tell the difference between Masters, like 100 LP, Diamond 1, and like my Smurf Q EU games. Some of the stuff that I see in like a level 20 unranked game, and some of the stuff that I get flamed for in those games, it's kind of wild. Okay, nice, we are back to T6s. Beautiful. Yeah, there's literally no difference. I'm convinced that I could probably play in silver, and it would feel like the exact same as every other ELO. EOS is gonna be fun. Yeah, I plan on doing um, the extremes when I'm in EU. Just because I think uh, climbing rank for like a month or so when the PvE League dies will be kind of fun. EU level 20 equals NA Masters confirmed. It's not even confirmed, it's just like a fact. Hurry up, Tai Tai. Tai Tai's already in red maps? That is true, actually. I'm loaded enough to size me, probably. I'd have to get a nice little lucky shoot going, though. EU? Yeah, I don't know how close Belfast is to EU servers. I hope I'm not playing on like 70 ping like I am at home. I'm playing on the other coast from where the servers are for per league. Sometimes, I swear, I press a button, and I do, it just it's just that millisecond slower. You know? And I could tell my brain to do it slower, but like, I'm so greedy. I just hold on to it for the last second. He's like so much AoE, what the heck? Is he faster too? He's very scarce So, I'm just messed up. Alright, G7, beautiful. Oh, I have a safe house. Nice. And I got a June mission. Sick. Okay, I got a safe house, and I've got a June mission. I don't know if I can push the level 80. We'll see. It is possible. How much XP is Island going to give me? Belfast to Amsterdam. Hmm. Run experience will be 10 times slower. Still said 10 MS for PoE. I'll be 30 or less. That actually sounds really nice. Some of the stuff I see people do on like really low ping looks really cool. I can just never do it. Need more emotes? I actually have a bunch of emote slots. Whenever I make emotes though, they're awful. So, if you have any suggestions for emotes, let me know. What about your lady looking nice? Deep into maps? I'm very deep into these maps. Just as deep as I'm. Oh, I don't mind. You guys are just making it too easy to Add weeb emotes. I've considered going down that route, but I feel like every streamer has like the weeb, like high emote. The weeb, hey. So, I ought to do that. Oh, yeah, tai tai, I, uh, you know. Just add 15 different versions of I, uh. No. They'd have to be, like, iconic to the stream, you know. Frog ones? I need frog ones for. I don't know. Guys, send me some ideas. I need to make use of some of my emote slots. Not, like, suffering from success over here, but I do have a lot of them. One singular, no GF. Okay, I'm not saying that one out loud. I mean, making like a little Brutus one, where it's like, come. Sounds kind of fun. Things that, you know, would be relevant during speedrunning. Or like, when I'm speedrunning in maps, and the, uh, the Harbinger of End Times, I don't know his name, but the, the dude that shows up in my maps. He goes, Thanks. they are coming. I like that guy. My hands have increased to reach That's what it's supposed to be. Tai Tai on your face? That would be cursed. Be haunt cursed, actually. 
say the thing. True, a say the thing, and then like everybody's waiting in anticipation for Brutus to say the thing. Also, not many people know this, but when the layout has this little thing up to the side, you gotta do it. Just got the little red mobs. How much XP am I getting from this? Set XP. I'm getting like 200 mil per hour or so during maps. Let's see what my XP is after this uh, syndicate encounter. So, if my XP before during maps is likely somewhere around 200 mil. Okay, well, it's not 1.1 mil right now, but it is much higher. This is why I wanted uh, to run gene modes, by the way. Not only does uh, killing the master give a bunch of XP, but. Okay, it still says 1.1 mil, but I know that's not true. You need to watch that anime? Yeah, you should. I like Spy X Family. It was, it was good. I'd recommend it to Slice of Life enjoyers. The unfortunate part is there's not many of us. Uh oh. I actually had a log there. Oh, is my XP gonna be fucked? Okay, no, it still says 1 point. It still says 1 mil. The issue is I'm gonna have to walk back because I didn't have time to place a portal. So I have 12 million poisons I and I don't have chaos rows. Yeah, my XP's gonna suffer quite a bit. Imagine, dude, look how far back I have to go. This kind of guy's a cringe. Yeah, 800 mil, I'm just losing a billion XP per hour. I say as I walk straight back into the same toxic plus, uh, plus pestilent, plus, like, vines, dude. Plus frostweaver. Oh, is frostweaver plus toxic? That's what killed me. And it died, but. Right, back up to 9 mil XP. As you can see, quite a lot of XP here. Uh, you want to break these little jars because they got little wormies in them. Spike X family? No. If you say the X in Hunter x Hunter, you're a psychopath. You are probably a murderer. You need a Tai Tai version of Alf Gauntlet? That would actually be a good idea because I'm not a huge fan of the Gauntlet. To me, Gauntlet just feels like, oh boy, can't wait to make my character slow again. Oh boy, can I just let out all my progression so that I can read every map mod and read every single uh, monster mod? Especially if I play Refer Fun Software. I'm like mega squishy at the moment. I don't feel like I have a whole bunch of PhD. Is this because Bumeth influenced? I'm really funny. It's like, like 900 mil XP per hour. I'm as you see, I believe I'm like a full level here. Hunter Times! That's a man, actually. Oh, man. That one. Never finished which one. Which one did you not finish? Serious lobby. Answer wisely. Or else. Isn't there three of them? Or is the third one? I'm level 80 by the time you reach at 8. I'm not level 80 yet, I'm level 79. So look at the XP bump right there. Bump. Alright, I think I got another yellow map here. I'd rather have a G7. I should have some scours. I don't aware. Couldn't I just run this on ID? Greetings. Yeah, I could have ran it on ID. But I decided to be a baby. A baby man. I wouldn't call it this in an actual lead, by the way, because it's just a D7. I would just kinda accept the L. Increased duration plus two bands, beautiful. Any ancient classics like Monster? Monster Masume? Of course. I haven't watched any classic classics. My friend actually um, started dating a weeb, and he was like, maybe you and her will get along better than we do. And he was like, she's not like a disgusting like weeb, she doesn't really talk about it, but she's definitely pretty weeby. So I tried throwing out like a few of like the more recent stuff that I've watched, and then she threw out some animes that literally came out before I was born, and I was like, oh, um, no, I haven't seen that one. It's not that it ended up being weird, it was just like, I'm talking about like 2022, 2021 maybe anime, she's talking about like 1999, 1998, I mean I watched like 3 or 4 almost every single season, this season's ass. So what anime have you watched? No, I mean I don't like, I don't like stat check people like, oh yeah, you like this artist? Name all of their songs. Like, I'm not like, name your top anime. 
I just like talked about what I was interested in, and she talked about what she was interested in because you know it was a uh, just like one of those open, flowing conversations. And it quickly stopped when we realized that we don't watch the same stuff nearly at all. Someone does that for music stat checking. I think it's called gatekeeping, if I'm not mistaken. I don't gatekeep it in any way, because I know that what I watch is cringe. I like to get a feel out for the other person before I turbo stat check them. She was a human being about saying that she watches some stuff. Sometimes I see like people talk about being a turbo fan, and you kind of probe in a little bit. They, you know, they realize it's not. As long as you don't watch harem anime, what's wrong with it, huh? What's wrong with that? Maybe I want to watch the stupidest man, humanly alive, who has no specific talent in any way, shape, or form, who has literally no business. Even attracting a 4 out of 10 female, but for some reason, 12 of them, all of which 9 out of 10 by the way, are interested in him. Maybe that's what I want to watch. <clears throat> yeah, you play PvE for a living? Name every map the amount of different layouts each of them has, as well as the type of mob density, the type of map it is. Yeah, no, I, I don't do any of that. Usually, when I stat check someone in PoE, I ask what their favorite build is, and if they say some real dumb shit, I either, I either come to the conclusion that they're based, or that they're terrible at the game. And then, uh, additionally, after asking what their favorite build is, I ask what level they are, so then I can confirm whether or not. I've never had it so far that somebody with a dog, dog shit build has been like level 90 plus. In fact, I've never met somebody out in the wild who's played PoE past like F5. Yeah, imagine you're talking to someone and they're like, yeah, I played Seismic Trap for three leagues in a row. That's when you spit on them, say disgusting, and then you leave. <laughs> nah, I'd probably be like, oh sick, this guy actually knows what a good build is. Finally. A fellow virgin. Why did... Didn't I do that? No, I've never done that before. I also don't stat check people when it comes to League. I'll ask if they play ranked at all, and sometimes they'll say, yeah, I play a lot of PvP. And I go, oh nice, what rank did you get to? And they'll be like, I got to level 12. <laughs> you know the guys. I know the guys. Hell yeah, dude, that's sick. Based. Keep up the grind, brother. I don't think I've ever met anybody in the wild that's been higher than gold. Actually. Yeah, I'm a high level player. Yeah, I'm gold 3. Oh, there. I wish somebody could have just smacked me upside the head when I was younger. I literally thought. That by hitting gold, I was like much better at the game. And then I thought that when I hit platinum, I was much better. I thought that when I hit diamond, I would be much better. It was all a lie. I'm much better, but at what cost? It's like, it's like I got my Act 10 Kataba from like 50 hours down to like 20, and then called it good for so many years. Yeah, I got 99 fire making. I'm an endgame RuneScape enjoyer. I'm silver in rank, but challenger in heart. Unfortunately, when you die, everybody's the same. You have the same heart. But not everybody's gonna have the same rating in a video game called League of Legends designed by Riot Games. 20 hours is still good if you're doing 50 before. I mean, yeah, it's the improvement that counts, but it's still pretty... Yikes. The rank achieved. Sanity gone. Yeah. I can't wait to play on EU. I was playing a normal, like, level 20 EU game the other week, and somebody was talking to me in French, and then I didn't realize it until he pinged me six times and then said another, like, four lines in French, and I went, I can't understand you in French. And then he pinged me again and typed in French, and I went, oui oui, and then pinged him, and then he went off on me, but I don't know what he said. Um. In another game, I got called Polish, which I don't know what that means, but I'm going to assume it was an insult. 
Deserved? I don't even know what it means, dude. Bullying French people is ethical. I don't think I can say that on stream. I don't think I'm allowed to say that, actually. How am I not dropping yellow maps, by the way? Alright, we can run a T5 with uh, some juice real quick. I should have one more singular T5 in here. Uh, we got two. Let's run the mud geyser instead. That should be... Pretty much it. We should hit level 80, actually. Level 80 in six hours? That's not a bad time. You wish people hate... Or US hates Polish players because they're supposed to play an EU Northeast. Oh, I see. So it's like finding a Russian on a game when they're supposed to be playing on the Russian server, but they're not. French people are so arrogant because they always talk in their own language. Is that true? I mean, like sometimes I'm kind of a Chinese player who will just schizo pros themselves in Chinese. Like, no one on the team understands it, brother. Uh, I actually technically do have a safe house ready to go. Um, I'm pretty sure I should have enough time to complete this mission and then complete the safe house. And then I'll be close to 81, actually. That'd be kind of sick. Just like the one Russian guy in Dota 2 games. I think I was watching a forcing clip where uh, this guy was speaking fluent Russian. And then he broke his Russian to speak English to force him, and he was like laughing at him for being so bad. But his accent was so heavy that you couldn't understand really what he was saying. So he sounded like okay. -g. Six hour level 80? Yeah, it could be better. Yeah, I mean, the speedrun could be better if I just didn't make any of the mistakes that I made. Wait, I just realized if I hit level 80, I get the perfect title. Instead of 1 to 70 in six hours, I can do 1 to 80 in six hours. Perfect. Oh, I should have just TP'd out. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, I got enough time to run a safe house. It's literally perfect, boys. It's actually be- No, it disappeared! Oh, no. It actually went away. Oh, god. I mean, I could still hit 80. But I could have gone to level 81. How old am I? Uh, I just turned 23 as of two hours ago. It takes you 20 hours to finish Act 10. Wait a second. You're me, but from the past. Or... A different future. A six hours, am I showing any? Yep. Yeah. Sub seven. No, we'll hit 80 here. I just kind of thought that I maybe could have hit 81. Actually, we could have hit 81. Now, nah, 1 to 80 looks cleaner anyways, boys. 1 to 80 looks cleaner. Remember, chat, this is the run with the piss-canceling animation skip in Act 5. Congrats on the sub 24, 1 to 23 run. Thanks. side of the world and only in the same pubs as in the UK. Huh. Well, we did it, boys. Level 80 in under 6 hours. Uh, I'd probably kill this boss, too. I mean, this is a pretty decent time for Trade League, I feel like. What's the 90 time looking like? It's probably closer to, like, 8 hours-ish. I'd probably push 90. I'd have to level up Eye Winter in my offhand if I'm gonna go down that route. Um, I'd have a million respects that I'd have to go through. Alright, let's do it for the YouTube video. I don't know how Res PT ends this video, but, you know. Uh, last little notes is I would not recommend leveling like this. This is just, like, some for fun. I uh, just wanted some YouTube content. If you guys were interested in how to level, or if you're just interested in some banner, banter, I think this stuff's pretty good. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I stream every day, almost every day, when I'm not lazy. Twitch should be such tactic killer. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone.